Y'all are something. Redeeming everything before I even get here. What the hell? <laughs> Hi, everybody. It is January 8th, 2024. We're into week two of the new year. It is a whopping 39 degrees Fahrenheit. It's partly sunny. Love to see it. <laughs> Absolutely love to see it. Y'all, thanks for being here so early. There's so many of you here already. Thanks for redeeming everything, making me feel all excited before we even get into it. It's a Monday. I'm feeling great about it. Um, I had a rough weekend if you didn't hear about it. Whatever, it doesn't matter. <laughs> so I am super excited to start a new week, hang out with you all. Yeah, let me get into it by saying my first and earlies. My first bird of the day. Can you believe it? Annette, woohoo! Annette, thank you so much for being here. First, that is how many times? Five times. Better luck next time, bozos. I've also got my early birdie squad. We've got Raspberry, Only Bees, Lilith Moon, Cozy Metal Moon, and Kiropi Crossing. Woohoo! Thank you all so much for being here early. You all know how much it means to me. We've got Raspberry with two worms now. Love to see it. We've got four worms for Only Bees. We've got four worms for Lilith Moon. What else do we have? One Cozy Metal Moon. I know you're lurking. Thank you for lurking. I really appreciate it. Um, your first worm, how was it? You don't have to tell me, I know you're lurking. <laughs> Kiropi has 15 earlies, you all know the drill. I get into it and immediately put my legs in the chair. <laughs> I immediately go crisscross applesauce, it's the comfiest. What do you think, is that the comfiest? Um, Renz, thank you for lurking as well. Jenny J, thank you for lurking as well. Loey, thank you for the sleigh. Letty, thank you for the loves it. Woohoo! I'm so excited for today. I'm always excited for a new week. Let me say hi to everybody. Actually, let me get some water first. I cannot get rid of this mucus. I really can't. You all know I've been sick for like two weeks now. I cannot get rid of it. Amazing. Y'all drown me in water today, metaphorically. <laughs> metaphorically speaking. All right, let's see who's here. I have Kim with the resubby. Thank you for eight months, Kim. You'll have a new alert next month. I really appreciate the eight months. Thank you so much. Uh, seriously, hey, what's going on? How's your Monday so far? Red Hood, hi, it's always good to see you. Jenny J, thank you for the 10 stream streak. What the heck? 10 streams in a row. Can't believe it. Hi, Loie. A hawk. Did you get a hawk today? I always see hawks. Like, remind me to talk about hawks later, but I always <laughs> remind me to talk about hawks. I literally have stuff to say about hawks. Hang on. I'm going to write it down so I don't forget to talk about hawks later. Hawks. Am I saying that weird? Hawks. Hawks. It sounds weird, right? <laughs> Ollie, hi. Oh, you're a, a rootin' tootin' baby. I almost said rough tootin' baby. Rough tooting? That sounds painful. <laughs> hey, Loie, did I say hi to you yet? Coming in and yelling slay as you should. Hang on, let me turn down um, Spotify a tiny bit too. If that's like way too low, let me know. Also, I feel like my mic has been really loud. I'm gonna turn it down just a tiny bit so you can hear the music a little bit better. We'll see. I'll watch the VOD back. Ollie, how's your day going? I hope it's really good. Why did I say it like that? I can't speak. It's it's Monday morning. Come on. Um, let's see. Anyone know where of wait, know of ACNH ACNH streamer besties I should check out too? Um, I have lots. So if you hang out here, uh, you'll see lots of shout-outs in the chat. Otherwise, uh, I would go searching somewhere else. Work lurking, no worries at all. Halo, thank you so much for uh work lurking. Uh, we'll come back in once I'm done with my walks. No worries at all. Happy Monday to you. Uh, happy Monday to you. Let's see. Who else is here? Rosy Cheeks. Hi. Crisscross is definitely the best, right? That's what I'm saying. Um, also, Jerry's, thank you for the follow. Welcome in. Crisscross is the best. Delphi. Delphi's here. Delphi, how was hanging out with family yesterday? I'll let you spill the tea on it. I don't want to spill your tea. Um, and Rosy Cheeks, good morning to you. How's your Monday morning going so far? Starberry, are you back at work today? Hopefully not working too hard. You know the vibes. 
Mads, hi bestie. How's your morning going? Raspberry, muckus besties. I'm so glad that you're calling it muckus because that's what I call it too. Mads, thank you for the 10 stream streak. What the hell? Your hair looks slay, Kiropi. Hi bestie, first of all. Second of all, thank you. It was like, I didn't really want to style it. So I was like, let's just do a cute little updo. So it's basically just like, I've got this little yellow clip in my hair and I just kind of like, I tried to make it look cute, but like, you know, messy, messy cute. It's like the ugly cute thing, but messy cute, right? <laughs> I'm still getting caught up in chat. You all know me. Thank you for being patient with me. Seriously, thank you for lurking. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh my gosh, I forgot to take your birdie of the month away, Kiropi. I forgot, but you know what, I guess. Wait, did I? I forgot to switch it. I owe one to Paige. You know what? Let me write that down. <laughs> Birdie of the month. <laughs> I forgot. Kiropi's like, no, forget again. <laughs> January entrance. Oh my God. <sighs> <sighs> okay, let's see here. Jerry's hi, Twitter friend. Are we Twitter friends? Oh my God, I've had so many new Twitter friends recently. It's so lovely. It's so lovely here. I'm gonna give you a little follow so I don't forget. I'm chronically forgetting to follow my Twitter friends. Chronically forgetting. Letty, hi friend. How's your day going? Oh, is that a new emote of yours? It's so cute. Um, always at work, bestie. It's the worst. I'm so sorry. Steel company time. I know you do. You've got your own office. Come on. <laughs> Mondaying, you know, I feel you on that one. Seriously, hey bird, probably gonna lurk. Uh, started class today. No worries at all. Get some good studying in. Hang out with me. Use me for the company. It was good, we had a lovely time. Oh, I'm so glad. It looks cute, thank you. Lilith Moon, I'm kind of stoked. I got called off work, so I'm chilling and cuddling my kitties. That sounds amazing. I love that you didn't have to go into work today. Oh, what a great start to the week, not having to go to work. What the heck? Now I'm making lunch. What are you making for lunch today? How's everybody doing? How's your Monday so far? I hope it's really good. Um, I do have some stuff to talk about. I'm letting you all pick um, what we do today. I've got two options. We've got, <laughs> I thought that said I'm peeing potatoes, Kim. Hi, Kim. You're peeling some potatoes. Do you have a, a nice like peeler? You know what I'm saying? I got a new one recently and I like it, but it leaves grooves when I peel. So it's not like a smooth texture. It has like kind of a rigid texture, which I don't mind, but also like it's not, my favorite thing in the world either. <laughs> Doing good watching Chainsaw Man. How do you like it? I got two episodes into Chainsaw Man and I like it, but it's really gory. I have to be in the mood for it. I've been saying this since I started watching it like months ago. Um, Sag Moon is so on brand with your 10 ongoing creative projects. Oh, I'll see myself out. <laughs> yeah, my, uh, my partner is a Sagittarius so that it also like it adds up for me too, you know, it adds up for me too. Um, I'd like potatoes now. Yeah. What kind of potatoes are you making, Kim? I know that you're you've probably got your hands full, but I would love to know what you're doing with the potatoes. I got to know. So today we're choosing between terraforming on my minimalist Animal Crossing Island. Here's the info on that if you haven't seen it um, and finishing summer year one in Stardew. I'll just let you all decide. I think I'll wait a little bit longer. Maybe in like 15 minutes we'll vote on it or something. I don't want to stay in just chatting for very long today. Um, we will not be doing it. We, we sat in just chatting for like an hour, 40 minutes last time. Excuse me. There it is. Um, so we are not doing that today. Where'd my music go? Oh, it's just quiet. Um, yeah, so we're not going to sit in just chatting today. We are going to like actually get into gaming pretty quickly. I just want to let you all vote first. So that's why we're in just chatting for a second. Um, wait, Bird, why do you make these game decisions hard? Can you not choose between uh, terraforming and Stardew? I mean, we'll pro okay, so like, whatever we don't do today, we will probably do on Wednesday. So if you pick terraforming, we'll probably finish summer year one on Wednesday. Or if you pick Stardew, we'll do terraforming on Wednesday. That's probably how that'll work. Um, yeah, I don't have like set plans for the week. I was thinking maybe I could do the embroidery stream this week too, but I might push that to the end of the month. I don't know. I'm undecided. I am. If you're uh, if you're new here or 
if you're wondering where the hell is the 12 hour stream bird, I'll be announcing the 12 hour stream by this Sunday. So I'm either gonna announce it Thursday or Sunday. It just depends on like, if I can get the graphic all done and everything set up for it. Um, by Thursday, I'll announce it, but if not, I'll announce it on Sunday. So we've got the 12 hour stream coming up later this month. Um, I have the embroidery stream to do, and I still have to figure out how to execute the baking stream. I, unfortunately, I think I'm going to have to move my whole streaming setup to my kitchen, but it'll be worth it. So I'm not like worried about it. I'll just take my like one monitor, tower, camera, like the, the essentials, you know, I'll only take the essentials in there. Um, and also I want to see what Kim's making. Son went back to nursery today after the holidays. So I took CC to the library to do some bounce and rhythm. Wait, no way. Some bounce and rhythm. Is it like a, a class? Do you get to go to a little class? Cause that sounds so cute. Mashed potatoes. I have some mashed potatoes in my fridge still from Christmas. Do you think I need to get rid of them? I think I probably do. <laughs> I think I probably do. Uh, love that. Wait, sci wait. Oh, sinus sinistry. Sinistry. Am I even saying that right with you and your partner? I feel it with my Aries sun and my partner's Leo moon. I'm also, wait, we should also talk about this. I was thinking, let me write this down. Hang on. We can talk about this later. Venus. I want to talk about our Venus sign. Sinistry. There we go. Yeah. I, okay. We're just meeting each other. I'm horrible at pronunciation. I will ask you all day, every day, how to pronounce something. I'm so sorry. I'm just so bad at it. <laughs> you should get rid of it. Yeah. I haven't opened it in like, I haven't opened it in a little while and I think it's gonna, I think it's gonna smell. <laughs> uh, oh, parachute play and bubbles. That sounds so cute. Mo, Mo, how's your Monday going? I hope it's really good. What are you up to today? Anything fun? I'm the same. <laughs> My friends correct me all the time. You know what? I used to be embarrassed about it, like that I can't pronounce anything. I, I'm gonna blame it on being from the South, okay? I, I went to public school in the South do you think they taught me how to pronounce anything correctly? I come from a place where they say pilla instead of pillow and winda instead of window. You know what I mean? Like, I can't be blamed for this. <laughs> so bad at pronunciation too. Yeah, pilla. My dad calls it a pilla. <laughs> I'm not joking. Um, it's going good. Just doing some cleaning before uh, before work in a few hours. Uh, I hope you get some good cleaning in. You know what they say, like a clean space, a clean mind. Is that, I don't know if that's the exact saying. It's something like that. <laughs> Feel that so much. At least we can relate there. Dead, D-E-D, -E -D, dead. <laughs> um, I'm from the South too and I can't talk for shit. It's so unfortunate. So unfortunate for us. <laughs> yeah, oil is oil. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna get that oil. <laughs> uh, yeah, and there's um, oh, you know what? I can't say that. It'll dox me. That I'll tell you all one day when you all know where I live. <laughs> I'll tell you one day when you know where I live. Tambitron, how's your day going? I hope it's really good. What are you getting into today? How many show of hands? Oh sevens in chat if you're working today. Oh sevens in chat if you're working today. <laughs> Maybe we have a thing here. Like all of us come together because we're from the South and uh, can't say anything. <laughs> can't say anything. Can't pronounce anything. I mean, um, a, <laughs> yeah. Who am I to judge? You do say a you're from, wait, that I was going very Minnesota, Minnesota with that accent. Wow. A bunch of you all. Hi, RGB. <laughs> a bunch of you all. Holy cow, you're all working today. Oh my goodness. Working, says Starberry. Working. Ooh, a wee baby. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. <laughs> um, still awake from like 8 p.m. yesterday. Oh my goodness. Wait, did an overnight Saturday. My schedule is all jacked up. Oh my God, I'm sorry your schedule is all jacked up. That's the worst. Hopefully you can get it straightened out soon. I have a Norfolk accent. I don't pronounce my TVs properly. Uh, wa water, wa water. <laughs> Did I say that right? Mo, hi. Oh, I almost said hi. <laughs> That's so embarrassing. Um, Mo, thank you for the rainbow reminder. <laughs> How embarrassing. It's fine. 85% slave for Starberry. 
27% struggle and not too bad. I don't want to check my struggle and not after I just said hi to Mo again after we had a full ass conversation. Kiropi is a tiny baby. Lilith Moon's a stinky baby. 33% slay for Delphi. 36. What? What is Birdabot out here doing? Birdabot's a <laughs> Birdabot and I are friends again. I just called Birdabot Birdabots. Oh my god. Working from home is great. I love that for you all. Starberry certainly is a cutie baby. Come on. We all know this. Raspberry, you're working too. 100% slay for Lilith Moon. We love to see it. Are you feeling slay today? Are you slaying? I meant to tell you I love your icons on your channel points. Thank you. I So I use Canva for all of that. I made them all. Well, I didn't like design i didn't draw them myself but i like picked them out from canva and like made them into the little icons so thank you it took forever i'm gonna be real it took so long so that compliment goes straight to my heart i'm gonna take that compliment and i'm gonna put it in my pocket and keep it forever because <laughs> the time that i spent on those insane eight percent slay vertebot i'm not looking at you I'm not looking at you. 33% <laughs> slay, your twin eight. Wait, that was somebody, was that somebody's slay as well? I can't remember. I can't remember the twinning. 64% struggle lesson. Vertibot is being rude to only bees today. <laughs> Stinky and 100% slay. Uh, what a combination. Vertibot is coming for chat. Um, still on the astrology topic, no worries at all. My sister's Vir a Virgo sun, Sag moon. No way! Do I give the vibes of your sister? Do I? <laughs> I feel like when you're so closely aligned like that, if you have the, if you have the same big three, I feel like you're twinning with that person. I wonder, I'm not like crazy into astrology. I don't know like everything, but I, I do enjoy it. And I find that my qualities are very similar to people that I have like similarities in the big three with. A goofy baby. Canva is such a godsend. I know, right? I've had, um, I actually, when I had my embroidery business, I had Canva back then. I've always had Canva Pro and I used it for um, my embroidery business as well. I got like business cards. So if you're looking to like print stuff out, can't, I'm telling you all, get Canva. My streamer friends, business owner friends, get Canva. You need it. You need it. 83% <laughs> slay, like, Kim, not too bad. 69% struggle bussin'. Okay. <laughs> is this a new place? I feel like the background is different. Um, I actually, so Tambitron, I think it may have been a little while since we've seen each other. This is a different room. So I did used to stream in like a, a different room of my house and I had to have my camera on a bit more of an angle. So uh, it might be that. It might be a different room for you. It is like similar background from that room i've had a couple different so when i was in that room i didn't have my um my shelving yet so i got my shelving when i was in that room and had it for a while and then i decided to switch rooms so that i could have a more like straight on background <laughs> and yeah so i changed i changed rooms like i don't know how many months ago at this point it's probably been at least two months maybe more Enjoy your lunch, Delphi. No worries at all. Way more than 36% slay. So true. So true. We already know this. Um, let's see. A jam baby. Kim, you got the jam baby. If you don't know why the jam baby, I have a, a cupie tattoo that's a, a jam cupie. So that's why I put the jam baby in there. <laughs> a wee baby. Uh, Leo, Libra, Scorpio. Ooh. Oh, uh, what's crazy is my... Nick's here. Yay, it worked. Uh, thanks, Twitch. Thank you, Twitch. And also, Nick, thank you so much. Thank you for the 100. I really appreciate it. I hope you're having a good Monday. Anything fun going on this Monday for you? Um, what's crazy is my brother and I are born the same day, but four years apart. No way. That's crazy. Meruem, hey, what's going on? You're a bald baby today. Bald. The reason we have the bald is because you can't really see it, but I have a Squishmallow that has like, it looks bald. <laughs> so that's why I put that one in there. Um, I don't think I've met anyone with the same big three as me. What's your big three? What's yours? 17% slay. Birdabot is just being rude to you again. So sorry. 63% slay. Not too bad. 
I was so busy in November and December. That makes sense. No worries at all, first of all. Um, but I hope they were good for you, even though they were busy. I had like a, I had a really busy December. November was just like a lot of planning and prepping. And I was, I was tired in November. Okay. I've been tired since November. Love your makeup. Thank you. Looking for some uh, retro games to scoop. Uh, and me and my sister have the same birthday too. No way, but we were born the exact same day. Wait, are, does that make you twins? Does that make, do you have a twin? Are you telling me you have a twin? Um, or am I like, am I not getting the right vibes? <laughs> Virgo, sun, Leo, moon, Pisces rising. I'm a Leo Venus. That's, I think that's the only Leo in my chart if I'm not mistaken. I don't know my chart that well, but, um, yeah. Oh, twins. You have a twin sister. I love the um, like the twin pairs with a brother and sister. I feel like it's really unique. Or maybe that's just me not knowing enough pairs of twins. <laughs> maybe. I had an injury I was dealing with in November. Had to use a cane most of the month. Oh my God. And I was working on um, Perler project items in November uh, and December for Christmas gifts. Oh my gosh. Well, I'm sorry that you had the injury that you were dealing with. I hope you've been recovering well from that. And it sounds like you got all your Christmas gifts taken care of. Um, Ducky, thank you for lurking. I appreciate it. I hope you're having a good day today. What's your sun and rising? Okay. I'm a Virgo sun, Sagittarius moon, Capricorn rising. I don't know anything. Somebody tell me what I am. Virgo sun, Gemini moon, Scorpio rising, Libra Venus. I don't know what the Venus really means, but apparently um, I'm supposed to wear like bold colors and bold like animal prints. Um, so the reason I was talking about Venus earlier is because I was seeing videos on like, you should dress like your Venus sign to step into your highest power kind of shit. And I was like, oh, I'm gonna look it up. So I looked up, I have a Leo Venus, and yeah, I'm supposed to dress in like animal print and purple and like bright colors. And I'm not like a huge bright color girly, but I think it's because I, of the way that I was raised. I was raised to be like toned down. So I'm going to start trying more color. Maybe not. I mean, I do a little bit of color on stream, but like maybe my going out looks, I'll do a little less neutral, a little more like bright color. We'll see. Gemini sun, Virgo moon, Leo rising. Ooh, the Virgo moon. How do you um, calculate the moon and rising signs? Does anybody in chat know? I actually don't know. I use um, I use an app called CoStar that gives me like all my signs and stuff. I'm a hidden dragon crouching. Wait, hidden dragon crouching tiger. So hidden crouch. Wait, hidden dragon crouching tiger wait <laughs> wait so that's uh hidden is your sun dragon is your moon crouching is your rising tiger is your venus <laughs> uh leo sun leo rise oh my god double leo gemini moon i i'm saying these out loud i don't know what they all mean i'm gonna be honest yeah time and place where you were born is important sag sun virgo moon Ooh, two virgo moons in the chat I'm on the mend from the injury. Um, haven't had to use the cane in the last month. Yay, not gonna lie. I was so happy when I didn't have to use it anymore. Little things like walking on my own. Oh my God. Thank you for reminding us all to like appreciate the little things. <gasps> You're a Leo Venus too. And honestly, Mads, I just need to take inspiration from you. I was thinking maybe in the Discord, we could do like outfit of the day kind of stuff so that we make sure we get dressed every day instead of being at, in athleisure all the time. But like, also, I don't know if I can commit to that. I'm in sweatpants every single day. I wear sweatpants every day unless I go out. Dope Kirby in the background. Thank you. I have a sleepy Kirby and we've got the heart Kirby. I mean, of course I have to have the, the heart Kirby. Look at, I've got my heart blanket too. Can you see it? Yeah, heart blanket. Um, I definitely wear a lot of color. I think I just didn't wear color because like my family didn't, my fa oh, I, I itched my neck, I guess. Oh my gosh. Sorry, y'all. I'm okay, I promise. Yeah, so I uh, the way that I grew up, I was really taught to like be toned down and to be modest. So I think that that definitely affected the way that I present myself in the world. And I'm trying to be, I have already been changing that. I've already been venturing out, but like, I would like to do it even more. Um, my sun, Venus, and Mercury are all in Virgo. You've got so much Virgo in your chart. I have a lot of Virgo, too. 
Um, let me see. I got a little lost in here. I use CoStar as well. Should we check out my CoStar today? I'll open it. Uh, you need to know the time you were born and where. Yeah, that's so if you're going to get CoStar, I would um, make sure you know like the time and where you were born. It's going to ask like AM or PM as well. Um, CoStar is great. Highly recommend time passages too. It's like $1. Ooh, I'm going to have to check that one out. Where did you see this? I'm interested to see what colors and patterns. So I used CoStar to look up my Venus and then you can search on like TikTok and YouTube, but I wonder if there are better resources on Google. I actually don't know. Um, and also Deep Prince, thanks for the follow. Welcome in. I hope you're having a good day. Cafe Astrology is very helpful with um, descriptions as well. Oh, Cafe Astrology, maybe. I feel like I've seen some articles from them. Should we like roast me today and check out my co-star? <laughs> we can. We definitely can. Um, and also, hi, Viper. I didn't say hi to you yet. How's your day going? No, I don't want any notifications for this. Which kind of notifications do you want? None. Thank you. None. Don't be afraid of chaos. That's what my co-star is telling me, first of all. We'll we'll actually get into it. Daily horoscopes can be so unhinged sometimes, though. It's so true. I'm afraid mine's gonna like absolutely roast me. Uh, my Venus is in Taurus. I got no idea what that means. <laughs> yeah, but slay, I guess. You know what? I don't really know what it all means either, but it's just like, it's one of those things that it's just like fun to talk about, you know? I'm a Leo and a uh, Chinese tiger, Liger. <laughs> um, speaking of Napoleon Dynamite, that's one of Weasel's family's like favorite movies. And his dad has this like um, Napoleon Dynamite like t-shirt <laughs> and it's really funny. It's not like a vote for Pedro one. It's a more like a more niche one than that. I'll have to look it up. Leo's rise. I work from home. I'm literally always in PJs. I know, right? I want to do like the outfit of the day, but maybe we don't do, maybe we do like, like a sleigh outfits kind of category or something. We'll have to see. <laughs> not, well, I mean, not sleigh outfits, but like going outfits. Oh, we could call them going outfits. Let me write that down. Write that down. Write that down. Going outfits. We. Um, I'm a Taurus, Sun, Libra, Moon, Virgo, Rising, Libra, Rising, Scorpio, Sun, Aquarius. Ooh, Aquarius. Um, I think, I don't know if I know any Aquarius. What, what birth, wait, that's your moon. When's it? Okay, I'm trying to think of like the order of all of these. D Prince, hey, what's going on? How's your Monday? I like CoStar, I love the pattern. Um, Cafe Astrology is awesome for beginners. Okay, so everybody who's a beginner, beginner, check out Cafe Astrology. Hi, Annette. Hi, hi, hi. Um, for apps, I use time passages. Oh, okay, so maybe I need to switch over. My teens and 20s, I definitely was full Leo, but the older I get, uh, and now a parent, I try to embrace my Libra, learning how to pause and then react like a Scorpio. I use time pas passages too. Ooh. See, I like the aspect where it teaches you about moon phases. That's cool. I'm pretty balanced Libra um, with that moon and sun. My dad is a Scorpio and my mom is an Aquarius. Wow. What is, so if my mom's in February, what would she be? And my dad is in March. Well, I guess it depends on the day too. I <laughs> love Napoleon Dynamite. I, I do too. I rewatched it with family over Thanksgiving, actually. Going outfits, do we like it? My Monday has been chill so far. I'm doing good. I'm not doing too bad today. Just vibing and thriving per usual. I'm excited for a new week because last week was kind of rough on me. So I'm ready for like a, a fresh start. You know what I mean? Um, Let's see. I'm a Cancer, Sun, Scorpio, Moon, but I have Gemini. Wait, I don't know what that is. Stellium? Gemini is in rising Mercury, Venus, and Mars. Whoa. Um, such a Gemini. <laughs> are you really? Wait, what's a, what are some of the Gemini characteristics? Kelzoni, thanks for lurking, bestie. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Okay, let's check out my co-star again. What else do we have in here? Let me look. Is it going to roast me? Oh my God, it's three paragraphs. Do you all want to hear all, all the paragraphs? Oh God. 
Oh god, I don't know if I can read this out loud. Today, nothing makes sense. You get bored at mundane tasks, accidentally mix colors while doing laundry, and leave little pieces of food everywhere. Focus on what you are currently doing. Feeling the sensation of your body against other objects. What? What is that talking about? <laughs> um, listen to the sounds around you. You already know exactly what you want and how to get it, and that's the start. This month, you are ready to remember that other people are their own entity. This is a commendable move for someone who thrives on constant attention. <laughs> Rude. <laughs> Rude. Okay. This is your opportunity to practice love that defines, uh, defies societal expectations. The general theme of your life during this period is to move towards your new self with conscious and deliberate movement. Questionable intentions can lead to good results. Questionable intentions? What does that mean? I'm so confused. <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> Social, uh, wait, where to go? Sociable? Uh, communicative and always ready for fun, but can suddenly become serious, thoughtful, and restless. Interesting. My mom's either Aquarius or Pisces. Um, dad is either Pisces or Aries. I think my mom is Aquarius and my dad is... I actually don't know. I don't know. My mom's Sag. My dad is Gemini. Polar opposites. Chaotic. Totally understand that. <laughs> totally understand that one. <clears throat> Okay, what the heck was that little co-star reading? Cafe Astrology will send you into an existential crisis. Yeah, co-star just did. So I imagine a, a better one would be, a, a better app would send me into crises. Crises, okay, should we vote on what we're gonna do today? I think it's about time we get into some shit. Your dad could be an Aries if uh, in March makes sense with the Aquarius mom. He So his is the 15th. <laughs> With, wait, what did it say? I didn't even notice. Um, with the Aquarius mom. <laughs> uh, let me see here. Let me start a poll. We're gonna do, what do, what do uh, terraforming in a, wait, a C and H or finish summer year one stardew okay well i can't put finish in there because i don't have enough characters you've got three minutes you're telling me right now what we're gonna do today okay are we terraforming an animal crossing or are we finishing summer year one in stardew i'm gonna give you I'll give you five minutes on the poll in case anybody comes in within those five minutes. So I'm going to do a five minute poll and then we'll get started with games today, okay? Poll is up. Vote in it, please. Rosy Cheeks wants a community tarot. Um, giraffe, hey, what's going on? How's your day? I hope it's really good. Hope it's good. That makes sense. Uh, I think that makes your dad a Pisces. Aren't Pisces men supposed to be like... <laughs> Is that, am I correct? <laughs> I mean, anyways, <laughs> um, I, I have no idea what that means, giraffe. Let me see. Uh, give me just one second. Oh, uh, Mars, if you're here, I don't, I don't know if you're here. Mars or Annette, you can go ahead and take action on what you, uh, sent me. Or not to me, but you know what I'm saying. You can go ahead and do that if you'd like to, if you all are here. Okay, the poll is up, babies. Poll is up from experience with Pisces men. Yes. Well, you know, I have been having some issues with my family this week. <laughs> oh, um, the... Oh, Billy! Mm, woo! Billy, thank you for the two months. I really appreciate it. How are you doing today? You having a good Monday? Giraffe, thanks for the follow. Um, okay, let's see here. Virgo Sun. Oh, God. Oh, God. I gotta stop it. I gotta stop it. I'm getting the uh, community tarot ready, by the way. Poll is up. Please don't forget to vote in the poll so I can. I can do what you all want me to do today. You've got two options. Um, Virgo Sun, Sag Moon is 
Dreaming idealist. Ooh, okay, so what does that mean? Dreaming idealist. Um, I'm like, I'm being too much. Am I like, how do I explain it? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, let's see here. Where am I? I'm actually currently flattening my island. I'm biased in today's poll. Hilarious. No worries at all. Get your votes in on that poll, okay? Get your votes in. It's about halfway over. Um, I mean, most men are a little meh. <laughs> um, Pisces and Gemini men are the worst, do you think? I need terraforming inspo and motivation, okay? Let me see, where is the poll at so far? Oh shit, y'all want me to play? a little ac today i'm actually like low-key a little bit surprised i thought that you all would be more interested in um stardew so this means we'll probably do stardew on wednesday if we don't do it on wednesday we'll do it on thursday either way we will finish summer this week in uh in year one in stardew valley um let's see billy thank you again for the two months good morning to you uh and also, Libs! Hi, Libs! How's your day going? I hope it's really good. Busy. I'm also loving the hair today. Thank you. Oh! <laughs> should we do this one? I think maybe we should do the star. I think we all need a little bit of the star energy, and I just um, split the deck to the star. So I think we're going to do that. How about it? Um, I'm a Virgo. Pisces. Pisces. Ooh, lots of Pisces. Love your makeup so much. Thank you. You all are being so nice to me today. Stop it. I'm going to blush. I am blushing. Your makeup looks amazing today. Ah! I'm gonna, I have to, I'll be right back. <laughs> oh my God. Mac. Hi, Mac. How's your day going? I hope it's really good. What are you up to? Also, Atomic. Hi. How's your day going? Uh, happy Monday, everybody. Gemini males are the worst. Gemini females are great. I will say my friend Katie is a Gemini. She's pretty great. <laughs> Gemini females are, I agree. Gemini females are great. Um, day's going great so far. Happy you're streaming today. I'll be lurking. Yay! A little bit of cooking. If you want to let me know, I would love to know what you're, uh, what you're cooking up today. And also what you're reading. I know you were posting in, uh, the Discord about it a little bit as well. Uh, everyone is a star. Yeah, let's do the star for today. Pisces, Leo, Leo. Lots of Leo. Holy cow. Thank you all for all the compliments. I had a nice weekend at my parents and now I'm back home getting ready for the day. I hope you have a fun time getting ready. Um, I always love getting, I mean, maybe this sounds weird, but like I love getting ready for the day. It's like self care, you know, like doing my makeup, like figuring out what I want to wear, what earrings I want to wear, stuff like that. Orzo, hey. Yeah, we are talking about Zodiac a little bit, a little astrology. I'm a Virgo, Virgo Sag, Capricorn. That's what I am. Eating up leftover lasagna, yum. Six of crows. Excuse me. Okay, so we're gonna do a little bit of Animal Crossing today. We will finish summer year one and start you later this week though. Don't you worry. Don't you worry. Gemini um, are chaotic middle children. <laughs> Wait, what? It's me, I'm the Gemini. <laughs> um, Capricorn sun. Next Wednesday, Virgo rise. Oh, wait. So your birthday's next Wednesday? No way. Happy early birthday. You'll have to remind me. Please remind me on the day. If your birthday has ever come around and I'm streaming, I do want to say happy birthday to you. So always feel free to say it. Okay, it's finally time for the community tarot. Shall we do it? And then we'll get into Animal Crossing. But I do also want to talk about, there's some other stuff we can talk about too. We have to come back to Hawks. And we have to come back to something that I haven't talked about. Did you all watch? What was the award show last night? What was it called? What was it called? Libs, thanks for the bubbles. Um, let's see. Okay, sorry. I'm reading some messages too. Golden Globes. Okay, so what were the sleigh outfits? What did you think? I want to talk about Margot Robbie. Hello? Wixie, hello. How's your day going? How do, howdy doody, chatteroonie. <laughs> Why did that take me so long to say? Yeah, okay, so Killian Murphy, I saw a tweet about him. Wait, okay, let me do this first and then don't let me forget about Killian Murphy. I saw a tweet about him that I absolutely loved. Um, uh, Starberry, 
do you want to take action on the the thing that is being discussed? <laughs> you can just take action on it. I'm down. I'm down. You know me and the boundaries. <laughs> okay, let's see here. Star energy, if I can find it. I'm going to give like the full description. So there's a description at the top and then there's the upright description. I'm going to give the full description to us. Okay. So today we have the star for our community tarot. The star represents trust, faith, and a newly found clarity. When all feels lost, have hope. Like zero's glowing jack-o'-lantern nose, the star will light your way and guide you forward. Now is the time to look to the skies and dream. The star is here to illuminate the visionary in you. Let go of the self-doubt that's weighing you down because inspiration is ready to carry you to new heights. Oh, Soleil. That's exactly what I needed to hear, okay? Exactly. Um, Exactly, exactly what I needed to hear. <laughs> Love your cards. Thank you. I have the uh, Nightmare Before Christmas deck. You can get it on Amazon. Um, petition, petition to do stream where you tier rank the outfits. Wait, honestly, that would be a sleigh. Margot Robbie does. She does always slay. <laughs> the host was out of pocket. I didn't watch. Joe Coy didn't have a good night. Oh, wait. Okay, so who's Joe Coy? Should I know? I don't know. Oh, the host was bombing. Oh, no. Do you think that they were just nervous? Like, what happened? So, first of all, we need to talk about Superstar Barbie. Can we just talk about super, super star Barbie? <laughs> we need to talk about superstar Barbie because Margot Robbie showed up in the literal superstar Barbie outfit. Literal superstar Barbie outfit. And it was so good. And did you know, superstar Barbie has a pink dress and a black dress for going out. She changed into the black dress. She changed into the black dress. She looks so hot. She looks so hot. I couldn't, I couldn't. Um, he's on, wait, I have no idea, but he's on my blacklist now. Wait, really? Love Margot Robbie, right? Everyone looks stunning. I'm looking now, right? We should look. I need to get my, uh, stream set up so that I can just like do little searches for us, but I can't do that right now. Dude's jokes were misogynistic and terrible. Ew. Ew, I'm glad I didn't watch. I'm glad that I just look at outfits. Also, what's that guy's name that's in Saltburn that is like besties with Jacob Elordi now? His outfit was awesome. It was like, I think it was Prada maybe? I don't know. I can't remember. But um, he had like an all red fit. <gasps> Pedro Pascal with the little turtleneck. It was so good. Rocking a sling. Wait, I didn't even see. Let me look up Pedro. Oh, I wish I could search this and show you all. I'm sorry. Pedro Pascal Golden Globes. Oh, he was rocking a sling. What happened? I liked his little turtleneck, though. It was cool. And then uh, let's see. Hi, Delphi. How was your food? He made a joke about Oppenheimer being inspired by a novel winning book and Barbie being inspired by a Ew. Ew. And didn't uh, didn't the Golden Globes call Barbie a fanfic? <laughs> Fucking disrespectful. Okay, that was disrespectful to women everywhere. Barry, yes, Barry. Hang on. His outfit. Barry Saltburn Golden Globes. Yeah, his like all red outfit was so cool. Everybody go look it up. I'm sorry. Well, we'll uh, I'll do something behind the scenes so that I can Google search for you all, okay? In the future. Also, the way he said it, ew. Uh, I hope he never comes back. I hope he is actually blacklisted. I love Pedro Pascal too. In the year of Barbie and powerful, amazing women in all industries, host jokes weren't funny at all. That's on on period as the kids say <laughs> um he made a couple others too oh, i'm so glad i didn't watch he also said that at least um he also said that at least at the golden globe they didn't have so many camera shots of taylor swift rude they should she's slaying like they do at the nfl ew i hate this person read the room yeah literally isn't the red suit good Okay, let's do Animal Crossing now. Animal Crossing. 
crossing. Wait, what? Oh, I'm not typing it in the right spot. Love that for me. Okay, let's do Monday terraforming. Am I spelling that right? Yeah, Taylor in the green. Wasn't it a green dress? So good. I'm not a Taylor Swift fan, but I'm not going to hate on her either. Why would I hate on her? Oh, the reactions of Taylor. I've got to look it up. Oh, you love the little Junimo in the corner? I love him too. Ju Jumino? Junimo. Jumino. I don't know. <laughs> um, gave him like a what the fuck, dude. Oh, I also saw this video of Selena Gomez talking to Taylor Swift. And uh, this is all just on Twitter because I don't have TikTok or anything. Um, uh, did I say Junimo? Jum Jumino. <laughs> so I saw a video of Selena talking to Taylor Swift. And um, apparently Selena asked for a picture with Timothy Chalamet and Kylie Jenner told her no. And they were both like, <laughs> um, usually lurk, but wanted to say your tarot deck was exactly what I needed to hear. Oh, Gills, thank you so much for lurking here. Thanks for coming out of your lurk to say that too. I really appreciate it. That's so nice. No pressure to chat, but I'm so happy that you did. Um, Taylor's dress was giving. <laughs> yes, <laughs> it was giving. Um, saw that video this morning, did you? Junimos are the best. Oh, who's Muscle Muscle Daddy Ju Junimo? Wait, how do? Wait, what is it? I'm getting myself confused now. Junimo Stardew Ju Jumino Junimo. Yeah, Junimo. What am I saying? <laughs> I don't know. Who knows? Okay, let me update the category Monday terraforming. Hopefully I'm spelling that right. Terraforming, terraforming. I think I did spell that correctly. <clears throat> um, okay, are we ready? Should we do some? Strong, <laughs> stonks. <laughs> Saw them gossiping with another celeb and I had no idea what they were talking about and apparently that was it. Yeah, they were talking about how Kylie said, no pictures, please. No pictures with my man. To my man, thank you to my man. <laughs> to my man, thank you to my man. Okay, besties, we have to like get into it. Should we get into it? <clears throat> I need to get my stuff ready. Yeah, ColourPop has a Twilight collection coming out. That TikTok literally just came up on my For You page. You know what? It's gonna be the talk of the town, isn't it? I, I'm i gonna be honest. Okay, I don't hate anybody. When I say I hate, I mean I hate from afar. Like, I don't know these people. I, I don't hate anybody that I don't know. You know what I mean? But uh, the uh, Kardashians, the Jenners, Keep them away from me. I don't want anything to do with them. Twilight will never die. So true, Bestie. I actually do kind of like Twilight. I I watched Twilight. I read the books in middle school. <clears throat> and then obviously, like, I've watched them a couple of times. I've watched, like, all the Twilight stuff. I'm not, like, a super fan or anything, but I like it. I don't want it to go away. People were hating on it so hard, and I'm like, for what? It was good. Even the stuff that's like memeable, it was still good. Okay, everybody, star energy today. Don't forget it. Don't forget it. <laughs> they just gave me the ick. Yeah, I'm not, I don't like the Kardashians. They're just not for me. They're just, everybody who likes that, I don't know, they're, how do I explain the Kardashian effect? I don't know, just don't like them. I just don't, they're just not my cup of tea. All right, y'all, let me get some stuff moved around on my PC, and then we gotta get into some Animal Crossing. I also need to open my spicy software. I get it, I really do. Thank you. I wish I could explain it better. I don't know how so many people like them and watch the show. I've never watched the show. I love reality TV. I've never watched the show, and I will never watch the show. I'm sorry, it's just not happening. Um. All I've seen is the lip glosses, but they must have a good highlight. <laughs> Honestly, they probably do. They probably do. Like, why wouldn't they have a good uh, a good highlight for the Twilight uh, ColourPop series? I mean, they have to. They all glisten, right? 
All right, we're getting into Animal Crossing, but we can keep the combo going. Duh. Duh. Um, reality TV needs to be rooted in reality. So true. But the cuts and edits are not rooted in reality. Not at all. Not at all. Also, I have the task list up. Do you all want the task list today? I know we have lots of workers. Here, I'll just, I'll put it to a poll. I'll put it to a poll. Um, task list. Yes, please, please, or don't need it today. I'm gonna do a three minute poll. If you all want the task list, so you can add a task, like if you're working on something at work, in game, around the house, you can add a task. Um, if you all want it, I will put it up. If you don't give a shit about it today, I'm not putting it up, okay? Glitter body oil? They need to make a Twilight TV series. I hope it would be good, you know? Like, would it be good? I saw, didn't the director or someone say that if they were to remake Twilight now, they would do, what's her name? Um, is her name? Jenna, Jenna Ortega? No. Is that her name? The one from Wednesday, the um, Netflix series and Jacob Elordi? I would kill for that. I love them. They're both amazing actors. Glitter body oil, adding that to my wish list. Do y'all, um, did you all used to watch The Girls Next Door? Hugh Hefner, um, but also love the show. Wait, Girls Next Door. What channel was that on? I feel like I recognize the name, but I don't know. If you're into to documentaries, there's a good 90s doc that outlines the beginning of reality TV. Oh, I actually love documentaries. I would love to see that. Do you know the name of it? Chilling today, no worries at all. That task list poll is up. Let me know what y'all are vibing with. If you want the task list, we'll do it. If you don't need it, I'm not putting it up. We've only got five votes for yes. Only five. <gasps> Stardew, you're star doing today. Honestly, I think it was a bit too young when I watched it. Probably say, I, I kind of feel like that's one of those shows that I was watching when I should not have been. Easy lunch to make today, so I'm trying to be very productive. Yes, get off work early, get it done for the day on E. I feel like I watched that probably with my mom. I used to watch reality TV with my mom <laughs> back in the day. Back in the day. Is anybody doing anything fun this week? What are your plans coming up? Um, any Anything to like be excited about? I want to know. I do want to talk about hawks though i want to talk about hawks too <laughs> that's so off the cuff it's funny wait i'm going the wrong way again uh seriously thanks for lurking it's called 90s the decade that connected us oh okay disney plus interesting i do have i do have disney plus so i'll be able to do that pretty easily let me open my spicy software really quick um interesting Interesting first time chat. I'm not. Uh, eh. I got your stream up on my TV. Um, pop out chat on PC. Min Max Bird. Ayo, hey, we love to see it. When I was younger, I always watched 90210. Really? I watched. Um, we watched some like MTV reality shows. Those were kind of the bad ones. Um, oh no, I lied. It's called Rewind the 90s. Okay. Okay, we've got seven votes for yes. Okay, I'll put it up today. So the task list, here is how you do it. Uh, I think this'll do, this'll show it. Yeah, so if you wanna add a task to the task list, it can be anything. It can be something you're doing in game. It can be something you're doing at work, something around your house, if you're cooking dinner, if you've got like meetings to go to, something like that. You can add it to the list if you'd like with exclamation point task. And then when you're done, you do exclamation point done, okay? Clean up that inbox, Millie. Thanks for hanging out with me today. I love being on the TV. I love attention apparently, according to my Leo Venus. Uh, still a Nat Geo doc. Okay, I love National Geographic documentary, so I will definitely add that to the list. Definitely, definitely. I'm gonna also do I'm gonna pin my minimalist challenge info. I'm doing a little minimalist challenge. Um, it's not like, it's just a challenge that I'm doing for myself. So I'm only allowed to use 
1,000 items on my island. Um, and that doesn't include like natural stuff or um, like crafted food. So yeah, clean inbox is so real. Oh my God, I, I need to do it too. I really need to do it too. Paige, oh, hi Paige. I'm trying to get, you know, movement and noise will attract kitties. Look at me, Pidge. <laughs> um, okay, so we were, I said earlier that I would come back to the hawks discussion. And when I say hawks, I mean like the bird. Um, if you don't know anything about hawks, like <laughs> fan, bird is you fan in the making, please. I would love that. If you don't know anything about um, hawks, let me tell you about hawks, okay? Let me tell you, hang on. I need to get my spicy software up really quickly. Hawks symbolism. I think that like a hawk is my, I don't wanna call it like a spirit animal because it sounds like cringy to say that, but the hawk represents intelligence. They have a deep understanding of where they're going and have incredible vision, both um, literally and figuratively. Spiritually, they are known for seeing their opportun opportunities, their power of um, divine sight and being able to see the future that most others can't see. I see hawks all the time. It's actually insane. And I feel like I really resonate with hawks because me as a person, I like, I look at things from a different point of view before I even like think about taking action. Um, so one of the first chats being about hawks today was interesting. I see hawks around my house all the time too. I see them flying all the time. The other day I actually saw, did you know hawks are like predatory towards other birds too? I saw a hawk catch another bird the other day and I was like, oh my God, what do I do? I can't do anything. Um, also, y'all enjoy all your tasks. Get shit done. Thank you for watching ads. They're about to happen. So, uh, yeah, I like birds. I think birds are cool. <laughs> That's all I was going to talk about. She looked. Did she look? Oh, so here for the hawk talk. What do you all think about um, like spirit animal? We were talking about astro astrology earlier, you know, so like if you're thinking spirit animals, I know it was like cringy back in like middle or high school when we talked about spirit animals but like what do you think about it do you have any opinions on it do you think it's like a real thing i'm curious to know what your all's opinions are also i'm getting my spicy software um loaded if you're curious what the hell i'm doing that's what i'm doing i just need to clear out my inventory a little bit Mm. Mm. Okay, I'm gonna get these weeds out of here and then I need to, but oh, where is it? Other, there we go. Okay, there we go. I think it's definitely a real thing. I personally use spirit animals to cleanse negative energy around me. Interesting. I'm interested in it, um, but more specifically, I think the hawk might be like a family thing for me because my mom also sees hawks a lot and like talks about birds a lot with me. Um, so I think for me, it might even just be like a family thing. It's like family spirit animal. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, I'm also going to, sorry, I'm having to like totally get set up today. I'm all over the place a little bit. Let me add a task. Task Terraform Plaza. Terraform Plaza. That's my task for today. There it is. It's on the list. Yay. Um, I don't know if it's spirit animals or spirit guides, but I do know that one of those is a traditional Native American ritual. I think it's animals, but that may have just been like Disney making shit up, you know? Because I'm thinking of that, the movie Brother Bear, but like, I don't think that that was an accurate depiction, you know? Um, a mere traditional Native American rituals uh, of sorts that's used to guide the person through life, protect them from what I remember. Yeah, I think 
I think you might be correct. In an Uber again while watching you. No creepy creepers today so far. Uh, crossing fingers. We keep the flow of no weirdo Ubers. Yeah, please. You could just like, listen, I we need a safe word for you. So like, <laughs> if you get into trouble, type, type banana pineapple in the chat and I'll start talking to you. Uh, you can put me on speaker and then I'll be like, hey girl, what's up? <laughs> when are you going to get here? <laughs> we were talking about spirit animals. I think hawks are associated with Apollo. Interesting. Banana pineapple. You know it. Banana. Uh, yeah, two words just so that we make sure we we know. We know what's happening. <laughs> <clears throat> Excuse me. Considered messengers. Interesting. Spirit animals are really sacred and important Native American cultural thing in lots of tribes. It can be iffy to claim spirit animals lightheartedly depending on um, who one is talking to, but I'm sure everyone is fine as long as it's respectful. Yeah, definitely. Definitely respect traditions of others. And that's why I don't I don't know if we should call it spirit animals or guides, you know? Check. <laughs> now you know. Thank you all for watching ads. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. So uh, we're doing some terraforming about, um, about around the plaza today. And then if we have time, it depends on how long it takes me, but if we have time, I'll try and connect like the plaza area down to the entrance. Um, that's kind of what I want to work on today, but I feel like the plaza is a really important uh, area to decorate off the bat. So we're going to work on that. <clears throat> um, soul animal or something. Yeah, I agree. Especially because I think oftentimes people just don't know what they're saying. Period. Like, we're not necessarily talking about the traditions of another culture, but it is something that is... Uh, present in another in a in a sacred practice there we go thank you for the star drop how many is that three now love to see it <clears throat> and i definitely personally don't want to be insulting to anybody's um beliefs or practices okay should i just i think i should just fill all of this in actually because i'm gonna do some like mountainous terraforming in this area i think it'll be good I think for me, hawks are just like a personal symbol, <laughs> a personal symbol. And for me, I, I like to talk about it, hawks specifically, because hawks are like, you know, they're watching from above, they're observant. So that's what I like to, what I like to talk about in regards to them. Love this community. Me too. Me freaking too. And also, I wonder, speaking of because we were talking about that movie, Brother Bear. D does anybody know the movie? I really loved that movie when I was younger, but it does make me wonder how appropriate it is, like, or how real it is. Like, was Disney just completely ripping off native culture and uh, probably not doing it correctly? Uh, I didn't think about that obviously as a child, but I think about it now as an adult. Loved Brother Bear, me too. I really liked it too. I hope that they at least did some research or had somebody on the team that could help them. Uh, but you know what? That came out in what, the early 2000s? So I kind I do kind of doubt it. I feel like people are only becoming uh, aware these, I don't know, maybe these last like five years, truthfully aware. Been trying to get more spiritual and I think I found a connection with uh, Lady Hick. Hikate and Lord Apollo um, been trying to set up an altar for each of them. Oh, I don't have any tips because I am not like incredibly spiritual, but I know we have some people in the community who may be able to help. I befriended three crows. I make them crow cootery boards. No way. With fruits and veggies and water, they come every day. I know my neighbors think I'm crazy because I talk to them and say, hi, hi, hi. No, I love that because the interesting thing about crows is I think crows know shit, y'all. I think crows know some shit. <laughs> they like, 
I don't, if you see videos of crows online, like, I don't know, they have like knowledge that we do not have. I don't know what it is, but I'm also one of those people, I've always said this, I've been transparent with you all about it, but I don't really know like what I believe in. I, I say, I like to say that I believe in nothing. So that means I am able to believe in everything. <laughs> Where some people like believe in nothing and just truthfully believe that everything is like by chance. But for me, I, I believe in nothing so I can believe in everything. Pidge is currently trying to get the butterfly. Wait, let's go, let's go find a bug for Pidge. Where'd that butterfly go? I think I lost it. Here's this little bug. I think I need a butterfly though, something bigger. Oh, butterfly. I'm obsessed with the idea of crow cootery boards. Me too. Uh, okay, maybe over here. I want to find a butterfly for Pidge. Oh, okay. We'll just scare away every other, every other one, and that'll be fine. Maybe over here. Mama Llama, thanks for grabbing your daily bird. If you're just lurking, enjoy it. I hope you have a good day today. Hi, Rix and Red. How's your day going? Janelle! Hi, Janelle! What's going on in your world? How are you doing today? Crows are the... Crows are one of the smartest birds out there. They know how, uh, how to drop nuts on the ground to open them. Wait, what? I didn't know that. Janelle, thanks for the follow. Okay, I'm trying to find... If you all are just getting here... Wait, pretty late. Is that, okay, wait, is that a rebrand? I know you were here yesterday, but I'm also wondering now if that was a rebrand. Did you have a different username before? Looky here, there's a little bug. I'm trying to find a butterfly for Millie's cat. Millie's cat's watching me right now and was very interested in a butterfly on screen. So I'm trying to find a butterfly for Millie's cat. There's one. Let me see if I can get it up. Get up here, get up here. Get up. <laughs> yeah, and crows will like bring you coins and stuff. Did you all see that video of um, this lady? Oh, it was squirrels. This lady feeds squirrels and then the squirrels brought her a cookie. You know, they could have they eaten that cookie on their own, right? Oh, you are new here. Okay, you have a very similar username to um, one of our lurker babies. So I was curious. <laughs> How was I not already following? Honestly, I did. There was a day a couple of months ago that I dropped 50 followers like all overnight. And uh, that's a Twitch issue, you know. You may have been one of those. It was like some of my regulars too. So it could have been one of those. This butterfly is for Pidge. <laughs> Prelay, how's your day going? I hope it's really good. Okay, look how adorable this little butterfly is. Come on, Pidge. Pidge. <laughs> All right, bye, little butterfly. Working from home today. A lot of the community is working today. If anybody is just getting here, you can totally add a task to the task list. Here's how you do it. Exclamation point task if you want to add anything. Exclamation point done when you're done. Oh my God, you posted videos. I can't wait to look at them later. I was wondering why I wasn't seeing your live notification anymore. Yeah, it was so, it was so annoying, honestly. I lost a lot of valuable members. <laughs> um, no worries at all though. It happens, it happens. Um, and Vikings uh, believed that their main god, Odin, came to earth as a crow to watch them or send them messages and signs. That's interesting. Whoa. I am a, uh, so this year i've been thinking about like my goals for the year again as i do i have like a little bit like a little loose goal idea you know but i haven't really put too much thought into specifics and i saw something the other day that was like never get to the point where you feel too old to learn new things and um i think i want to put that into practice. I think that I would like to continue learning and like not be afraid of learning new things and like being bad at things. So uh, yeah, I think I'm adding that to my like 2024 goals. Meg, hi. No worries at all. I hope you have a great lunch. Thanks for hanging out with me. 
And also, if I missed anybody, please feel free to let me know. I know we've got a bunch of tasks happening. Butterflies. I will happily give you some butterflies. How about a few? How about a few butterflies? I don't want to offend anybody, but um, if you're... <laughs> Here's how you know if you're annoying me in chat. If you redeem butterflies and I only put one butterfly, that's how you know. <laughs> I'm just, I'm totally kidding. Well, I did have to do it one time because I was setting boundaries, but uh, anyways, <laughs> setting boundaries, that too. Some butterflies for you. Can you see them? Okay, here, let me put, where is it? Let me put this one down here so you can see it a little bit better. There we go, cute. I like when they're kind of down in my hair. It's really adorable. Crow cootery board is my niche on TikTok. Wait, do you post TikToks of your crow cootery boards? I need to see this. I need to see this. Uh, this birder on Instagram just showed up on my feed yesterday. She shared the story about the crow she and her dog and cat became friends with. Oh my God, I need to see it. Sad ending. I hate that though. Hate a sad ending. <laughs> me watching and cringing yesterday sorry billy i we've got um for me i kind of hold for the regulars in the community this is kind of how i do it i have like a three strikes you're out policy depending on how bad you're pushing my boundaries so um we're on two strikes with that person let's just say <laughs> we're on two strikes now <laughs> uh gotta go because my phone is dying no worries at all i'll see you on wednesday bye seriously have a good rest of your day uh, the one thing I love about you is how real you are. Listen, you gotta keep it a hundred. I think some people say, gotta keep it a buck fifty, if you will. <laughs> Bex, hi, back from work. How was your work day? Noted, one butterfly, she's annoyed. Exactly. <laughs> you better give me, <laughs> wait, um, you better, wait, 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 wait. Better not give me one, is that what you're saying? Butterfly clips takes me back to sixth grade. All the girlies wear them. Yeah, I uh, I had some little clippies when I was a kid too. I like, we have some like various clips. We have some bigger ones like the devil horns and the bear ears. We also have like some Sanrio ones. Um, but if I, if you ask for the little ones, I'll do, uh, I'll do a couple of them at a time. <laughs> uh, keep, wait, keep it three th thoey. <laughs> wait, what is that? I it went over my head. Tell me, explain to me, my little pea brain. Uh, usual work day for me. Uh, full of malarkey. I'm so sorry. It was full of malarkey. That's the way Mondays go. Thought about bear ears. Yes, I. The bear ears are cute. We'll have to have them later today. Somebody. Somebody redeem them later so we can show them off. I've been loving the little devil horns too. I added those around um, Halloween time. Loving the energy we've brought to stream today. It's a Monday. We have to have good energy on a Monday. Also, high seeking stars. If you're just lurking, enjoy it. It's so hard to write it down. Like 3,000, 3,000, 3,000. So did I... Did I say it right? <laughs> I was struggling to figure out how to spell it. I haven't heard that one. I think uh, there's another one and maybe it's a Southern thing, but it's like, keep it a buck, Chuck. <laughs> Is that a Southern thing? So like, if you're telling somebody to keep it 100, what what is your like weirdest thing that you would say? Keep it a buck, Chuck. Keep it a buck 50. Keeping it real. You did slay. <laughs> My iPad's about to die. I need to finish this art piece. Oh my God, get your little charger. It's hard, it's honestly so hard to draw with a charger though. I I feel you. What do you use again, Procreate? It's always so annoying to have to have it on the charger when you're trying to draw. I've heard that one, have you? I haven't heard that one. Keep it real, yo. I'm sorry, cringy. I don't think I've heard most of these phrases, really? Okay, I'm just filling in all the water because it's just, it's just one of those days. It's all about the he said, she said. Keep it 100. Up. Yes, that one too. 
uh, been trying with animation on Procreate. Did it come out? Uh, wasn't animation a new feature? Did that come out recently? Was it November maybe? Tried to go to our local witchy store and it was closed. We found a super cool uh, homeopathic grocery store instead. Ooh, that sounds nice. Did you have a fun time? I hope it was good. Um, was that a, an Ashley Tiz? I think it was a, wait, I think that was a Limp Biscuit. <laughs> I think that was a Limp Biscuit reference. I lied, just checked. I've only posted one video on Cro Crocuterie TikTok. The other's on Facebook. Uh, need to step up my TikTok game. Yeah, switch it over to TikTok. I don't have a Facebook or I would, I would check you out. TikTok kind of overwhelms me. I, I also understand that though, because I deleted TikTok. In case you all didn't know, I deleted TikTok like last week. I I had a rough weekend, so I watched a couple of TikToks on my iPad, but I've been good. I haven't been like doom scrolling. I'll scroll for like 20 minutes, maybe. Um, but I need to delete it off my phone and like instead of just trying to trying to doom scroll and think instead of thinking about some of the stuff that I have going on I need to journal so I, I'm gonna delete TikTok off my iPad so I don't have the option and uh I'm gonna journal this shit out I was thinking um uh he said she said oh yeah it's all about the he said she said I don't actually know the words of the rest of that hang on let me think Oh, I'm trying to think of the rest one, the rest of the words, but I can't remember them. I know the song you're talking about. It's so funny. There's an Ashley Tisdale song <laughs> and also like a Limp Biscuit song kind of on the same theme. I hate doom scrolling on TikTok and it's addictive. It's really addictive. Oh, uh, we got some energy drinks made with mushrooms. So excited to try them. I also got a home remedy to try for eczema. Ooh. I hope that it goes well for ya. My entire TikTok feed is Boulder's Gate, is it? Y'all, I haven't watched like any Boulder's Gate like gameplay or anything. Those are the only lyrics I know from the Limp Biscuit song. Um, I'm trying to think, uh, I actually know like all of that song, but it's low key embarrassing. Uh, Cause it's like, hang on, let me think of the Limp Biscuit lyrics. Um, it's all about the he said, she said bullshit. Something about quit it or you'll be leaving with a fat lip. He's like saying he's gonna fight people. <laughs> I'm not gonna fight anybody, okay? I'm gonna keep scrolling through TikTok for now. <laughs> you know what? And if that's what you need to do, bestie, go for it. Uh, it can be so easy to just sit there for way too long. Yeah, it is such a time sink. It really is. And that's why I'm trying to get off of it. Get out of my phone and into my life, you know? <laughs> but it's hard. It's really hard. Uh, covering up a pond. Wait, okay, so when you get to three, Rosie Cheeks, I know you're new to Animal Crossing. When you get to three stars on your island, you can get terraforming. So you get a little hard hat and then you can like terraform on your island. You can reshape the island. And uh, yeah, that's how I'm doing it. So you get that from the ABD machine. You like redeem, not redeem it. Purchase it. <laughs> yeah, purchase it in there. Um, I was so confused with the Ashley Tisdale album when it came out. Really? Wait, why? Was it like off brand or was it? Yeah, cause she was like, she was doing the acting and stuff, right? I really want to play Boulder's Gate, but I don't think this laptop will be able to handle it. See, that's how I feel about my PC. My PC crashed yesterday streaming and playing Minecraft. Hello? <laughs> Limp Biscuit is low-key kind of camp, Billy. 100%. I actually low-key love Limp Biscuit for days that I feel like I'm raging. Like if I'm in a bad mood, I'm listening to Limp Biscuit, and I'm not joking. That is not a joke. Not at all. <laughs> Yeah, unlock terraforming. Keropi's got it. Bird singing Limp Biscuit is my new favorite thing. If we ever do karaoke, I'll do uh, some Limp Biscuit karaoke for you all. If I'm pissed off, that's what I'm listening to. It's because, like, I grew up listening to it with my dad, you know? 
<laughs> yes, ma'am. <laughs> Would you ever attend uh, a new metal night? Um, I, let me, I mean, maybe. Hang on one second. Um, let me see. Do, do, do. The Animal Crossing music is like not not hype enough for me right now. Oh my god, it's hot in my office again today. I tried to close the vent and it won't it doesn't actually close. Where I got lost. I got lost in the chat. Hang on. I'm trying to turn myself into a Pinterest girly now. At least uh that version of Doom Scrolling might lead to some inspiration. Ooh, you know what? I am a Pinterest girly and I can confirm. I think Baldur's Gate is on the console now. I'm excited to try it on Xbox. Ooh, wait, it's on Xbox now? No way. I do the same thing with Limp Bizkit. I used to have an angry playlist. Me too. I Because I'm like not the kind of person that's gonna lash out with my anger. I'm just gonna like listen to it. Or like, I don't, I wanna go to one of those like break stuff rooms. Speaking of break stuff, that's the name of the song I just sang. It's such a horrifically wonderful, amazing time suck. Guys, let me get caught up in chat really quick. Y'all are popping off. Hi, Ducky. Thank you for lurking. Lilith Moon wants a jam sesh, which I can do. I certainly can do. When I lived in America, you lived in America? I was a kid for legit like one year. The kid in my class would wear the red cap and baggy pants thinking he was Fred Durst. No way. Rage room. Yeah, that one. My mom had surrounded, uh, surround sound speak, sur wait, surround, yeah, surround sound speakers all over the house when, she, and she, oh my God. <laughs> you know, when you, and, and when you, there was when you, I can't, I can't talk today. She was either blasting Limp Bizkit or Fleetwood Mac. Oh my, what, what a funny combination. That's a hilarious combination. I want to go to one of those rooms too. Ooh, so uh, bird community going to a rage room event. If we're singing karaoke, um, I'll start with Hand in My Pocket by Alana, wait, Alanis Morissette. Did did I say that right? Then Midnight Rider, Ritter Rider. <laughs> I can't talk today. Oh my God, I'll join you on the System of the Down. Actually, what's the Jewel song that's like, these boots are made for walking? That one. Alanis, did I say it right? Have you ever had a dream um when you, and, and when you, <laughs> that's so me right now. So me. Okay, 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 okay. Oh, and then I go into Tyler the Creator. I'm getting the jam sesh pulled up. What should we do? Oh, we should do the Toby Lou Buff Baby song. Toby Lou Buff Baby, hang on. Buff Baby. Buff baby bud, dance like a man. Here it comes, jam sesh. Y'all know what to do. If you don't, now you do. Dancing emotes in the chat right fucking now. <laughs> I'm on one today, can y'all tell? Tell me if that's too, too loud. You got this bird, you're doing amazing, thank you. I'm getting tongue tied, which is hilarious. Celine Dion for karaoke, slay. <laughs> If you don't know my name, then we ain't really dogs. Yeah, if you don't know my grandma name, then we ain't really dogs, bitch. Exactly. <laughs> Janelle, that one is so funny. Okay, I need to get, let me get focused on the game a little bit while we do our jam sesh, okay?
We'll do a cursed one in a second, too. Oh, I forgot to set the timer. Just getting back from grocery store. Started storming while I was shopping. Oh no, I'm so sorry. That's the worst. I'm looking for an inspo photo. Um, there are some global emotes at the very bottom of your emotes list. You might have some dancing ones there. I can't find the inspo photo. Let's try. Let's let's get this shit started. We do a cursed one too. What cursed one can we do? Well, actually, we should go back to the OG, girl blunt. I'll do one more. Here it is. You know it. You love it. Everybody get your Monday vibes going. Monday vibes only. We all, uh, we all love this song here. Come on. I only smoke girl blunt. This shit is a girl blunt. I only smoke girl blunt. This shit is a girl blunt. I only smoke girl blunt. This shit is a girl blunt. I only smoke girl blunt. I suggest you don't try me. I'm real unstable when I'm off that YG. Oh, half, half a tele friends don't mind me. I stand five three and I'm real feisty. Oh, what I need? Pretty nigga, palm trees. Got my own money, bitch. It's nothing you can buy. <laughs> you heard it in a song or in a in a show? And if they want smoke, we can put it in that air. Yeah. Bird, bird introduced you to it first, huh? insecure yeah it's an insecure that's a really good show by the way if you all haven't seen insecure you should totally watch it it's really really good Actually, the Insecure playlist is like really good. This 
shit is a girl blind. I only smoke girl blind. This shit is a girl blind. I only smoke girl blind. Thank you for the hydrate. Everybody hydrate with me, especially after you're a girl blunt. All right, let me turn it back down. Tell me if that uh if that's too loud later on y'all, will ya? The insecure soundtrack helps me uh, keeps blowing my mind because I have like half the songs in each episode. Yeah, because they're really good songs. It's like That show has the best soundtrack one of the best that I've ever ever heard It's a ray. Yeah Slays absolutely slays one of the first times I watched your stream you played girl blunt and I was like omg. I know this song really uh, Love to see it Eating dinner and the sausages do not taste right. Oh, no they had today's date. Be careful. Don't get sick. No getting sick, okay? Oh, I need to change the playlist so that it doesn't get muted. <laughs> I need to change the playlist so it doesn't get muted. I'm really sorry. We're going back to lo-fi. Back to lo-fi. Reminder that if you all want to add a task to the task list, here it is. Lurk while I find something for dinner. Ooh, gotta let me know what you end up having if it's something yummy. Or if you have a girl dinner, I wanna hear about it, okay? Just had to go find Girl Blunt on iTunes, ayo. Check out all of that artist's music. They're, uh, they're very slay. <gasps> RGB! Oh my God, can we get some hype in chat? Can we get some hype in chat for RGB? Oh shit, dog. VIP in chat. VIP in chat. RGB PhD. Ayo. Thank you for being here so much that you got that sweet, sweet permanent VIP. Y'all, those are going to be like, I really plan on leaving those for a while. <laughs> Gambled my way to the top, as you should. As you should. Uh, and also, did I miss something else? It was cool that they released the episode uh, playlist so I could get the songs I liked. That is nice. That's really nice. Let's fucking go. Hell yeah. <laughs> Seeking stars, didn't you introduce me and RGB? Isn't that how we met? <laughs> I love that. OGs of the community. OGs of the communities. So like, if you all didn't know, um, I did all. If you all didn't know, I uh, started streaming. I'm in my 10th month of streaming. So uh, Humpback Whale, hey, what's going on? How's your day? Oh, gifted me my first month sub. No fucking way. That's awesome. That's literally amazing. Um, so I'm in my 10th month of streaming and uh, we're, we're still like pretty early on, but I want to get like, you know, the regulars of the community to have the VIP. So we've got, we've got the VIP channel point. So if you want it, it's a permanent VIP. It'll stay around. It'll stay around for a long while. So I, I don't know how many I have left. I think we have like maybe 10, uh, 10 VIPs or some, somewhere around that number. Um, the only way they would get taken away is if you like stop showing up <laughs> and then I need them for like more regular community members, you know? But they'll be around for a while. A long while, I anticipate. Yeah, 10 months. I've been planning for it for a while, but but still. <laughs> and by stop showing up, I mean like, it would have to be a long time for me to take it away. Like a really long time. Oh my, 55.4 away. Listen, gamble your way to the top, bestie. Gamble to the top. <laughs> Almost anniversary, I know, right? We're less than a thousand, I'm sorry, less than a hundred away from 2K, which I would love to get before my uh, one year anniversary. And uh, yeah, I feel like stuff's going good. Stuff's going real good. And thank you for the follow, Humpback Whale. Thank you. 
So proud of how far you've come. Stop. I'll literally cry. I will literally cry. <laughs> it has been a journey. I've been grinding. <laughs> my anniversary, my one year stream anniversary is on April 2nd. And my affiliate anniversary is on April 9th. So we'll probably do something that week. I need less than 20k before uh, my permanent VIP. I would have been there already, but gambled too much. You know what? That's the way it goes. Trying so hard to save for VIP. Yes. Yes. According to my Twitch recap, I earned 131k points. Oh my God. Spent so many of them. It took forever to get VIP. I don't know when I added the VIP redemption either. I can't remember. Also, hi, Carson. If you're lurking, enjoy it. Weasel has a, f a shitload, too. My partner, Weasel. Because he can't, like, he can't really be around all the time. <clears throat> when I first started streaming, he had some time off work. So it was nice because he could be around and help me mod when I didn't have very many mods. I have a huge mod team now. So, like, he's just, he's just here occasionally, but he lurks all the time. He has so many points. Lilith, thank you so much for lurking. It was your first VIP, no way. Oh my God, I'm honored. Can I, a round of applause because I don't have any other, uh, I could do this one. <laughs> that may, that actually makes me like, I feel so honored, what the heck? That's crazy. I'm inter interested in how you started streaming. Um, as a somewhat newer watcher, did you plan a lot before you started streaming? I did. Um, I knew I wanted to start streaming back in 2020, but I didn't have the ability to do it really yet. And I, I didn't want to sacrifice the quality of my stream. Some people just start streaming and like, that is amazing. They just start doing it, whether, you know, they're streaming on a laptop or whatever. Um, for me, I really wanted to start out with the quality that I wanted to like progress with. So I saved up money to build my first PC and then I spent about a month um, like setting up my stream and like figuring out how I wanted everything to look and like doing alerts and stuff like that. So yeah, I did plan. I planned a lot, <laughs> a lot. 368 in another streamer I watch, but they're only uh, redeem as VIP and it's 4 million points. Okay, that's insane. They must be, are they a big streamer? That's so insane. That's so many points. Okay, wait, I don't know if I actually want all of this here. Hi, Weasel. <laughs> I'm gonna be the first bird buck billionaire. <laughs> Maybe. 4 million for VIP, that's crazy. <gasps> it was lower, but anytime someone redeems it, it doubles? No way, that's so cool. Oh, an Overwatch streamer. Uh, Weasel plays Overwatch. His favorite, okay, so if you wanna know who, can I, can I out you, Weasel? Weasel likes to watch Six, if you watch Overwatch. <laughs> Paige, thanks for lurking. I really appreciate it. I hope you're having a good day today. I like, I think six is fine. I like Overwatch streamers. I like Wanted though. <laughs> Wanted is one of my favorite uh, Overwatch streamers. Okay, the terraforming is terraforming, isn't it? It's getting somewhere, I think. When you all tell me that I'm your first VIP redeem, like I'm honestly, I'm low key baffled, but also like humbled and flattered. Flats and Emong, hell yeah. Good picks, solid people. You watch Flats as well, hell yeah. I feel like those two are just like good people, you know? Can you tell I play Roadhog? <laughs> I also like, um, what's the guy, uh, Weasel, who plays Ball? I haven't watched him in a long time. Oh, I can't remember his name. Yeah, very wholesome, I agree as far as Overwatch goes. <laughs> I love tuning into your stream when I work from home. Aww. I feel like I'm around more than I say. I I do take a little sneaky peek at, uh, 
I take a little sneaky peek at people's hours sometimes. So I can tell. <laughs> I can tell when people are lurkers and like I'm a true lurker lurker. I'm a true lurker myself, so like I'm the same way. I I don't always tell people when I'm around in their stream cuz I'm just like sometimes I'm doing my own thing, you know. I'm the same way. But that's so nice. Big lurker too. Lurker. <laughs> um, and then Nebula, thank you for the follow. Welcome in. I hope you're having a good day. I've been doing GTA RP. Oh, oh, they've been. Oh, have they? Are they on the? There's like a server that like a bunch of big streamers are in for GTA. Like, um, I'm thinking people like Blau and like Foosley, those kind of streamers. Uh, you can see who watches most. I, so I can look at, I have a bot that, yeah, no pixel. I have a bot, um, that keeps track of like hours and stuff like that. So I can look in there really easily and see, I don't do it very often. Cause like, I don't want anybody to feel any type of way about whether they watch or not, you know, but I look occasionally like, you know, if I'm adding custom commands or stuff like that, I'll see uh, hours watched and things. It's not always super accurate, though. So um, I don't take anything to heart by it either. And Nebula, I love that you just came in and you already have the answers to all my questions. No pixel. I don't know if I could do RP or uh yeah, RPG. I don't know if that's what I what I would be into. It's the climb. Yeah, Nightbot. I do have y'all see Nightbot hopping in here too. So, okay, what are some of the games that you all watch that are not like cozy games out of curiosity? I watch Minecraft a decent amount. Like if I'm going to watch big streamers, it's usually Minecraft. Um trying to think if there's anything else among us sometimes you know like back in the day when among us was like really popular i would watch that i do it in a smaller circle with friends yeah that would be fun honestly lethal company yeah that is fun to watch i was watching um if you all know guy if you all know like mystic kitten or that real guy judge i met them at twitchcon and I was watching Guy play Lethal Company the other day. Europe, thank you for work lurking. Uh, I think it's just W uh W U R K. Just work. Like work, bitch. <laughs> One of the oddest ones out because I don't always watch stream for games. Uh for the hangs and commentary. I feel that I feel like that's what my stream is. Sims, of course. Yeah, I love Maggie too. Lethal Company, Genshin, Overwatch, Apex, uh, and the finals. Oh. Um, I usually watch that stream, what streamers are playing, because I'm there for them. Same here. If I'm there for like, um, if I'm in like a big streamers community, it might be for the game. But I always pick somebody that I actually like who's a bigger streamer. Like, you know, you know what I'm talking about when I say that, like the, the streamers that just like, it's the one in a million streamers that just have a blue billion people watching them. Hell yeah, there it is. Cheebs is cool too. Yeah, I agree. I've watched Cheebs since, uh, since she was Bilbo, Chilbo Baggins. I said Bilbo Baggins. <laughs> okay. I'm not sure exactly what I'm doing here, but I'm just trying to... Maybe I should just connect these two for now. Oh, I don't know. I don't know if I need to connect these two. I don't watch much Genshin. I'm just not into Genshin yet. I feel like there's too much content. I feel like I get real lost with Genshin Impact. Ooh, Final Fantasy. Final Fantasy is having its, like... I don't know if I just missed out on it or what, but I feel like it's having a revival on Twitch right now. Like a bunch of people I feel are playing um, Final Fantasy. Is there a new Final Fantasy coming out? Is that why? Oh, uh, only bees. We've probably been in the chat at the same time. What the heck? Yeah, Billy, I'm the same way. I, a lot of times, 
I don't really watch like the the huge streamers that much because I just would rather support like my friends and community members and stuff like that. But if I do, oh, I watch Maya, Maya Higa, because she's got some like cool nature content because she does uh, bird rehabilitation and like things of that sort. I, I enjoy the, the animal side of that stuff. Sounds kind of rude. I don't think it sounds rude. I think that, you know, I think that just makes sense in my opinion. <laughs> okay. I'm liking the way this is looking, but I want to start building up a little bit. I actually might need to widen the base of this. Okay, let me... Let me do something in my spicy software really quick. Um, there we go. There we go. I don't really chat in there anymore. Yeah, I don't. I don't really chat at all on Twitch these days, especially because like I've got my own life stuff going on right now, and I just can't. I can't maintain the chatting right now. There's a few Final Fantasy games that came out a couple months ago. Oh, they're also dropping new content storyline for 14. Really? Okay, so that must be why it's having like a bit of a revival kind of moment. I tried to play some Final Fantasy 15 a while back and I found it difficult to navigate. Like I didn't know where I was going. Okay, I think I need to... Excuse me. I think I need to pick up these trees. Excuse me, excuse me. I'm hiccuping, I'm burping. As per usual. Okay. We've got two more back here. I think I'll take these two out. I might just connect this area, but also like, uh, I get a little bit worried about, am I gonna have to, tear down the back half of the island later and how am I gonna get in there if I have to tear it down maybe I don't connect it yet maybe I'll wait love the bun hairstyle Violet thank you how's your day going I hope it's good I saw your haul your your little plushy haul was so adorable I love the um the big Baymax that you got it was so cute okay let me get rid of some of these things too I'm gonna get rid of a bunch of these trees in my pockets. Uh, okay, there we go. There we go. I waited um, for Final Fantasy, which one is that? I played a lot of Kingdom Hearts and it's made uh, by some of the same guys. Oh really? The fight system is more my style than turn-based stuff like their other games. Oh, interesting. Um, is your hair extensions? It's not. No, this is my natural hairs. I grew these myself. 15. I'm so bad at the, at the, is it Roman numerals? <laughs> Hopefully it is. If not, I'm going to sound really dumb. <laughs> I'm going to sound really silly. Let me rephrase that. I, the only one I know is 10 is X. That's the one that I can remember. But Big Hero 6 is one of the best movies. It's so good. I love her hair. What? No way. That's so sweet. I do take pride in my hair. I like my hair. <laughs> I thought about maybe like reshaping my bangs instead of being straight across. Maybe like having kind of a kind of like a more edgy like face shaping, like face framing kind of style, but I don't know. I love my straight across bangs. I don't want to get rid of them. Um, Sammy, thanks for hanging out. Thanks for the follow. Do it. I'll show you all, uh, I'll show you all the picture that I was thinking about on Pinterest. 
Um, Sammy, hey, what's going on? How's your day? I hope it's really good. What are you up to on this Monday? There's another butterfly. Where's Pidgey? Where's Pidgey Pie? There's a certain style I think would look great on you. I'm trying to remember the name of it. Mm, let me know if you remember. Here, I'll show you the Pinterest pic. We were talking about Pinterest earlier, and I am, I am a Pinterest girly. I am a... Since I'm not scrolling on uh, TikTok these days, I'm scrolling on Pinterest. If I'm scrolling. I'm trying to scroll less. Ooh, thinking about reading or snagging some food. What kind of food would you get? We love talking about food here. <laughs> we love talking about food. I need to get into reading this year too. That's on my, on my to-do list. I have been like not reading at all. I read a little bit last summer. That was really it. <laughs> Where is it? Where is it? Uh, I know I say, oh wait, I looked at the wrong board. It's in my style board. It's like definitely more of an edgy vibe. This. This style would be sick. I would have to grow out the sides of my bangs. It would look like shit for a while. And then there's also this one. So cute, right? I think I will, maybe I'll do it over the summer. <gasps> plantain chips and guacamole. That sounds so good. I love plantain, plantain chips. There are some Trader Joe's plantain chips that are jerk seasoned and they're so good. What are you reading? I was reading Normal People by Sally Rooney last summer and it was good, but I just like, that's basically all I read last summer. I need to get a wolf cut again. Yes, I need more layers. I was like a straight across and straight down uh, hairstyle for a while, but. Oh, Malice, oh. Like the first one better, yeah, I think. I really like the second one, like how flippy it is, all the layering. Um, but the second one is like maybe a little more edgy than this one. This one is like more feminine. I am trying to lean into my little, my little femininity, but we shall see. I do. I really just love my bangs because they're easy to maintain. I don't have to go get them cut. I cut them myself. It's nice. Is it what would I pronounce that? Jaime, Jaime cut maybe. Ooh, looks similar to what you showed. Hi, well, I have a friend named Jaime that is like um, J A I M E, so I don't know if it would be the Heim. Wait, Heim, maybe Heim. Ooh, it's a fantasy book. I feel like I've heard of that book, but I actually, I don't know. I don't know for certain. I need a ladder. Jaime. Ooh, he may. Thank you for letting me know. Y'all know I'm bad at pronunciation. Y'all know. I need a ladder. Ladder. Oh. Here we go. I need to get my reference photo back out. I'm really not abiding by the reference photo at all, to be completely honest. Um, hi Orzo. What kind of haircuts? Okay, I want to know like what kind of haircuts or hairstyles you want to go for that you're too scared to go for. JP for princess or something? Oh, wait, what? Um, I <laughs> wasn't sure. Wasn't sure how it was said. Yeah, thank you all. Thank you all for helping me as well. Oh, Japanese for princess or something? Oh, like a princess cut. Oh, maybe. I actually don't know. If anybody in the chat knows, let me know. Ooh, another buzz cut. Hell yeah. Have you ever thought about doing the, um, like the bleached buzz cut with like really bright pattern um, that has been super trendy right now? bald <laughs> so buzz cut or like completely bald there's um a makeup artist on tiktok that i like that is fully bald and she slays absolutely slays 
I want to chop my hair collarbone length, but I know it looks so much better long. That's how I feel. I have chopped my hair a few times, but I don't think I'll go back. At least not anytime soon. Scared to do a wolf cut um, or a faux hawk. I've always wanted a dread mohawk, but oh yeah, I totally understand that. I would do, maybe do like a little faux hawk. You could even do like, um, what, uh, like a mullet, kind of like a shaggy mullet kind of vibe. That would be sick. Um, oh, I want a shaggy haircut so bad, but my hair is really thin, so it's hard to make that kind of thing, kind of cut work. I understand that too. I will say I had a shaggy haircut for a while. It was so hard to maintain for me personally. For me personally, it was just like too much to maintain, but I also didn't have the money to like go get it cut all the time, you know? Chaotic Potato, hey, what's going on? How's your day? I've always wanted to shave it, but I'm so afraid. I'm terrified. I feel like my hair makes me look more feminine. Like my features are maybe a little more masculine. Like I'm not like a super curvy gal. Like I've got a big honker. I've got a big nose. I love my big nose. Don't get me wrong. But like my hair kind of makes everything just feel like more feminine. So I have wanted to do a buzz cut, but I really like being feminine presenting. So I don't think that I would. I don't think I would do it. Um, he may cut. I wanted to do a copper hair color at some point and would like to do a very short bob. Ooh, pixie eventually. That'll be sick. Um, we're talking about hair, like hair that you want to do, but kind of scares you. Want to shave my hair off as well because I love the first, uh, I loved it the first time, but I'm not sure I would do it. Yeah. Oh, you've, so you've done it before. Um, haven't, it's honestly not my thing. Oh, to dye my hair like that. Totally understand. I'm always impressed by the people that go for it though. It's not my thing either. I don't do like a ton of dye. Obviously I have my blonde patch, but I don't do like a ton of dye. Um, let me see. I also, I'm like a low key super behind in chat. I promise I'll get caught up. Promise. Um, I mean, I've done all sorts of hair, but I would like to do a bunch of layers. Ooh, yeah. I want to add layers to mine, I think, this year, which is hilarious because I just grew out all my layers, but I think I want them back. <laughs> Whatever hair uh, any of you choose to do, just know you got a vibe with it. Yeah, as long as you feel beautiful, that's all that matters. Exactly, Chaotic Potato. Exactly. You all all have purple usernames. I was gonna say you should do a V style bang. Ooh, I've thought about that, Jen. I've thought about it before, but I was also thinking, I just showed Chad a picture of like bangs that are basically this length, but they kind of curve down more and they're a little more edgy. I think if I do anything, I might do that next. Also ads are starting soon. Thank you all so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Um, I might do a shaggy mullet at some point. Uh, I'm doing quarter shaved hair right now. Really? What quart? Can I ask what quarter is shaved? For thicker hair, use rosemary oil, like the slightest amount, either straight to the scalp or conditioner. Yeah. Rosemary water if you don't like to use oils. I want to get into oiling my hair more. I would be down for that. I hear it's good. I hear rosemary oil is good for hair growth. I don't know if there's any like truth to that, to be honest, though. If you ever want to do an undercut or whatever, I love my shaved cut and my girlfriend loves her undercut. Her hair is ridiculously thick. See, I have like, my hair is like kind of thick, but also kind of thin. So I don't think I would do an undercut. I considered it for a long time, but I feel like my hair type is best without it. Doing good. Thanks for asking. Also, you look like uh, a woman. I don't think Wait, like a man? <laughs> uh, look really gorgeous. The trick of changing your hair is to be confident in it. True. And I don't think that like long hair makes you feminine. Let me be clear about that. I think it's just my personal features and maybe that's a me problem. Um, I don't think like long or short hair makes you more or less feminine. Just me personally. Let me, let me be clear. Be confident. So true. Hi, Star. How's your day going? 102 birds. 102. I cut, uh, I COVID cut my hair, went from my natural dark brown to silver white. Whoa. 
Um, when I cut it, messed it up. Oh no, so my husband had to make it even. Went from booty length to shoulder length. Oh, I would have cried too. I would have cried. I'm glad that you got it out. <laughs> oh my God, honey. Hey, hey, honey's here. Welcome in Raiders, I'm Bird to do I go by Bird. My pronouns are she, her. Um, we're doing a little Animal Crossing today. I actually let the community decide between Stardew and uh, terraforming and Animal Crossing. So we're doing a little Animal Crossing terraforming today. Um, we were talking about haircuts. <laughs> we were talking about haircuts uh, and I'm gonna have to like get caught up in chat. Uh, let me see, here's Discord for whoever asked. Um, I do have curly hair and it helps with growth and length. Oh, Eliza, thank you for the follow. Welcome in. I'm going to go down to the raid. Uh, we can come back to the hair conversation, okay? So don't let me, don't let me forget. We can come back to it. Honeyfield notes, if you need to raid and run, you know my drill, you know my policy. Hot people, raid and run. Go take care of yourself. But I'd love to have you all around if you like Stardew, Animal Crossing kind of vibes. This is definitely the place for you. This is definitely the place for you. How was your stream? It looks like you were playing Animal Crossing today too. Uh, Delulu, love your username. Thank you for the follow. Welcome in. Welcome in everybody. How's everybody doing? Are we doing all right on this Monday? On this Monday? Okay, I might've, oh, there you are. Um, we did some cozy co-working and then a villager hunt. Did you find who you were looking for and who were you looking for? Too many flamingos, thanks for the follow as well. Oh, Nan, a dreamy for our witchy island. Nan is so cute and definitely perfect for a witchy island. I actually considered her over Muffy for the like witchy portion of an old island that I did. So uh, yeah, I love Nan, she's really cute and underrated. Also, if you need to raid and run, please go take care of yourself. No pressure at all to stick around. We're like, we're playing Animal Crossing, but we're also just like low key talking about hair and talking about like hair stuff that we we might want to do, but we're like scared to do. So if you want to join in on the convo, please feel free. Um, and also, Danny, thank you for the follow as well. Welcome in, Paige. How's your day going? What's up? What are you getting into? A little pink Junimo in the corner is so cute. Thank you. I love Stardew. We're actually about to finish Stardew summer year one. I've played a lot of Stardew, but we restarted a couple of weeks ago. So uh, I'm just on my, I'm on my Stardew brain rot, even though we're doing terraforming today. <laughs> and welcome into anybody that's new. If you want to hang out with me, I'd love to have you. Looking so hot today. What? <laughs> Paige, thank you. Everybody was giving me compliments when I first got here today and I was blushing so hard. Decided what's for dinner. Mushroom risotto. Bex, that sounds so good. I'm doing really good today. Um, I had a hard weekend, but I'm like, I'm just vibing and thriving. I'm vibing and thriving today. I had a good cry last night. I'll be honest with you all. I did cry last night. I know Raiders, we just got here, but like I'm a vulnerable queen. So if you want to be vulnerable with me, please feel free. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm good. I'm good. What did a Honeyfield note say? So true. I can't. You all are killing me. I'm going to blush. Playing Stardew Randomize right now? Wait, how does that work then? Stardew Randomize, how does that work? Give me the insight, I need to know. I gotta know. Same, the vibes were so off last night. So much better today. Same year, I'm so much better today. Yesterday was a, well this past weekend, I just had a rough weekend. So I'm glad that it's a new week. We just have a new start. All of us need a clean slate. Okay, so we were talking about hair if anybody wants to join in. And I didn't say like my big hair thing that I wanted to do. Some of the community knows, but I want to dye my hair. For a while I was saying I wanted to do all blue. I think I'm going to do lavender this year. I think I'm going to do a, like a full head of lavender. Maybe, I don't know. I want to try, I'm scared though. And I just commissioned new emotes and they're gonna have this hair. <laughs> Maybe we'll take our time. All the rewards are swapped up. So I'm like a whole season in and don't have a fishing rod. No way. Okay, so you play on PC, I assume. I assume this is like a PC thing. I kind of want to try that. Lavender, should I try it? Can't cope with your ACNH character with the tiger shirt. Doesn't she look so slay? Come on, look at her. 
Let me wait. I should put this away first. We gotta here. Should I give you all a close up? I'm gonna give you a close up of my character. Lavender would look so good, right? I'm scared. I've never dyed my whole head of hair though. I'm terrified. Absolutely terrified. Thank you for being so open and vulnerable with us. I feel like it's one of the things that helped me start opening up more. Oh my God, I'll cry. I'll cry all over again. <laughs> Look at this. Wait, no, that's not what I wanted to do. I was trying to zoom in. Oh my God. <laughs> it fades quick. I know. See, that's why I'm also scared. Like, is it just going to fade super quick and I'm going to hate it? We should get a little dancing one. Where's a, where's a little dancing baby? Uh, maybe. Yeah, this one. Look at her. Come on. She slays. <laughs> Love a good graphic tee. Same. Same. It's a mod. Ooh, I want to look it up. I feel like that would be really hard, though. I have a little bit of, like, m a couple of mods, but not a lot of mods. Mostly just, like, you know, NPC location, sprinkler radius, stuff like that. Quality of life. Playing alone or with other people. Oh, yeah. I want to know. Are you playing alone or other people or with other people with that mod? I'm curious as well. Um, you're playing ACNH too? Rainbow, what are you doing in ACNH today? Also, chat is popping off just a little bit. If I miss anything, I promise I... I, uh, I love you. And see, I knew I missed someone. Spiffany, hi, how's your day going? Are you feeling better? I know I asked you yesterday, but I'm going to ask you every day until you feel 100%, okay? <laughs> um, was playing it with friends, or playing it with friends means that you only get key items when other people unlock the key items in their game. No way. Spiffany, I love to see ya. How are you? What's going on in your world? Um, also, if you are... Okay, since Honeyfield Notes was playing Animal Crossing today, anybody who's just coming in, who's your favorite villager? I gotta know. You're doing well today, I'm glad. Fishing and adding to my museum. My museum's almost done. I'm so excited for it to be done. Um, well, actually, no, I forgot. Not this island. This island's staying in a tent. Um, if you haven't seen the pinned message, I'm doing a thousand item minimalist challenge on this island. So it's gonna be a natural item. Or, oh my God, <laughs> I can't speak, it's Monday. Um, it's gonna be a natural island with uh, only a thousand items on it. <laughs> she dance. Also, I think I am a little bit laggy today, so I might be seeing your messages a little bit late. Um, and if I missed any of your messages and you wanna share with me, please feel free. Please feel free to send them again. Let me see how far behind I am. Oh, I'm not that far behind, just like five seconds. Oh my God, Barreled. I can't, I'm so sorry. I can't with Barreled. Drinking some yummy coffee and hanging out. Uh, joining in on the bird hair hive. You look so cute today, stop. I did not feel cute today once again. And then I come here and you all compliment me on the days that I don't feel cute. It's hilarious. Out of the five villagers I have so far, Mira. Oh, I like Mira. Love maple and olive. I have uh, maple on this island right now. I think I am going to get rid of her only because um, I'm doing here. I'll show you all the villagers that I want. We're kind of debating between all of these villagers. We're debating between all of these villagers and between Molly and Maple. The community picked that I should keep Molly. So we have Molly and Maple right now, but I think I'll be kicking Maple. Justice for Barreled. It's the pink lips. I just can't. You look cute every day, Carson. Stop. I'm blushing. I'm blushing. Um, but also Henry. See, I really... Okay, my favorite's Octavian because of an anime that I like and also because of my favorite Sanrio character, Hangiodon. I like Octavian, but I also really like like the ugly cute villagers, Hazel, Freckles. Um, I like Genji. I, I like a plethora of villagers. It's hard to pick one favorite. How'd you get them all at the bottom of my screen? I have like a little... Um, so if you know anything about OBS, just um, put an image up there. So like I, I created this image in uh, Canva and then I used a transparent background, and then I just added the image into OBS. Um, I've always wanted Molly on my island, never found her. See, I think um, moderator and friend Shelby, I'm pretty sure that she was struggling to find Molly as well. I've only seen Molly in game like one other time. 
Yeah, you're welcome. I always say Bob is my favorite because he's the king. I do love Bob. Bob is such a great villager. I mean, come on. Everybody loves Bob. How can you not love Bob? My Uber driver is now such a uh, such a cute grandpa. Monday Ubers have been great. I'm so glad, especially with your horror story the other day. I've only been playing for a little short while. Just finished placing the spot for the clothing store. Oh my God. Okay, so you're new to Animal Crossing. Did you play any of the other iterations of the game out of curiosity? Molly, Mo Molly? Molly lives with Bo and Fauna on the farm part of my island. So cute. Bo and Fauna, are they, uh, are they a couple on your island? <laughs> That's so cute. I have Sherb, but don't want him. Wait, really? I like Sherb. Um, maybe, well, I'm gonna do like a villager hunt for most of my, uh, for most of my, my villagers that I'm gonna take. But if I can't find him, hit me up, okay? <laughs> hit me up. So right now I'm doing a little terraforming on my minimalist island. I'm trying to like, I'm trying to do the plaza area. And then I'm thinking we will do um, like a, a connecting kind of section here. Can you even see? You can't even see that waterfall. Oh no, maybe I should move it. Okay, I think I'm going to move this. So I'm going to try and connect it down to the entrance after this. Um, I don't know how far I'm going to get today. I might have to do some of this offline. Ooh, thank you, Delulu. That would be nice. Ah, that's not what I meant to do. Minimalist Island. I think I missed the uh, intro for this one. Yeah. Okay, it's in a pinned message, but I'm happy to explain for anybody that wants to read it instead of me butchering the explanation per usual. Um, I'm doing a minimalist challenge, so I'm doing like a natural island. It might be a little bit cottage core, but it's just mostly like natural. That's that's really the theme. No, you don't have to be sorry at all. Sometimes I butcher it though. So um, the minimalist theme or challenge is a thousand items. I can only use a thousand a thousand items on the island. Um, that doesn't include like bushes, flowers, trees. And it also does not include cooked food. No, no bonk necessary. No bonk necessary. I want everybody to know. Also, Liz, thanks for lurking. I hope you're having a good Monday. I cleep. I cleep. What is there? There has to be something like when I do tarot and the tarot or I see tarot videos and the tarot reader gets tongue tied. They're always like, oh, that means something. What does it mean when I get tongue tied? Like if we're talking about tarot and astrology and shit like that. What does that mean? Does it mean that, is it something to do with my throat chakra? <laughs> if you're into tarot or astrology, what is it? Cause I can't speak today. We need a bonk sound with that command, hell yeah. Maybe I wanna do a bonk, should we do a little bonk? I have this one that nobody ever uses. I think it's only subscribers though, hang on. Is it two? <laughs> yeah, it's from SpongeBob. Thinking about terraforming for my next island. What's your next theme going to be? Also, Delulu, congrats on your first bird. We love to see it. Going to head out for now. My partner just woke up. Oh, my God. Happy anniversary. Have a great rest of your day. I'm sure I'll see you later this week. Happy time zones to you. Love you, mean it. I'll see you soon. Okay, let me make sure I'm all caught up. I am all caught up. Okay, I want to move this over, I think. Let me... I'm going to have to terraform more back here, probably. Let's add a little bit more on back here. Um. Also, I'm sorry. I'm sitting really low because I'm just a comfy girl. It's a Monday. We got to be comfy. Also, if anybody's hanging out still with the raid, um, thanks for hanging out with me, first of all. Um... Gotta zone in on fishing. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. Thanks for hanging out. And then also, if you want to, we have a task list going. Um, you can add tasks to the task list if you'd like to by using exclamation point task. Um, I'm pretty sure Honeyfield Notes uses this one too. So you all might already know the vibes. Um, so feel free to add a task if you'd like and then exclamation point done when you're done. I'm gonna be absolutely chilling so y'all can hang out with me and absolutely vibe. <gasps> three years no three years is a big deal i'm so excited for you have a great anniversary 
I, yeah, I never get the presents. I, <laughs> I like never, ever get the, the presents. I don't know why. I think maybe it's just because I'm a little lazy. Yeah. Uh, done with the walks. I'm doing good today. I am vibing and thriving, honestly. I'm very comfy cozy. I'm sorry that I'm slouching. I know it's probably not that pleasant to look at, but I can't help it. I just want to slouch. I can't help it. Your girl just wants to be comfy cozy. I must look like a lunatic to the villagers <laughs> when I'm chasing them. What are you chasing them for? Uh, if you started at ACNH in March 2020, <laughs> you were immediately bombarded with balloons for Bunny Day. So true. I don't pop a single one either. Like, it's it's never something that I do. Oh, chasing the presents. I see, I see. Okay, so let me build up this area. I usually ignore them. Yeah, I think it's just because I started, like you said, in March 2020. So I would pop them like every time they would pass. And now it's just like, I don't even think twice about them. If anybody's bothering you about slouching, listen, I might... I might get more new friends if I was like <laughs> better posture. Look at me. <laughs> I look like I look. Well, you know what? I look like we're hanging out on the couch, though. We're just vibing, right? Anyway, <laughs> anyway, <laughs> bunny day trauma. So true. Bunny day immediately. No worries, Spiffany. Uh. Thanks for ignoring them now. Uh, my lore will be that they come to my island. Yeah, honestly. Wait, I love that lore. Hello, that's kind of cool. I'm just sending them over to your island, that's all. <laughs> also, I haven't taken a BRB today. I probably need to take a BRB soon, but I'm gonna, maybe I'll just terraform this area first. That is really cute, right? I'm gonna start saying that. If you don't mind, I'm gonna start saying that. <laughs> I'm just sending my balloons to your island, okay? That's all. Okay. So I want the waterfall to be like, I want it to be like low key impressive next to the plaza. So that's the vibe that I'm going for here. Wait, what? BRB, it's okay, no worries. Wait, did I say something weird? I might have. You know what? I say weird things occasionally. Okay, I think I want it to go out a little bit more though. Maybe over here. I love the Animal Crossing lo-fi. I honestly, sometimes when um, I'm streaming, I'm like, damn, is this boring? Does everybody think that the Animal Crossing lo-fi is boring because we listen to it so much? But I feel like it's just... Um... I feel like it's just one of those things that I personally don't get tired of. I love it. Oh, I haven't taken a BRB. Yeah, I have not taken a BRB. I'm sorry. I I thought that Spiffany was telling me to take a or was telling me she was BRBing, but now I realize it's because I was talking about a BRB. <laughs> I'm all over the place today. I feel like I zoned out when this was mentioned, but what is a super sweet task list? So it's basically like if you're doing um, any kind of task, it can be work, it can be in-game something that you're doing, uh, something around your house, like whatever you're vibing with um, today, a task that you need to get done, a chore, whatever, you can add it to the list by using exclamation point task space and then whatever task you're doing, when you're done with it, you can do exclamation point done and then it'll mark off your task from the list. So if you need to like be productive while you're watching the stream today, you can add a task to the task list. Task fishing, yes. Yeah. See, you can add those too. Like it can be in-game stuff. I like to use it accompanied with games so that we can just like, you know, use each other for like, if you are doing chores, that's cool. You can vibe with the stream and also do your chores. If you're gaming alongside me, that's cool too. Thank you for the butterflies, Halo. Can you see them okay? Here, I'll sit up. I'll sit up so you can see them better. I really need to sit up anyway. Yeah. 
free task managing. <laughs> will help me remember I need to continue to fish. Yes. Okay. Let me sit up. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. Um, I mean, flawless. Well, I mean, what's that song? I don't know. And added social accountability from all of chat and the streamer. Exactly. <laughs> There's Animal Crossing Lo-Fi. Yeah. So I use Spotify. I know you said something about iTunes or yeah, iTunes. And I use Spotify personally. So if you use Spotify, you can find it there. I do have a, a specific Animal Crossing playlist if you want it. Here's my, here's my linky to uh, my Spotify. Uh, finally, I have been in meetings nonstop since 8.30 on a Monday. On a Monday? Stream's good today. How are you doing? I'm sorry that you had so many meetings. That's insane. Oh my God. Seeking stars. I have to do the same thing. I got to take down my Christmas decorations. Maybe Weasel and I will do that today. I don't want to. Uh, I feel like my brain power is all used up now. Yeah. On a Monday? That's so rude. Valky, your hair's on fleek today. You all always like compliment me on the days that I'm not feeling very good. That's so sweet. Thank you for the compliment. <laughs> I'm feeling fine today. It's just like, I you know, some days you're feeling slay and some days you're not feeling slay. And I was not feeling like super slay, but you all are making me feel good. What the hell? Uh, Leeks and Jen, thank you all for the follows. Welcome in. Thanks for hanging out with me today. Um, it's a little sick and twisted how I wasn't already following. What? Listen, it's okay. You don't have to. You do not have to. Uh apologize and Valky thank you for lurking no worries at all enjoy your lurk I do have the task list up for anybody that needs it for anybody that needs some accountability I need some accountability I haven't gotten anything done I haven't gotten a a thing done not a single thing straw bestie thank you for lurking <laughs> I appreciate you okay so I'm thinking oh you know what I could do this I'm really struggling with my terraforming today. <laughs> Nobody perceive me. No one at all. I have a bunch of tasks to get reorganized today. I feel like in 2023, I let a lot of personal things affect me too much. And I've been so off track. I want to take this first month to get back uh, to a point where I feel less chaotic day to day on period, as the kids say. <laughs> I love that for you because honestly, it's a hard thing to do to like stay on track and to keep consistent and have really any sort of discipline. It's hard to have discipline with yourself, especially if you're like going through something. You wanna be easy with yourself. You wanna like give yourself time to process, to heal, whatever it is. So uh, I'm proud of you for doing that. That's gonna be awesome. You're gonna feel so much better because of it as well. Okay, I think I need to terraform backwards actually. So we need to go down. Ooh, enjoy your workout. Get that workout in. I still haven't gone back into my physical activity, but I plan to. I'm going to. There is a, um, one of my goals for this year was to, maybe I just need to connect this, was to get back into uh, physical activity. And there is a $30 for 30 days yoga class near me. Um, that's the intro fee. It turns into $130 the following month, but I think I might be able to swing it. And I I really have a hard time doing yoga at home. So I think I need to go somewhere and do it. You know what I mean? I I don't have the self-discipline at home. I do dance works at, what? <laughs> dance workouts on YouTube. Oh, um, grow with Joe. Wait, I'll have to check that out because I love dance workouts. They're so fun. I just do intros at every studio. Oh, that offers it. Wait, what? Okay, I'm about to start doing that. I'm just gonna hop around from studio to studio. Ooh, get that laundry done. I need to get some laundry done too. Excuse me. Yeah, life hack for real. I'm too ADHD for yoga on my own. Right, I feel that. I have like, I also have two big dogs and whenever I get on the floor, <laughs> this is so funny. Maybe I should do it in my office, like in here in my office. But when I get on the floor, my dogs think that it's like, oh, I'm going to go annoy her. Like I want attention. 
give me attention. I get so annoyed by them though. <laughs> They're, it's so frustrating. My dog's getting all up in my space. Okay, let's, I think I'm just gonna fill out this whole area. I'm really winging it on the terraforming. I might hate this later. I might hate this. I have a, I think he's just a Pyrenees, but he might be a Pyrenees Border Collie. He's a black and white Pyrenees. Um, he really looks like a Border Collie in the face though. Um, both rescues. And then I have a Mutt. I think that she has some, she's all black with a little bit of brindle um, coloring. And the rescue that I got her from said that they think she has Mastiff in her. I, if she does, she is Mastiff and like Boxer because she is silly. She's silly. She has a big personality. And she also has the the tail, like the, it looks like a thumb. Her tail looks like a thumb. <laughs> yeah, dogs are like play. <laughs> play please? It's hard to get moving again uh, sometimes. I went to a super act, oh, I went from a super active and fast paced job to working from home, sitting at, sitting all damn day. Same, honestly, same here. Like for me, even though, you know, I'm streaming here, hanging out with you all, but it's work from home. And I just sit at my desk all day, you know? And even when I'm offline, like a lot of times I'll be sitting at my desk doing work or playing games. <laughs> so it's like, it's interesting. It's it's very interesting to say the least. I uh, I used to also have a very active lifestyle prior to uh, the start of the pandemic in 2020 and completely fell out of my active lifestyle. So I want to try and get back to it. I'm going to take it easy though. They are, I think they might be in the discord, but it's like probably pretty far back. I'll have to post some new photos for you all. Work is work per usual. Kids are back in school, so it's loud today. Oh my God. Yeah, the thumb tail. The, I feel like, don't boxers have thumb tails? Thumbs for tails. <laughs> Can I say you look so good today? Wait, what? What do you all think? Is it because my hair is out of my face or something? Aw, <laughs> hello nurse. <laughs> That's so sweet. Everybody's giving me so many compliments today. Maybe it's that after a good cry glow, you know what I mean? <laughs> I literally, I had a good cry last night. So it's that after crying glow. I am actually glowing because the sun's peeking through my window too. <laughs> I was lurking in my meetings and had to put you on the other screen. Oh, you all are making me like blush. I feel, I feel like a, a little kid right now. <laughs> Uh, more slay than you think? Apparently. Hair and makeup slay today for sure. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to look like this every day now. I'm gonna have to figure this out. What did I do different? I sat on my couch and did my makeup today. <laughs> that's, that's one thing. <clears throat> After cry glow is such a thing. Is it really? Do you think? Ah, wait, that's not right. I was making that up, but I said it and I was like, hmm, honestly, something to it, something to it. It's because you look so good today, Strav, stop it. You all are really making me blush today. Everybody is giving me so many. Wait, does that, wait, does that take you? Hang on, wait. Let me see if that actually opens the right thing. Why do it says Slay! it says in your uh in your little shout out twitch tv slash bestie wait what hang on does it take you to the right place no way thank you for the slay twitch.tv slash bestie wait what oh, I have to change that no way it doesn't even take you all to the right place Oh my god, what the hell? What the hell? <laughs> I'm so sorry for anybody that I've told to follow Straub Friend and they've been taken to the wrong place. Uh, that's wild. That's absolutely wild. I'm so sorry, Straub. <laughs> I feel so, I feel so flustered right now. Oh my god, let me catch up with you all. Hang on. 
I can't believe that happened. I can't believe I haven't realized that. Maybe I did that like as a joke when I was entering your name and then I forgot to actually change it. <laughs> yeah, for sure. For sure was so said. Um, all the day, wait, well, all the days, but I love your hair, especially today. It just has a little yellow clip in it. I feel like the yellow makes me happy too. The yellow is making me happy. For sure, slaying rainbow. Rainbow Phoenix, thank you so much. Definitely thinking of her as a bestie when you type that out is, is the message that I was thinking of or uh, responding to earlier too. Two cats and books. Hey, how's your day going? How's your day going? <laughs> Thank you, Starberry. Changing my username stat as you should. As you should. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Hi, Lexi. Hi. Slash bestie. I can't believe it. <laughs> No, uh, no. Where's the lie? Straub is a bestie. Exactly. I'm sorry. I have to get caught up with you all because I'm, I'm way, I'm so far behind. I'm so far behind now. Okay. I'm caught up. <laughs> I'm caught up. I'm at work. So I'm, uh, not the most fun, but I'm here now. I'm glad you're here. I do have a task list. If you need to add a task to the task list, we've got a bunch on there now, so I'll move it up. I've got a task list that you can add to if you want to. That goes for anybody in chat. Here, let me, um, I think I'll just, I spelled that so wrong. Sweet. I spelled it wrong again. How am I spelling the word sweet wrong? Hello? If anybody wants to be productive with us, here's how you can do it. I'll pin it. I'll pin it for you. Accidentally hit CJ. He deserved it. <laughs> enjoy your work lurk thank you for hanging out with me today only bees thank you all for all your compliments you're too sweet to me too ah too freaking sweet to me what did i do to deserve this oh now that i'm caught up i'm sorry i gotta i gotta look away from you all you're gonna make me blush uh I'm trying to also figure out this freaking terraforming this freaking terraforming. Uh, okay, maybe we do. How uh, I'm gonna I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna I gotta figure out how to connect these two things that I wanna connect. I don't know how to connect them though. Maybe we'll go up like this. And then what about right here? And then I can do right here, maybe. Oh wait, I need to. Huh. It's not right. It's so not right. Sorry if I missed. Where do you get your terraforming inspo? So I look at Pinterest a lot, but I have, like I was looking at Pinterest, but now I'm like not. Now I'm not looking at Pinterest. I'm just kind of, I'm just kind of winging it at this moment in time. <laughs> but a lot of times I do look at Pinterest. Okay, maybe if I go here, whoa, go back that way. Also I have a hair in my mouth. Uh, ew, that's what you get when you have five pets. Hair in mouth. Oh, here we go. Wait, did I figure it out? Did I figure it out? Ooh, I think I did. Underwrite 24 policies, whoa. Some of the stuff that you all put on the task list goes way over my brain. It goes way over my little brain. Let me see. Uh, I don't like the three. I don't like that at all. I could do this though, but then I would probably only want one at the bottom. I don't mind that. That actually doesn't look too bad. Oh, I, f I keep forgetting to set my timer. Butterflies are no more. Also, did I miss anybody's um, lurkin message? If I did, I'm so sorry. Jen, thank you for lurkin and for the hydrate. I really appreciate that. I was so all over the place about two minutes ago. I, let's be real. Mondays, I'm all over the place on Mondays. All over the place. Um, this isn't your first island? No, I'm still on mine. I've had the game since the release. Oh, really? I've released one official DA, but I didn't start streaming until like 10. I'm on my 10th month of streaming, so I wasn't releasing DAs even when I would like make themed islands uh, in the past because I just didn't think anybody would care. Like I didn't have a platform to share it or anything. I wish I had though, but yeah, I released one DA and I have two islands. I'm working on my forever island and this island. Okay, let's go down here and see what we can switch up to make look better. 
Also, the sun is... I don't know if you... You can't really see it. Maybe you can see it when I'm here. The sun is here. She is here today. Love that, because it was freaking cold yesterday. I wonder if it's going to be in the 40s today. Hopefully. Hopefully. Okay, I need to hydrate now. Everybody hydrate with me. Thank you, Jen. Feeling so chaotic today, trying to use it to my advantage. Same here. <laughs> Same here. I work in insurance. Uh, it's brand new for me. Only been here three months. Really, I worked in insurance for just a little bit. Um, but I was basically just admin, even though I wrote like quotes for people, I would quote insurance for people, even though I technically legally wasn't allowed to. Thanks for still lurking, Jenny. And thanks for lurking, Libs. I appreciate you all. I hope everybody's having a good day today. What did you use? Do you mean like software? Like a uh, broadcasting software or camera? If you're asking camera, I have a Sony camera. Um, and then as far as like software, I use OBS, open broadcast software. Okay, let's go down here and let's go over here. I should probably take a BRB. That's also why I'm chaotic because when I don't take BRBs, I get, I get chaotic. <laughs> so you're just trying, you're just trying to make me blush today. Aren't you? Aren't you? Her camera's good, but her face is gooder. I know you didn't say gooder, but I thought it'd be funny to say gooder. <laughs> would it be awkward if I put shower on task list? No. No, it would not. Not at all. Soph says that sometimes. I don't think Soph has put it on the task list, but Soph will be like, you're going into the shower with me. <laughs> Depends on who you are for sure, though. Like some people, some people, maybe I would say no, but for you, I'll allow it. For pretty much everybody that's here today, I'll allow it. <laughs> okay, let's do this right here. <laughs> no, you all are not creepers. Listen, we experience those. We we experience those together. You all understand. Uh, let's do this here. <laughs> Showering is also on my task list today, but when? Who knows? Me, every time I need to shower, I'm like, huh, I need to shower today. When am I going to do that? It's a process to get in the shower. Sometimes I just don't want to do it. I have a MacBook Air. Oh, yeah. So I... This is the thing. When I started streaming, I really wanted to... Like, I wanted to achieve a certain quality starting out. So I ha I built my own PC. I have a, a PC that I built myself. And you can see um, on my throne wish list, I have like a throne storefront where you can see... I don't know if it has all my PC parts in it. It might. Uh, if not, I should probably do that at some point. I'll put a list of all the parts for my PC somewhere. Also need to shower. Encouraging everyone to shower today, even if you don't want to. <laughs> Same. I don't find them relaxing. Me either. I mean, no, I don't find them relaxing. Not at all. <laughs> I wish I did. I wish... Let's see. And also, like, let me be clear if you are wanting to stream. There is, you can stream from a laptop. I was just like, I'm a Virgo, so I was being picky about it. <laughs> I saved up for a while. Hate showering when it's cold. Yeah, right. I have a little heater in my, <laughs> in my bathroom. I have a heater in my bathroom because I, I'm such a little bitch about how cold it gets. Washed my hair yesterday and so glad. Yeah, wait, I washed my hair yesterday too. Now, I, I've been washing my hair two times a week recently. Two times a week and that's been good for me. Okay, I'm kind of liking this. This terraforming, how do you all feel about it? I think it's pretty good. I'm vibing with it. Need to put away laundry when I get home. What to do? Wait, uh, <laughs> I do not want to, not one bit. I feel you on that. Yeah, and honestly, I would say um, if you're trying to look into building a PC, like if you can afford a pre-built one, it's 
probably the way to go. Like it was, it was definitely fun putting together my PC, but it doesn't run as quickly as I thought it was going to when I picked out the parts. So like getting one that's already made to be really fast is uh, probably the best option. <laughs> I have a heater in my bathroom. My husband calls it my emotional support heater. I love that. Shower after my workout tonight. Yes. My father-in-law surprised me with a towel warmer. What? I need a towel warmer. Absolute brick of a MacBook. Mine's a 2013. I have a MacBook too. I haven't opened it in like six months. And um, yeah, it's it's a brick. My my 2013 MacBook is a brick. Uh, the normal heater is my, in my, wait. The normal heater heats my tiny bathroom really nice. So I turn it up. Turn up the thermostat before I hop in the shower. That's so nice. Um, Leo here. I'm by any means, however, on the laptop has been... Oh, the laptop has been a struggle to say the least. I only had one successful stream. Listen, I have like a nice PC and my my stream still crashes too. Like it, it's bound to happen, especially when you're like first learning uh, open broadcast software, that kind of thing. Just expect it to happen. It's gonna happen and it's okay when it does. A towel warmer, I know, right? I need a towel warmer. Don't let it get to you. Sometimes I let it get to me and then uh, <laughs> then it's all downhill. But if you just like, don't let it get to you, it'll be okay, I promise. A Lenovo ThinkPad, <laughs> hell yeah. Get it so. <laughs> I want a towel warmer, but for my whole body, we, we all need to invest in like, should we get matching um, heated blankets? Let's all get matching heated blankets. How about it? K-Tabulous. Hi, K-Tabulous. How's your day going? I hope it's really good. What are you into today? What are you up to on this Monday? Towel warmer goals. Yes. Yes. How slay. <laughs> So I'm, is attempting to stream just, uh, just Twitch Studio a bad idea? I don't, honestly, I don't have any knowledge about Twitch Studio, so I don't know. I really don't know, I'm sorry. I started with open broadcast software, so that's what I've always used. I'm thinking maybe a little bridge here would be cute. Oh no, Rainbow Phoenix. I hope it goes away for you. My dad just fixed my laundry room for me. So now I have a dryer in my house and the way I put my clothes into the dryer before I jump in the shower so I can have warm clothes. Yes, I love that for you. I need to start doing that. What the hell? What the hell? Um, okay. I'm itchy. I'm itchy. Uh, what did I come in? Oh, I wanted to get a, um, I want to get a bridge. I'm thinking just a little suspension bridge would be cute. Kind of right next to the plaza. I think that'll be really cute. Twitch studio is very beginner friendly. Good start, but not great for long term. Teaches you a lot about how scenes work though. Ooh, that's nice to know. I'm glad that we have, uh, all the insight. Let's talk infrastructure. All right, bridges and inclines. I'm gonna do a suspension bridge for sure. Suspension bridge it is. I think it's the cheapest one too, isn't it? I think so. Let's see, let's build a bridge. Ooh, it's getting hot in my office now that the sun is peeking through. Yeah, well, it's not the cheapest, but it's second cheapest. I could also do this one, but I feel like it's not as cute as the suspension. Wait, but wait, okay. What do you all think? For next to my plaza, wooden bridge or suspension bridge? Or if you don't like either, you could tell me that too. The Zen bridge is nice, but I, I just feel like it's not the right theme. Suspension. Anybody else have opinions? Suspension, wooden, what are we thinking? What are we thinking? Wooden, brick bridge, yeah. We do like the brick, especially because the brick would go nicely next to the plaza, that could be an option. Wooden looks more minimalist, so true. Honestly, that is true. It does like, it has 
a fun whimsy feel about it that we could do maybe in a different part of the island. Maybe it should be a little bit more official since it's right next to the plaza. Oh, oh, my, my chat just restarted. Hopefully we're all right. Okay, I think we're okay. Um, wooden bridge for the, near the plaza. Yeah, suspension elsewhere. Cowboy, hi bestie. Wooden. Mm. Charging highway robbery for bridges, right? That's what I'm saying. Cowboy, how you been? How are you? What's going on? I hope you're having a good Monday. Uh, Reyna, thanks for the follow as well. I really appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. Ooh, a little affirmation. Delulu, your inner and outer beauty radiate with grace. You are a beautiful and valuable person inside and out. Um, I think everybody needed to hear that one too. Everybody needed to hear that one. Okay, I think I've, I might go with the wooden bridge. On a staycation, oh, with a sinus infection. Yeah, I'm glad uh, that you're getting a little time away from work, but with a sinus infection, that sucks. I'm sorry. <laughs> gonna get bird to 2k i'm pretty close what am i at now sinus infections are never fun i'm having trouble you can probably hear it a little bit i'm having trouble kicking i don't feel bad from my cold but the mucus is still here let me see where am i i haven't looked today oh shit girl wait let me reload this page i'm at 1,920 followers. We're only 80 from 2K. That's awesome. Thank you all for being here and spending time with me. It makes me very happy. Very, very happy. Decided to grab some of my almond milk to get it away. And wait. And some... Wait, Gaviscon? What is Gaviscon? Is that like a medicine? Almond milk. Does almond milk help you with the with the acid reflux. Wait, did I did I get? Oh wait, I didn't get the money. I'm gonna have to come back in. Finally started feeling better last week after feeling sicky for most of a, uh, almost a month. It took so long for the muckus to go away. I know, right? I'm stuck with the muckus. Excuse me, I'm hiccuping. Okay, let's try this. Live by almond milk. We had this conversation recently. Should we have it again? We could have it again. Do you, what milk do you all like? What's your favorite kind of milk? Hmm. I want this bridge here, but it, should it go up farther? I think maybe it should go up a little bit farther. <gasps> Almond? Not fully like real milk does, but I cannot have real milk. Um, yeah, I, well, I just don't like real milk. I'm just not a real milk girly. Ooh, planet oat, oat milk. I do, uh, I do oat milk as well. Oat milk is my personal pick. And I do, um, Malk brand, M-A-L-K. It has very, it's expensive. I can only get it at Whole Foods, but it is the only one that has like four ingredients that I like. Soy and coconut, coconut. Soy, the way she has been slandered makes me so sad. I like soy. It's just really thin. When I drank iced coffee, I love coconut milk. Oat milk. I like oat milk because it's thick. It's thick with two C's. Oat milk and coconut. I love the taste of soy, but it's too hard on the tummy. Oh, really? Oh, that's not what I meant to do at all. I love the taste of oat milk, but I drink cow milk. I need the extra calcium. I get that. <laughs> I probably do too, to be honest. I need to go to the doctor. I need them to tell me what I need. <laughs> um, I really love almond milk. Do you? Almond for me, it's just like a, it has a very particular flavor that I'm not sure I'm into. I'm not 100% sure I'm into it. I'm sorry. Don't hate me. First time I ever had oat milk, I was actually visiting Amsterdam right before it blew up over here in the US. Really? That's interesting. I don't know when I had mine for the first time. I think my local um, coffee shop started carrying it and I was seeing it on TikTok and I was like, oh, I'm going to give it a try. And now it's my favorite. Like, 
even if a new one came out like a new milk i think oat milk will still be my favorite i made my own oat milk for a while as well it's really not that hard vanilla almond milk ooh, and dark chocolate almond milk as well i love dark chocolate wait you like dark or you don't like dark chocolate but you like the almond milk creamer version or not maybe it's not creamer but Chucky almond milk. Ooh, I do like chocolate almond milk. That is a that is an almond milk I can get down with. Trying to get into alternative milks. I will say if you want one that's close to cow's milk in like thickness, almond milk is the way to go. I think it's also the closest in flavor. I mean, nothing tastes like cow's milk, but the other ones have like, in my opinion, more nutty flavors. Almond milk just tastes like what it is to me. Yeah, honestly, so true. Okay, I think I like this vibe. It's kind of at the bottom of the plaza. Let's go. Let's go get the money for it. What's creamer? Do, anybody who lives in the UK, do you know uh, what the equivalent is? It's like, um, I'm trying to think of what it's called there. Anybody in chat know? I can't find chocolate oat milk anywhere um, where I live now, but when I lived in the Northeast, there was chocolate oat milk in every grocery store. Really? I'm not a fan of dark chocolate, but almond one is pretty good. Ooh, milk wise. Creamer is just like what you put. Yeah, it's like, it's kind of like half and half maybe. I wonder. It's like what you put in your coffee to sweeten it up. It's like it's like milk, like cream and sugar, basically, all in one. <laughs> I don't know what that equivalent would be in the UK. Single cream. That was the whole thing on my TikTok at some point. The UK doesn't have creamer like we do. Oh, so there's really no equivalent. Okay, what did I need? I need like, I think I only need 100,000. I think I only need 100,000. We'll see though. Let's go make sure I'm going to time travel so that we can get this bridge up and then we can start decorating around it. Maybe single cream in your hot drinks. Wait, what? Okay. So what's single cream? I don't have stomach issues or allergies. I still don't drink cow's milk, almond all the way, uh, better taste and mouthfeel. Yeah. And also milk in the U S is just gross. It, I feel like it, I don't like the taste of it. Weasel, my partner will disagree. Single single cream I'm gonna look it up richer version of milk with about 18% fat content hmm I wonder too little fat to be whipped it's like really sweet oh yeah get your kitchen all cleaned up I need to clean my kitchen too Ooh, hot dogs hot dogs Single cream is like those tiny one ounce creams that you see in hotels um, on some restaurant tables. Oh, I love how different the world is on some points, uh, on some of the smallest things most of us never think twice about. Yeah, right. We've had this discussion before, like about things that you all say in the UK that we don't say in the US, stuff like that. Finally got the fish you needed. Let's fucking go. Let's fucking go. All right, let's donate. Let's get this built. Ah, I accidentally exited out of it. Oopsie. Single cream isn't sweet. Okay, so maybe not that then. It's just like, it's like cream and sugar. Um, or if you have half and half, it would be like half and half and sugar. I don't know. I don't know. I wish I had a better explanation. Sure, I'll help. I think single cream is different in the UK than what it means in the US according to Google. In the UK, single cream is a milk product with at least 18% butter fat. Um, double cream has 48% butter fat. Ah, neither common in the US, I see. Love the waterfall coming in from the behind the town hall. Thank you. I wanted it. I want the, the plaza to look really natural. That's the vibe that I'm going for. I want it to be like, wait, did I donate? Mother. Mother. I did not donate once again. This is what I get for reading the chat. Super interesting. I had a different idea based on uh, me hearing people refer to the little cups here in the US as single creams. Interesting. 
That's what I thought it meant at first, right? Okay, donate, please. Please don't let me back out again. Donate. There we go, oh my God. Thank goodness. Now I can time travel and we can decorate a little bit. So what I want to do is connect this like here. And then down here. So like this is my island entrance. This island is brand new. This is like the little island entrance that we've got going on. And then if you go up this way, we'll go up into the plaza. I don't know how we'll enter. We'll see. Um, and this is what it kind of looks like now. So we're just terraforming. I don't know how much decorating will get done. It's getting there though. I do really like the way that it looks. And the island is called Hydrangea. Here are my islands for anybody that's curious. Thank you. Love the tiger t-shirt dress. Isn't it so cute? So creamer is if you put like two teaspoons of sugar into a single cream and mixed it. Yeah, I, I think that's probably the best way to explain it. Oh, you drink your coffee black? I wish I liked it black. I just don't though. Did you add to their original island or are there multiple islands? Yeah, I have multiple islands um, because I have multiple switches. You can only have one switch on each, or I'm sorry, you can only have one island on each switch, but I have two switches, so I have two islands. Um, and the one we're working on today is Hydrangea. It's got a white, green, blue, purple color scheme. It's very natural. Here, I'll go show you the codes too. We literally just started this one, um, like last week or the week before. Last week we did a lot of HHP. Codes are over here. Yes, of course, of course. So here are the codes that I'm using. Here, let me move these. Entrance is cute, thank you. Ooh, black coffee with a sweet pastry. I love pastries. Okay, when we come back, we're gonna talk about pastries. Because I love pastries. Don't, I'm sorry, that was probably loud. Don't talk about them yet. <laughs> I am gonna go on a quick BRB, okay? I'm gonna go on a quick BRB because your girl needs to GPG. And then we're coming back and we're talking about pastries, okay? Um, so for one island, you can add spots to it for more islanders to live there. Yes, yes. So you'll start out with two islanders, but you can have up to 10, two villagers, I mean. The stones are so cute, aren't they? I'll put together a list of them for you all as well. I will, I will. Okay, besties, I just need to, GPG will be right back talking about pastries. And uh, when I send you on the BRB, if you haven't played it before, I'm gonna have words on stream up. All you have to do is type word guesses in the chat, okay? All right, I'll see you in a second. Take care of yourselves. Grab some water, stretch your legs if you need to, and we'll be right back.
Two words left. Two words left. Two words left. Two words left. <laughs> oh, what am I on today? I don't know. Whatever I'm having, I want more of it later. <laughs> oh, goodness. One word left. Oh, shit, girl. We got a little more time. This is the last round, by the way. Last round, by the way. <laughs> Thank you all for playing. We have so many people playing today. It's so cool. I had no clue that was a word. You know what? Sometimes you just got to spitball. Sometimes you do. Y'all, I got some candy to eat. I've got some candy to eat. All right, let's see. Who, let's see. Let's see who's on top. We've got load. Wixie in one million, two and Halo in three. We love to see it. Thank you all so much for playing. Has anybody ever had these before? Mambas? Who's had them? Somebody tell me, have you had these before? Why don't I also do this? Why don't I, I'll put the task list up since we've got lots of people doing tasks today. Um, Alfred, thanks for the follow, welcome in. Lilith, thank you also for lurking, I appreciate ya. All right. All right, who just got here that I didn't say hi to? I have never had Mambas, but Weasel and I got them from his parents uh, for Christmas. Oh my God, they're so good. Why are they so good? Hi, Liz. I'm doing good. 30 minutes before my first PT session of the year. Oh my God. Excuse me. I'm manifesting positive vibes for you, okay? You've got this. Mambas were a sixth grade staple. Realizing now it's insane they sold them <laughs> in the lunchroom. Honestly, so true. <gasps> Some bear ears. I can do it. I can do it. If it messes up my hair, we're going to have to take a minute to redo my hair. They've got... They, they jingle jangle. They jingle jangle. Thank you for the star drop. I appreciate... Who was it? Seeking stars. Alfred, thank you for the bear clips. Listen, these are the, ah, these ones are the cutest. Sun goddess, thanks for the follow, welcome in. Let me put these up here. Oh, Slay, oh, Slay, come on. It kind of makes my, it is a little bit messed up up here, but we're just gonna, just pretend it's not. Wait, maybe I could fix it. Maybe I could fix it, hang on. Yeah. Slay! <laughs> thank you for the Slay. <laughs> yeah mambas are like high chews and that's what i was gonna say i love high chew and uh, my dad got me this pack for christmas um like the fantasy mix and they're really good but they're kind of hard to eat on stream and i like to have a little bit of candy on stream they're just like this is how i feel chewing them but the mambas are a little bit softer and i really really love the raspberry mambas they are so good if you'll give me just a second before we get back into Animal Crossing. I just want to have another piece of candy. I've already had two. So cute. Thank you. I didn't, uh, I don't think I know what they are either. Oh wait, which ones? Oh, they're, uh, don't know what high chews are. So they're just like a little, almost like a fruity taffy kind of candy. Junie, hi Junie. Just waking up feeling so icky this morning. I'm so sorry you're feeling bad. Let me give you the good vibes, okay? Let me give you the the best vibes. Also, I will say I did a community tarot earlier and I think you would benefit from it. It's the star card, bestie. You are a star, don't you forget it. Here, I'm gonna read the line from the end and then I'll do another community tarot. Thank you all for letting me have, I need like um just like a little decompression break from terraforming for like two seconds. So I might be here in the chatting screen for just like a couple more minutes. I'm gonna have a piece of candy. We're gonna do the um, community tarot for Junie. And uh, yeah, if you all wanna talk about anything, I'd love to I'd love to have a little chat for a couple of minutes while I do the community tarot. Let me read the line for you that I was thinking about for the star that you might benefit from. Um, let go of self-doubt. Let go of self-doubt that is weighing you down because inspiration is ready to carry you to new heights. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, but let me get another card for you. 
Love your clips, thank you. Exotic Miss B, it's going really well. How are you doing today? Like taffy and starburst, yeah, that's a great description. I really love the raspberry one, so I think I'm gonna order myself a little pack. Yeah, everybody's a star. Everybody's a star. Good and excited. Ooh, what are you excited for? Some? Do you have some fun plans this week? What's going on in your world? Anything good? Okay. Also, we've got the task list going, uh, the pinned message. Check out that pinned message if you haven't all... Why did this just come out, guys? We're getting, we're getting some really fucking good cards today. <laughs> we're getting some really good cards today. Do you wanna know who can, why don't you all guess if you know anything about tarot? If you don't, that's okay. Um, we'll, be, <laughs> we'll be going back into Animal Crossing in just a second. But uh, if you know anything about tarot, why don't you guess what card I just pulled? Why don't you guess? Just fill out something for, wait, on here? What? That's exciting. We already got the star. It is Major Arcana. It's not the world. The sun. The most positive card in the deck. The most positive card in the deck. Okay, let me read it. This is for everybody in the community, if you'd like it. If you'd like it, and then we'll get into the game. I pulled the sun, so I'm gonna pull, I'm gonna go for the whole description. Here's the card. No worries at all, bestie. No worries at all. I just went on break. It is all good. Okay. When cloudy skies pass, the sun comes out, shining warmth and happiness on everyone's lives. The excitement, rewarding, or er, renewed energy, and joy Jack experiences when he discovers Christmas Town perfectly embody the energy of the sun tarot card. If you've been sad or troubled lately, the sun is a sign you're about to feel a very positive shift in your life. Use this rejuvenating energy to reconnect with good friends and enjoy yourself. There's so much enthusiasm in this tarot card. It signifies a powerful time for inspired brainstorming. Um, besties, use this rejuvenating energy to reconnect with good friends and enjoy yourself. I think that's exactly what we're doing here, okay? We got the sun and the star for the community today. Hello? <laughs> um, BRB gonna get the little child? No worries at all. I'm back, tried to get some studying done, but I'm feeling so overwhelmed. Didn't manage to get that much done. I've accepted I'm not gonna get a good grade. Listen, it's okay. It is okay. Give yourself a little bit of grace. I know you've got a little more time before that uh, assignment is due. Get the brain scaries out and then dive back in when you feel ready. All right, should we get back into Animal Crossing? I think we should. I'm gonna have a little candy when I get back into the screen, okay? I'm gonna have a little candy. Yeah, you got this. Love Jack Skellington, me too. Can you see? Look, I've got a little Jack Skellington down here. A Squishmallow. I'm gonna have a Mamba really quick. Cause I need a little pick me up. I've also got my coffee to drink. We'll see how that goes. Okay, I am all caught up. Thank you all for being patient with me. I hadn't taken a break yet and it was like three hours into stream. <laughs> Okay, everybody have a little bit of water with me as well. And we said before I left, we were gonna talk about pastries. Will you talk about pastries with me? Who's gonna talk about pastries with me? Because I love pastries. One of my favorite pastries is just a plain old chocolate croissant. I mean, a, legu a, a, legular, a regular croissant is good too, but a chocolate croissant, I love chocolate. I love an almond croissant. I have this um, patisserie near me 
which is surprising with the town that I live in. <laughs> but they make the best almond croissants. Oh my god. I have never had one abroad though, so you know I can't I can't say for sure, but they are pretty good. So what's everybody's favorite pastry? We can move into sweets after if you want. You know, I love baking. I love uh, making puff pastry dough, but refuse to do it the right way. You know what? If you've got your own way that works, you gotta. <laughs> Managed to fumble my way through ordering in French. I am so bad at French. When I went to Italy, I didn't really know the language, but I it was pretty easy to order and like pick up on enough stuff to be able to like communicate at least a little bit. But holy shit, when I was in France, no, it was so hard. Oh my god, pistachio. Pistachio Cornetto. I don't know if I've ever had that, but I really love pistachio pastries too. Cinnamon swirl. Raspberry and cheese danish. Yum. I love a cheese danish. Sorry, I'm burping. I just had three pieces of candy. <laughs> really don't... Um... What I would have done if I hadn't found you guys. You made it so much easier to ra relax. Oh, I'm so good. I can't speak today. What does that mean? I'm getting all I'm getting all major arcana, the best and most positive cards in the deck, and then I can't speak. Um, love you, mean it. I'm so glad you found us too. I'm so glad you found your way to the community. I love having you here. Simple tea biscuits. Listen, love a little biscuit of any kind. I'm a big fan. We call obviously we call them cookies in the states. Well, maybe that's not obvious. We call them cookies in the states, but um, if we're talking about the same thing, which I think we are, love a little biscuit. Galettes, yes. Kira, thanks for lurking. I appreciate it. They can be sa sweet or savory. Oh, I love. See, that's the thing about me. Like, I'm just a food person. I love sweet and savory. I'm a big fan of both. Like, as I've gotten older, I've gotten really into savory food. When I was younger, it was mostly just a sweet tooth. Oh my God, I'm sorry. I really, I'm really kicking the shit out of my mic today. I really love a chocolate croissant, but um, there's, oh, I'm trying to think. The patisserie near me, they make a, it's kind of like a cinnamon roll. I don't actually know what it's called. Uh, let me think. I don't know. It's kind of like a cinnamon roll, but it has like orange flavor and pistachio. It's so good. Apricot. Oh, I love apricot flavor. Cream puffs, eclairs. Oh my God, eclairs. I love eclairs as well. They're so good. Um, I do not know how to say that one, Liss. My mom made a strawberry one for a birthday barbecue or something when I was young and it was great. Ooh, I wonder what that is. I don't know exactly what it is, but listen, I love a little strawberry flavor. Come on. Petite fours um, are also good. I have not had one since I worked at a bakery several years ago. Really? Ooh, that sounds yummy. Eclairs. Profiterol. <laughs> This is really showing how poor I am at other languages and pronunciation. <laughs> it's so fun. It's so fun and funny all at the same time. Macron. I, oh my god, I got the best Macron. Macron. In, uh, <laughs> in, in Paris. Oh, they were so good. I need to go back to Paris. I Actually, you know what? I really didn't like Paris when I went. It was stinky. <laughs> and and the people were not nice. Cream puffs. Ooh, croissant. <laughs> I saw a type of cheesecake that they made in Japan that's so fluffy. Yes, the most squishable ones. Also, Sun Goddess, welcome in. The Louvre, yeah. So Weasel and I, do you all want to hear? Listen, I don't want to take away from our, our conversation that we're having here. So stop me if you want. I can tell you about my Louvre experience in Paris and how horrible it was. I had the worst experience ever at the Louvre. And well, it wasn't the Louvre. It was more so in Paris. I had a horrible experience, but the Louvre just happened to be what I was doing that day when I had these bad experiences. Um, okay, I'm liking the way that that's looking. It's pretty cute. 
Want to hear it? No desire to visit Paris. <laughs> not as good as people hype it up to be? No, it's not. It's really not. <laughs> okay, so. Um, wait, known by the names of Napoleon in North America. Oh, okay. Vanilla um, custard. French dessert made of puff pastry layered and pastry cream. That sounds so good, Liz. I'm sorry, Soph, that you like Paris. I'm so sorry. <laughs> okay, so. When I was in Paris, here's my story time. I don't do story times like this too often, but I'll, I'll get into the nitty gritty of it for you. So um, you can come with me next time. Okay, as long as you show me where to go, <laughs> no offense, no, make, make it offense. Just give him offense. <laughs> um, so when I went to Paris, I was actually on my way to Switzerland when I stopped in Paris. This was in September. And we had booked an Airbnb that uh, was really close to the Louvre. So we get the we get off the plane and we can't go directly to the Airbnb. They're like, sorry, we can't let you in early. We already have people there. We have to go in and clean. And I'm like, okay, whatever. We'll just find a place to put our bags because we had big, like we were backpacking. We had backpacking gear on basically. So we rented a spot to drop our bags. So we drop our bags at this random, like, wha, what would you call them? Like a gift shop, a random Paris gift shop in their basement. He made us like the guy who worked there made us take our bags to the basement. And we were like a little bit nervous about it. Cause like, are they gonna go through? You know, you just never know with people, you know, you don't know until you know, right? So we were a little nervous about it, but whatever. We wanted to go see the Louvre and we could only go on that one day. So we drop our bags, we go to the Louvre and it is hot. It was hot in the Louvre. Like there were so many people there. Nobody was looking where they were going. It was super, super frustrating because people are just like, to be honest, people were just not nice there. And I'm sure that it was a lot of people traveling for one, but like even people that I heard speaking French, like they were not looking where they were going. People kept like running into me. It was hard to look at like the art that you wanted to see because there were so many people there. Which, you know, it's to be expected. It's the Louvre. But, like, also, I was low-key annoyed. So, we're about to leave the Louvre. And we're, I think we're in, like, the last section that we wanted to see. And Weasel looks at me and he's like, they just canceled our Airbnb. I'm like, they canceled? They, they canceled our Airbnb? What do you mean they canceled our Airbnb? <laughs> what do you, what do you mean? <laughs> like, we can't. Where are we gonna stay? And so we were like panicking. They they contacted us. They said somebody had like had a party there and they the plumbing was messed up. Like somebody got sick and they had to like, I don't know. I think they were just making up excuses to be honest. So we're like, what the hell do we do with our bags? Like, where do we go? What do we do? That's the vibes. And um, we ended up booking another Airbnb, but everything in that area that we had already booked was like so expensive. So we had to book a place that was more expensive. Get this, Airbnb doesn't give your money back right away. So we were out like hundreds of dollars for the first half of our trip. That's not all. Our next Airbnb that we booked, canceled. We, we had two Airbnbs cancel on us on this trip. It was actually insane. Um, so we were out like over a thousand dollars that, you know, you're supposed to be spending while you're on vacation because you save for this stuff. And uh, yeah, that's my story. I mean, it all worked out in the end, but it was it was shitty at the time. Anyways, that's my story. <laughs> Treasure Island to get bells. Yes. I'm sorry, but Frenchies always seem like they have a stick up their ass. I agree. Airbnb hosts should have to pay a big fine. I know, right? They canceled like when we were supposed to be there. It was insane. We had an Airbnb host in Montreal, legit kick us out. Came back from a full day at Oshega at 2 a.m. and all our stuff was on the front lawn. I, I think I'm done with Airbnb, like totally. I don't think that I will book Airbnbs anymore because we always end up booking these little hotels anyway on Airbnb that we could just book outside of Airbnb. So I think I'm going to go that way from now on. Uh, I think I need to go to the other side. 
I know, twice in one trip, I was like, how the fuck am I gonna pay for anything? <laughs> I don't have enough money. I don't have enough money for this. Please, I don't have the funds. Give me my money. And I called them and I was like, how do we get our money faster? And Airbnb was like, you don't. And I was like, <laughs> it was a shit storm. Let's be real. A whole shit storm. Uh, I went to London a few years ago. We arrived to find out the Airbnb was fake Mads. No, Airbnb is so bad these days. And Alfred, thank you so much for uh, lurking. I really appreciate it. Yeah. My boyfriend and I went once to uh, once went to Dallas a couple summers ago, and after all day of traveling, our Uber got us to our hotel. We walk in to check in, and they told us they were sold. Wait, they sold the hotel. They sold the hotel. They have no active reservations, but we never know. We were never notified, so we were sitting in the lobby of the hotel looking for another hotel and trying to get another Uber. Oh my god! Airbnb sucks. Confirmed. I need this little bird to get the out of here i need him to be gone please please move i really need him to move for my terraforming um if you find a property you love try to find it um try to find if their property management company not airbnb also uh has it listed yeah i actually did get a i did have a really good airbnb experience when i was in um, I was basically on the other side of Geneva in France. There's like a big lake, Lake Geneva. And um, I stayed in France where Coco Chanel, I didn't stay where Coco Chanel lived, but it's where Coco Chanel lived, had her like big house. And um, the Airbnb that I stayed in there was actually like a, a regular bed and breakfast. It was the most pleasant experience that I've ever had with Airbnb. Thank you for the bear ears. Frustration with treasure islands. Yeah, it can be quite annoying. I need this bird to move. Maybe if I go inside, he'll move. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm getting, I'm raging. Should have given you a freebie. You want to know what they gave us? A $30 credit. $30? What's $30 going to get me? That's definitely not going to get me a night. It's not going to get me a night anywhere. Paris is so overhyped. Like me and my family almost got, no way. Refuse to overpay the taxi. Listen, I love that you refuse to pay. Ah, I'm gonna have to time travel. They gave, yeah, they gave us a $30 credit. Oh, clapping and doing other uh, emotes. I'm just gonna go to a different day because the only reason I'm actually gonna time travel is because I need him like out of this area because we're gonna decorate it too. <sighs> Maybe I should go to the morning when there are less villagers out. Let's try that morning time let's also just go back a little bit um let's do 5 a.m maybe 5 45 a.m how about it oh did you make your first is this your first snowman if i ever get treated poorly by a company like that or someone uh, tries to swindle i turn into such an ogre <laughs> of a karen hell yeah i do the same i try not to be like a karen to the people who like work the phones because they don't make the policy you know but like to other people maybe a little bit just a little bit also if you all want to add a task or mark off a task don't forget you can add to our task list if you'd like please feel free Aww, he's so cute i love that for you he told us the taxi ride was a certain price after we reached the destination. He bumped up the price by 20 euros. Ew, uh, hate that. I was really worried. We got into this taxi in, uh, was it Paris? No, in Rome. It reeked of smoke. He did not speak English, the guy. <laughs> and it was like one of the city, like ta one of the regular taxis, not like an Uber or anything. I was really worried he was trying to scam us, but it wasn't very expensive. I think it was only 20 euro total once we actually got to the airport with that guy but i was worried the whole drive to the airport kill him with kindness yeah i know it's not directly anything to do with you for customer service people but i'll be very persistent yes exactly like who can i talk to somebody else i don't i'm not like a can i speak to the manager kind of person but like sometimes sometimes you gotta okay we love the morning vibes. Wait. I didn't... Uh, what happened here? 
What happened here? Okay. I thought I did time travel. Let's time travel again so we have our bridge to build around too. Oh my god. That's that is a wild story, seriously. That is wild. Do you all have any uh ah, that's not what I meant to do. Do you all have any like good Airbnb stories? Cuz I I mean, I can tell you my uh the one that I was went to France for the place that I went to in France, the B&B, it was like this Polish lady that ran it, her and her son lived there and they had like different rooms for multiple people. And um, she served us breakfast in the garden and she brought out, I mean, she brought out so much food and her cat, Gabrielle, and her chickens were like running around in the, in the garden with us. It was so nice. PT time, enjoy your lurk. Kick ass in PT, I know you will. I know you will. My last really good Airbnb experience was back when it was just uh, renting spare rooms in random people's apartments. Feel that, feel that heavily. I bet I could find a picture on my phone and I could show you all. I think I actually posted it. If you all ever want to see like some of my travel stuff, I do like aesthetic. I don't really post that much on Instagram, but if I do travel somewhere, I like to do a little photo dump. So if you want to see, you can find that like, you can find some photos on my Instagram if you want. Not everybody wants to though, so I'll just, I'll just say that. <laughs> Old Polish ladies are sweeter demons. No in between. She was really sweet, but she was very like, I don't even need to explain. She was just, that was in France, yeah. So it was like, I was basically in Switzerland, um, just like on the other side of Geneva. Uh, yeah. I miss the days of Airbnb where it was actually like a, a good business. <laughs> well, I don't know if it was ever a good business, let me be clear, but I feel like there were, there was an era of Airbnb that I didn't hate and now I hate it. I loved Switzerland too. I had a very stressful trip when I was in Switzerland, but I mean, it was fun. It was really cool to do some hiking and um, I did hiking in like Zermatt um, and I ended up at a Michelin star restaurant on accident and the food is probably the best meal I've ever had in my life to this day. I didn't know as I had no idea it was Michelin star, no idea. The only time I stayed at an Airbnb was lovely. We rented a tiny house that was at the top of a lake and had a huge dog. Oh my God, it was pretty much camping. Aw, see, I would love that. Love a little camping moment. I would be super into that. Um, Actually, I stayed in an Airbnb in Geneva. Whoa. Stayed in an Airbnb in Bulgaria this summer. The owner was so lovely. It was such a good experience. Most of my Airbnb experiences have been uh, really positive. See, that's so nice. I feel like I've had some good positive Airbnb experiences, but the like really bad ones make it really bad. You know what I mean? I know it makes me anxious too. Me too. Millie, thanks for the bubbles. We needed a little bubble break. You knew the vibes. Okay, let's do some waterscaping. I think I want it to go a little bit more this way over here and then down. Or maybe it just, I don't know. I need to figure it out. A shocking baby, not the shocking baby. Shocking and bubble blowing double baby. Love to see it. <laughs> I've never been to an Airbnb. I hardly ever travel. Listen, some people don't like travel. And also, let me let me also say, it's just expensive. It's just expensive to travel these days. Thank you for the rainbow reminder. <gasps> Speaking of Michelin, Straub is a Michelin baby currently. Very slay. We love a Michelin baby, come on. Best kind of baby. <laughs> Let's see. Is this terraforming looking good or is it bad? You never know until you like take a step back, right? I'm th oh, that's not what I meant to do. Just when I thought these streams couldn't, <laughs> could not get any cuter. We have like a bubble theme. We kind of changed over to the bubble theme because there's this really cursed song that I play on stream sometimes. And it's, uh, it's basically Sandy Cheeks rapping and it's, um, 
It's the line is the baddest bitches live in bubbles. That's a fucking fact. <laughs> so um, that kind of, I don't know, started our bubble theme for some reason. And uh, I just, I just let it take off from there. And we have the bubble stream scenes now. So like my starting soon and BRB and all that kind of stuff. It's interesting. <laughs> and all of our sub alerts are now bubble themed as well. Bubble party themed specifically. Well, not the first one. First month is not bubble themed, but everything after that is. I'm trying to, this is not looking quite right, but I can't, wait, maybe it's fine. Bubble do, yeah, it's me. It's me, Bubble do. Call me Bubbles from now on. <laughs> Call me Bubbles. I like the idea of traveling, but I just love being cozy in my house. This, I decided that this year, 2024, I'm not traveling unless it's in the US because, especially because of my Switzerland trip, like it was just so stressful. It was, uh, it was fun to see like, the world, but also I was stressed the whole fucking time. <laughs> okay, I actually don't think that looks that bad. What do we think? It just gets a lot smaller, like really quickly. What if I do, let's do this here maybe. I love bubbles, me too. Me too, I like the bubbles theme, it's pretty cute. I like that it's just kind of like a loose theme too, nothing crazy. Let me see if I can make this look better. I don't know. I don't think that's going to make it look better. I think it'll make it look worse. Maybe if I do this, though. <laughs> Thinking it was a pearl. Did you think it was a pearl? Listen, we can go with it. Pearls and bubbles? Come on. We're classy. Didn't you know that we're classy? <laughs> we're classy. What's a Michelin baby? Uh, on a, honestly, I made the Michelin baby uh, because, like, you know when babies have those like little rolls they're like they've got like they they look like the michelin man you know so i i made the michelin baby uh <laughs> because of babies that look like the michelin man you know what i'm saying oh my god show me hello thank you for the nine months holy cow how's your day been what's going on What's going on? And I was talking about Michelin star restaurant too, um, which was an accident for me. Thank you for the hype in chat. I appreciate you all. Thank you for the nine months. We're coming up on that year real quick. It's happening real quick. Woohoo! French toasties, thanks for lurking. I appreciate it. I appreciate ya. Um, and did I get, I don't know if I got the hydrate from seriously taken care of, so let me do that. Thank you for the hydrate a couple of minutes ago. And Jen, thank you for still lurking. I'm behind on my redeems. Let me make sure. Oh, not having a great time. I'm so sorry. Well, hopefully the vibes here can give you a, a better time. Okay, I think I'm all caught up now. Thank you everybody who's lurking and hanging out with me today too. We do have the task list up still if anybody wants to add or remove anything, if you'd like to. If you'd like. Um... Do you all have any other baby ideas for that? <laughs> any other baby ideas for the, uh, our baby command? You've got to let me know. Cause I've got the, so I have the, I added the jam baby. I have this little tattoo of a, a jam, a cupie with a jam jar. <laughs> so I put jam baby. I also have a cowboy baby because weasel has a cupie tattoo, um, of a cowboy baby. <laughs> cowboy cupie is what it's called really. And what else did I put? Root. I put a rootin' tootin' baby, a tough tootin' baby, maybe. I put a buff baby. What else? <gasps> bubble blow. Okay, so we have the bubble blowin' baby for whoever uh, redeems the bubbles on stream. Maybe we do just bubbles. But it is double, wait, bubble blowing double baby, something like that. The vibes are the best. Thank you. We're trying. We're trying. Frenchie in chat, tee -hee. <laughs> That's my favorite emote. In case you all didn't know, my favorite emote on Twitch is actually Straubs. <laughs> it's that emote that French Toasties just used. It's just too cute, I can't help it. Ultimate Babel, <laughs> Babel? <laughs> Ultimate Babel, hang on. Um, Ultimate Baby, Final Form Baby. 
We have the prom night dumpster baby too because of um what's that? That's from uh oh my god, I can't remember what it's called. What's it called? What's it called? Oh my god. Family guy, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Ultimate bubble. <laughs> I mean, now I have to add that, right? Okay, I can't change the baby though. Like the the way that baby is spelled. What did you say the other day? Cutie little sweetie little angel baby friends. Exactly. <laughs> the Tower of Babel baby. <laughs> Ultimate Babel. <laughs> now I'm going to have to go through the way that it's set up. Like the word baby doesn't change, but... For the ultimate babble, I will go in and change all of them. The ultimate babble. <laughs> I'm writing it down, don't worry. How do we spell it? And I gotta put bubble in here too. Bubble. Was everybody here yesterday when I showcased the new uh, sub alerts? We have new sub alerts. They go along with each month. So every time you get a new badge, it's a new alert. One month, two month, three month, six month, nine month, one year. <laughs> Tower of Babel. Hilarious. I can't. Okay, guys, is this looking good or am I crazy? Am I crazy for thinking this looks decent? I don't know. I don't know. Oh, where's my phone? Oh my God, where's my phone? Hang on. Um, oh my god, Mask's calling. Mask, what's going on, bestie? Hello, this is Mask Ryan. How has your day been progressing? Are you having a good stream? This call is sponsored by Capital One Bank, the bank you can trust. Also sponsored by Duolingo, you better have done your Spanish lesson, or else. We have our family. <laughs> Mask? I don't do sponsored segments of my stream, you know that. Come on, mask. Anyways, stream's going good. How's your day going? Yeah, thanks for the 200 bits. Okay, bye. Mask, oh mask. Hi mask. <laughs> How's your day going? I think it looks great, thank you. Thank you for the 200 mask. <laughs> <laughs> the best bit I've seen for TTS. Yeah, I don't use TTS other than that one. I got royally screwed by somebody. It was back when I first started streaming, so I, like, didn't know how to set boundaries yet, you know? And people just, like, take advantage of that shit. So I turned off TTS for, like, a long time. Uh, but I decided to bring it back with that one. Just got back from doing a survey on a historic site. What? That sounds sick. Am I allowed to ask what you were surveying? <laughs> Mask is funny. Mask always comes in hot with the zingers. <laughs> Especially looks cute. Words? Especially looks cute with the lighting. Thank you. I think so too. I think that um, if and when... Oh, it kind of looks like a butterfly over here. If and when I do a DA... That looks like a butterfly, does it not? <laughs> if and when I do a DA... I will probably set it in the morning time. I think the morning time would be very slay. 5 a.m. vibes, right? <clears throat> um, the way you were scrambling to find your phone and then pulled out a hamburger is the best thing I've seen all day. Thank you. That's my favorite bit. It's pretty much my only bit that I do, but um, you know what? I love it. <laughs> it looks cute. Thank you. Here, let's run around. Should we start decorating it? So we've got the entrance, which is looking very slay, but we need to decorate the top levels. And then obviously this isn't finished at all, but then we we did the terraforming over here, which we still need to work on a little bit. Maybe we go up to a second level here. Let me think. Oh God, maybe. Morning Animal Crossing is so aesthetic. I know, right? It's so good. I love running around at 5 a.m. Have I ever told you all that like back in 2020 when the game first came out, I was making really good progress on my island and it was like 11 o'clock at night, but I set my switch to 5 a.m. and I ran around my island and I cried. <laughs> I cried because it was just so beautiful. I couldn't help it. 
I just went to work to do vacation homes. Don't want to do this anymore. Wait, why? Wait, do you have HHP? For sure. It's for my master's project. Basically choosing, uh, choose a building to do a photographical survey. Uh, did I say that right? If I didn't, nobody say anything. And then write a report. I chose a historic church in downtown Houston. Cool mask. That's sick. So when you do surveys, do you like, I'm, I don't know what I'm talking about. Let me be clear. Do you get to like take photos and do that kind of thing too? Obviously you're probably taking like literal notes, but out of curiosity. I know, 5 a.m. In my opinion, I pick 5 a.m. over any other time, period. Um, and also, Phoenix, thanks for lurking. I appreciate it. Such a 2020 mood for real, right? <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about. Let me be clear. I mean, because sometimes, like, you know, when you don't know what you're talking about, you don't know exactly how to word or, like, phrase a question. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Okay, should we start decorating? We could do a little decorating today, too. What time is it? How long have I been streaming? Nice. Not too bad. Took a bunch of photos, wrote notes on the church, did measurements of the windows, statues, structures. That's so cool. That's so cool. All right. I'm 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 coming next time, all right? I'm coming with. I want to be on this survey. HHP, I didn't know what that meant, but my husband said yes. Um, Happy Home Paradise. It's like the expansion. Uh... Yeah, I, I would call it the expansion pack. <laughs> uh, okay. I also was trying to figure out how I want this to look. Maybe we go up to a second level here over on this side. Yes, I have that. <laughs> Hell yeah. But it's so fun. Doing those little builds are really fun. Okay. Oh my God, my, my mascara, it's like sticking together. Um... I just like, I have, uh, I'm just like, I have permission. So hell yeah. All right. I was thinking of maybe putting a whoosh over here back on that side. Ooh, what else? I should probably put like, um, oh, there's a light right there. If it's going to be a light, it needs to be something like short. Are y'all down for some decorating? Shall we? You all have to give me your opinions when I ask. Okay. I'm going to get super zoned in. Just kidding. I'm going to get distracted because you all always distract me. How about before I get into the decorating, we all drink our whatever little drink you've got. Whatever little drink. Seriously, thanks for lurking. I've got a little coffee. Ooh, wait, guys. Hang on. I want to show you something really quick. So if you haven't been here in a while, um... Or maybe you didn't hear me talk about this. I finally got one of those glass can cups. I bought it for myself. And it's supposed to come in today. It's a Powerpuff Girls. Like. <laughs> 420 Powerpuff Girls. Can. Glass cup thing. Lunchtime. Ooh, enjoy your lunch. Uh, whenever you have some time, I would love to hear about it. I always love to hear what people are eating. I love food. Kids are having honeydew. Wait, I love honeydew. Thoughts on honeydew in the chat? Ooh. Kebabs. I I love kebabs. I fucking love kebabs. I have this Mediterranean place in my hometown that I go to sometimes that have kebabs. So good. Enjoy your lunch. Thanks for stopping in and saying hey. Look at. Look how cute she is. Look. I think honeydew is good too. Here, I'll show you. Focus. Oh my God. I didn't get the spark, focus. I didn't get that sparkly lid. I just got a regular lid, but this is what it looks like. <laughs> it's so bird coated. I'm sorry, it just is. No sparkly lid, just a regular lid though. Ooh, Doritos and spicy peppers. <laughs> not pregnant it's just good isn't it cute i love her too i think i'm very buttercup i'll be honest and how do we feel about honeydew i need to know yeah so that came in today i will be i'll be drinking in it on stream drinking in it on stream for sure don't you worry 
Okay, I'll go back to Stardew. Stardew? <sighs> the brain's on Stardew. The brain's on Stardew. You literally are Buttercup. Okay, I'll take that. Honeydew, yes. Cantaloupe, no. Wait, really? Should we put it to a poll? Do I have any mods around? I don't know if any, I think most of the mods are lurking. I know, wait, Star was here too. I'll just do it. Don't y'all worry. Don't y'all worry. It'll be easier because my brain can't explain things. Melons. Honey, <laughs> all caps. Honeydew. Cantal, cantaloupe. I, if I spelled it wrong, don't fucking say anything. <laughs> okay, poll is up. <laughs> Love me some juicy melons. Thanks, Delphi. I think um, I was gonna ask you all to put it up, but also I thought it would be funny to just do it myself. <laughs> I live in all caps. You know what? Sometimes I just forget to turn it off. I can't help it. The real life buttercup. Should I do a buttercup cosplay? <laughs> Cantaloupe tastes kind of stinky. <laughs> That's so true. Honestly, so true. Okay, we need to... Oh, what the fuck do I need to do? I don't know. I'm on a decorating lull right now. Don't mind me. I promise I'm playing the game. I promise. Spiffany, thank you for still lurking. <laughs> Bofities. <laughs> I'm sorry I had to. Millie trolled me with Bofities one time. I have to troll back. <laughs> See, I like both of them. Here, I'm going to vote too. I'm allowed to vote in my own poll if it's not anything to, to do with the, uh, the stream. <laughs> hammy melon? No, what is hammy melon? Am I saying that right? Hammy melon? Sounds meaty. Okay, let's go this way. I vote both. Same. Me too. Melon is probably my favorite fruit besides blueberries. Do you all like raspberries? I Weasel got me into raspberries. Both all the way. Hell yeah. None of these. Oh, I'm sorry. I should have put a fourth option on there. Do you all want to hear my cursed? Wait, why did I? I do not need all of these. Do you all want to hear my cursed? Um, the reason that we have the bubble theme. I kind of forgot about it. Here, I'll play it for you. God, we're really not playing Animal Crossing today, are we? We're just vibing at this point. If I play it, you you know what to do. If I play it, you know what to do. Now, first of all, fuck these rappers here talking this, talking that today. Then I see you, bitch. Quit not a fan of berries. Get a lift you on red gang. The best bitch is living bubbles. That's a fucking fact. Ain't no patty bitch. This is the origin of the bubble theme, actually. Give me your best dancing emotes in chat. <laughs> Cilantro tastes soapy, so true. I think it's true, but I kind of like it. Okay, so both of these is winning. <laughs> so the cursed origin. The very cursed origin of the bubble theme. <laughs> Cilantro tastes like the pearly gates of heaven if heaven was in Mexico. Hell yeah. I like cilantro too. I actually don't mind the soapy flavor. It just like overpowers stuff sometimes. All right. Wow, nobody likes cantaloupe. I grew up eating cantaloupe. I'm glad that we like cilantro. That'll be the next poll. Delphi, you want to make the next poll? Since you're here. Oh, wait. Did that mess that up? Oh, wait, wait. It needs to go like this. Anyways, so that's our cursed bubble origin. Oh, should we just listen to this too? Yeah, why not? Sorry, VOD watchers. It's probably going to get muted. Cilantro, yay or nay. You can make it something else if you want as well. Whatever you're feeling. 
It's not cilantro, it's coriander. Wait, what? Wait, what? Is this something that I should know? I'm sorry, we always talk about food. It's a problem. It's such a problem. I feel like I need to, I need to put something over there, but I don't know what, maybe flowers, maybe just some flowers. Keep it natural. Oh, or even just some vines. Okay, let me get some vines, hang on. I know, I know, only bees. I need to get on it. I used to have it separated and then I changed my hard drive and I just have not fixed it. I have not fixed it. I also wanna be able to uh, monitor my audio, like my voice, which I have to fix everything for as well. <laughs> I'll get Weasel to help me soon. Um, what was I looking for? Vines. I do most of my, uh, I do most of my tech stuff myself, but when I can't figure stuff out, I'm like, Weasel, please, I need a second pair of eyes. Uh, what? Oh, we are not listening to this, though. <laughs> no thanks. <laughs> Oh, hell yeah. We'll just go with the Zelda vibes. Oh, hell yeah. I must admit, I'm not a barbecue flavor person. What? We don't call it cilantro in Europe. It's coriander. Wait, isn't coriander and cilantro a different thing? Or am I crazy? Barbecue Doritos? What? They have barbecue Doritos? No way. Hemi melon is a pinkish orange melon. More crisp than honeydew. Oh, I haven't had that. I need to try it, though. I gotta try it. Wait, I can't pick it up. Oh no. Fuck. Uh oh. It's not good. It's not good. It's not good. The spicy. Oh no. Oh no, this is not good. I thought it was a separate thing too, right? This is not good. Wait, what happened at Twitch? Oh yeah, the Doritos. I literally saw, in case you all wondered, how Spiffany and I met at TwitchCon. I uh, I saw Spiffany at the Doritos booth. <laughs> and I was like, I was with some people. I can't remember who I was with. I was like, is that Spiffany in the Doritos booth? And everybody was like, yeah, that's Spiffany. And I was like, Spiffany! <laughs> Coriander and cilantro are the same thing, but in the US they sell the seeds. Oh. Oh, okay. I had no idea that that was a thing. Guys, I fucked up. I fucked up. I can't get rid of this item. I can't pick it up. It's my spicy switch. My spicy switch. How do I fix it? <laughs> Never more myself than at the Doritos booth. Did we get a cilantro yes or no poll? I wasn't looking. Did you want to do that? Oh, fuck. I can't pick it up. How do I pick it up? Um... Map, map, can I? Oh, here it goes, it's fetching my map. Chonkers, no worries at all, wait. Wait, did it do it? How do I? How do I, I don't know how to make it change. Hang on, I'm learning. The Doritos in the Doritos booth were for sale. I know, right? That was so annoying. It was so annoying. Chonkers, how's your day going? Did I ask? I'm sorry, I was distracted by the fact that I can't pick up this item. <laughs> Fuck. Cilantro, the poll is up. How are we feeling? Yay or nay on the cilantro? Okay, did it? Yes! Yes! I'm insane. In case you didn't know, I'm insane. Also, ads are about to happen. Thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. <laughs> Yelling nonsense, as you should. As you should. Okay, wait, I think I'm gonna have to go get um, vines out of my storage. Here, let me drop it. Storage shed. Yeah, oh yeah. Did you just say sorry? Did you say sorry to me? Wait, who said sorry? Did somebody say sorry? 
Oh, Straub said sorry. We don't allow that word here. Nobody is allowed to say sorry ever. Not allowed. Good. Just been trying to get mod packs on Minecraft to work for about two hours. Chonkers, I am so sorry. I tried to play Minecraft on stream yesterday. <laughs> okay, sorry. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Uh, I play. I tried to play Minecraft on stream yesterday, and fuck, I don't have any vines. Let me let me see if we can make it happen. Um, and it crashed my stream. <laughs> I was so sad about it. I haven't done any mods in a while on Minecraft, so I hope that goes well for you. Wait, okay, so maybe the maybe the mod just doesn't work right now. Maybe that's what it is. Okay, so how do I get vines then? Vines, let me look them up again. Vines. <laughs> Does that include streamer from not saying sorry? So sorry. So sorry about that. <laughs> I know. I honestly say sorry way too much. Like way too much. I'm trying to get out of the habit, but it's really hard when you've had to say sorry your whole life, you know? There we go. There we go. Some vines. Should I put some flowers there too? Um. Yeah, I was... So I... I looked in the spicy software and there were two versions of the vines and uh one of the versions was had an exclamation point next to it so i thought that meant that was the one i was supposed to use um that's not what it meant <laughs> vines more like hurricane tortilla that is so millennial coded i'm technically not a millennial i'm a zillennial zillennial try being canadian Yes, we're yes for cilantro. Hell yeah. Oh, only three people said no. I did get this. Um, I got like a... What was it? I don't remember what I got. I got like um, some kind of cocktail that had cilantro in it. And it was... Oh, it was like um, a margarita with cilantro type cocktail. Don't get it. Don't get it. It really tasted like I was drinking soap. It really did. Zillennial, more like Cusper, exactly. Okay, I think for that area, I need the taller flowers. I must say I'm enjoying the streams level of chaos today. It is chaotic, what are y'all doing? <laughs> we have been chaotic. What's the word for millennial and boomer? I feel like I'm that, what, yeah, who knows? <laughs> Gen X. <laughs> more like old soul, I love that. We got to start our weeks off on the right note. I don't know if I have the soap genre. Uh, <laughs> genre. <laughs> I don't know if I have the soap gene, but cilantro doesn't bother me. It depends on what it's in. It really just depends on what it's in for me. That looks cute, right? Yeah, I like it. Okay, then we need something for over here, but it needs to be like an item. The, sh the soap genre. <laughs> I have cilantro soap <laughs> gene and I'm part Mexican. My mom cooks with it so much. Really? I did not get the soap. I keep wanting to say genre. <laughs> I gotta chill out. Let me chill out. Everybody chill, 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 chill. I did not know how to tell if I had the soap gene. Like, what am I supposed to taste? Soap. <laughs> my, my, my favorite genre of soap is lemon. No way. I kept saying sorry to the doctor who, I, who was reading through my possible ADHD notes. Ready to start on diagnosis as my notes are all over. Oh, it's going away all over the place. And she just looked at me right in the eyes and said, it's okay, you don't need to apologize. In fact, it just shows me more that you need to start this process. <laughs> so me, that's so me. Cilantro on pizza? I've never had it on pizza. My favorite soap genre is, wait, Milky Jelly Cleanser by Glossier. <laughs> What's everybody's favorite soap genre? I think mine has to be the fall variety, the Miss Mayer's fall spice one. That's mine. <laughs> I changed my answer to not sponsored. <laughs> Why can't I put anything here? Why? I have to put something back there, but I don't want to put something back there. What should we put here? I don't even... Should we go in just chatting? <laughs> I don't even want to play Animal Crossing. I just want to... I just want to vibe. I don't want to play this game anymore. Soap genre. Yup. What's your favorite soap genre? 
I, but in all seriousness, my favorite soap that comes out, actually, I use the Miss Mayers from Target and I use the uh, Honeysuckle one all year round, except for in the fall. And then they, they come out with like a seasonal fall one. <laughs> Marseille, Marseille soap bar. Wait, what blanket? I missed it. What blanket? Same thought. <laughs> I'm a simple girly whose favorite soap genre is Dove. <laughs> Hell yeah. I wish we could swim faster in AC. Wouldn't that be nice? Wouldn't that be nice? Oh, maybe we do a little fencing. A little fencing moment back there. I don't have that much fencing. I don't have very much fence. I don't have very many items in here. If y'all wonder, I'm sorry. You're just gonna have to. You're just gonna have to understand that I have a spicy. I got some spicy software, so uh, you're not gonna see everything that happens. Okay, you're just not gonna see it. I'm so sorry about that. <laughs> got those sensitivities. Um, I'm slower with my aunt's driving. Wait, what? Uh. I'm slower than my aunt's driving. You know who drives slow? Weasel. My partner, Weasel. Miss Mayor's basil. Ooh, doesn't smell like basil. What's it smell like? Give me the, give me the lowdown. What's that shit smell like? <laughs> what that smell like? We are chaotic today, huh? Okay, that just blends in. That's a big old no for me. What about this one? This one's probably just gonna blend in too. Oh, Glossier blanket. Oh, I'm jealous too. I want one. I actually don't use Glossier. <laughs> I've never owned a Glossier product. Love that it doesn't have a rubbery feel. Love that. Cucumber body wash. Ooh, cucumber. I love cucumbers. Okay, what the hell am I supposed to do here? Oh no, the slow poke of it all. Okay, I could do like a tree standy too. <laughs> I know, Spiffany, right? I've never owned a Glossier product, never. Cucumba, <laughs> no, I haven't. Is that something we need posted in the Discord? Bitch, we just need to be in, we need to be in just chatting right now. That's what we need to be. I don't want to though. Well, I want to, but I also don't want to. Smells like herbs, but not basil. I see. Okay, what if we go down here? I'm just getting a little lost in the sauce. What if we lay some pathing? Roche, is it ro mm, I don't know how to, I don't know how to say that. I don't know how to say that. <laughs> Roche, ro mm, Eves, Roche foamy facial cleanser is just iconic. Immediately where my mind went. <laughs> Wait, where? Uh, about all the reasons to love cucumbers. If you want, ever need Rex, let me know. I will. I've been doing, um, yeah, here's the Discord. I've been doing like a very simple routine recently. And I use mostly like natural beauty products. But it's only because I have sensitive skin. You're welcome. Okay. I'm literally just running around doing nothing. I don't know what's happening here today either. What's happening here today? I'm getting scared. I'm scared. Somebody call my mom. <laughs> Sorry, let me let me backtrack a minute. Where did my ladder go also? I lost my ladder. Hang on. Ladder. Big Monday feels. Yeah, none of us want to be at work today, so we're just we're just talking, right? We're just chatting away. Getting rid of the Monday scaries, huh? Hey mom, could you pick me up? This live is so chaotic. I'm sorry. So sorry. Paige, thanks for still lurking. Just join the Discord too? Hell yeah. If anybody needs it, feel free to feel free to hit up the Discord. The link is right there in the chat. <laughs> Calls mom on hamburger phone. <laughs> yes, I just uh, somebody somebody take my hamburger phone and call my mom. Do you know her number? No. Sorry. <laughs> I almost made
made a really bad joke that I don't think I should make. Sorry, my mom doesn't talk to me anymore. <laughs> it's not a lie. It's not a lie. Guys, I shouldn't have said that. Can I borrow your hamburger phone to call my mom? Yes, you can. You can. Sorry, babies. I'm still here just lurking. No worries at all. Bestie. Enjoy your relaxation time. There is no reason to apologize at all. Relax and you'll be vibing with us just with your energy, you know? Felt that, but it's my dad. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's nothing to laugh about. It's really nothing to laugh about, but sometimes you gotta laugh or you're gonna cry, you know? Is this what it's like to not have to worry about other people's opinions of me? Wow. I have this photo saved on my phone uh, that's like calling my divorced wife from my hamburger phone ASMR. No way. Please laugh. The trauma dump is real. No, no trauma dumping. Not allowed. Not allowed. Listen. Y'all don't get any dirty details about that. Not allowed. <laughs> this is my escape place. This is my escape place. How about we all have some water together? And also, I'm sorry, Amanda, five minutes ago, you told me you were lurking. Thank you for lurking. And Valky, thank you for lurking. I can't keep up with the redeems today. Y'all are popping off. Y'all are popping off. <laughs> that was me the first time I got my meds, okay. <laughs> I need to get some for, I'm undiagnosed ADHD, but I swear to God, I can't, like you all see me jump around all the time in the chat, for example, you know. Love giggling with bird on a Monday. I love giggling with the birdie babies on a Monday. Bub's going up on a Monday. We haven't even really done that much decorating. I did get a lot of terraforming done though, so I'm proud of that. Going up on a monday um excuse cozy me? metal excuse me? excuse me mommy sorry sorry mommy sorry oh lives thank you for the mommy sorry teehee mommy sorry mommy sorry cozy metal moon thanks for lurking too i appreciate it i really really appreciate you anybody who's lurking and hanging out with me today i appreciate y'all as well I hope you're enjoying your lurks and whatever you've got to get done today. What did we say about saying sorry exactly? Okay, I think this one's just too... Why can't I put that there? I feel like Animal Crossing should let me put that there. But I don't think it's going to let me put that there. Mommy? Sorry. Mommy? Sorry. Excuse me. Okay. What do I do now? Never back down, never what? Never give up. Never give up. <laughs> he doesn't even say it enthusiastically. Never give up. <laughs> Pretty sure I finished doing all the stuff for Discord with the rules roll introduction. Now we're turning back to my lurk. Enjoy your lurk. Happy to have you. Spicy software lets you put things there. Oh, you know what? I wonder if it does, but I am going to set a DA. Oh my God, the music is loud. Did I forget to turn it down? Sorry if it's been loud. I don't think it has because my mic volume is pretty loud. Um, but I think it does. Since I'm going to set a DA, I don't want, I don't want to do any of like those types of spicy features because I don't want to get caught. <laughs> I don't want to get caught, you know? Rick's in red. Welcome back. Welcome back. Okay, I found it and it's frog phone, not hamburger phone. Listen, same, same, but different. Tag yourself. I'm never give up. I'm mommy. <laughs> Tagging myself as mommy. Okay, let's let's do some pathing, maybe. I don't know. My brain can't my brain can't brain today. She can't do it today. We could do just some little stepping stones. Oh, hell yeah. I can't wait to look. Which one am I going to like here? <laughs> Tagging herself as mommy and she wants to move into the just chatting category. <laughs> 
No, I didn't. I didn't. Wait, does my hair really look that slay today? There's nothing going on. It's not even curly. It's limp. My hair is limp today. HHP is more fun than I thought. Hell yeah. I love HHP. It's really fun to like dive into. Wish you could place pathing in the plaza, right? The pathing, the like this regular pathing in the plaza, plaza? Plaza is just low key ugly. It's just uggy. Hair is mommy. Thank you. <laughs> Hair is mommy. Mother is mothering. <laughs> Mother is mothering. Like the codes, yes. Like the, like, like if I could put these in there or something, wouldn't that be cute? I know. Why didn't they give us pathing to match the plaza? It's actually insane. <laughs> Tag yourself, I'm bird's hair is slaying without even trying. You all are just trying to hype me up today. I'm ignoring you. Nope. I saw it. I saw somebody chat. I'm ignoring. I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah, my little top knot. I It's literally just, I put a little teeny scrunchie in my hair to have it like half up, half down. And then I took my clip and I, I flipped my hair up. And then I just made a little, a little pop-up bun and I clipped it in with this yellow clip. Did that make sense? Yeah, I did a good job describing it. <laughs> uh, if you could choose different style plaza yeah oh my god that would be so sick could you imagine do you all think there's going to be a new game this year i do <laughs> i might be delusional but i think there's going to be a new game this year i wish i had more than two strands of hair busty i get it i get it super slay it's like the song, what's that? It's a K-pop song. I don't listen to K-pop, but I know it's a K-pop song. Super shy, super shy. I, I don't know how it goes. <laughs> I wish I knew. Super shy, but super slay. Super slay, super slay. That's pretty cute, but I feel like we need, I feel like we need this uh, dirt pathing maybe. Um, I hope so. If not next year, they better be taking notes on improvements. I wish they would, but Bessie, I feel like they don't. Do you all think that the Animal Crossing developers actually listen to us? I'm going to be real. I don't think they do. I don't think they care. They don't care about us. Did I get the other dirt path? I can't remember if I did. Let's go look. Let's go look. My energy is going to be depleted depleted no <laughs> definitely do not care that's what i'm saying they definitely don't excuse me excuse me excuse me excuse me definitely do not care i feel like they should care they would get so many more people playing if they would listen to us i mean they have a ton of people playing don't get me wrong i understand that but if they made these improvements, the game would be even more long lasting than it already has been. And I feel like the only reason it's as long lasting as it has been is because of us. Period. What about this? This one in the center? Uh, they make games like Tears of the Kingdom, but my items in Animal Crossing can't be placed diagonally. Bestie, if they give me a diagonal option, I will be... I'll be happy. You don't have to give me anything else. Diagonal option, I'm fine with that. That's all I need. That's literally all I need. Okay, I'm thinking one here. Great. Um, let's just fix staying online play. Oh yeah, like, wait, what do you mean? Like constant online play? It went over my head. And nesting things together, yes. Oh my god, I hate when my items sit so far apart. I hate it. I hate it. Does that look cute? No, that looks a little bit weird. Maybe we maybe we put like just regular ones over here. Uh where'd they go? Where did they go? We really are not asking for much. And I need a search bar. Okay. I need to be able to search my inventory. That's my only other ask. 
let me search my inventory, please. Like, I want to be able to type in and search. Also, this does look like a little bit weird over here. Let me see if I can fix it. This is not the Gilmore Girls Island here. Let me give you my themes. This is my other island. I have, um, I have two islands. Oh, cap, all caps, all caps. <laughs> um, when it gives you the option to stay local player online. Oh, I see, I see. So I have the Gilmore Girls Island, which is my forever island. And then we have, this is a new island. I've restarted the switch twice already. <laughs> but I wanted to do like a minimalist challenge. So this one I can only have a thousand items on. One thousand items. I'm excited about it. Oh, see, that already looks better. I could even open it up over here a little bit if I wanted to, probably. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. Might look okay, though. Gilmore Girls. Yeah, I could show you all. Do you want to see my Gilmore Girls one? We worked on it a lot in the winter, but we haven't been working on it. We've been working on this one. I could show you. Do you want to see? Maybe this needs to go up a little farther. Hmm. Actually, that does look pretty good. What about if I did this? No. Eh, no. Eh, no. <laughs> Absolutely not. Just finished my fourth rewatch today. No way! Hell yeah. I watch it just like as background sometimes. Here, let me see. I love the dirt and stones path. Thank you. I love it too. I'm so glad I found it. So glad. I'm going to do a little poll. I may not do it right this second, but we'll do it by the end of stream if I don't forget. The other island. Oh my goodness. I spelled that all wrong. See other island. Uh, Emily, thanks for the follow. Welcome in. Welcome, welcome. Yes, please. Not today i would have to go in the other room to get it i think i don't know where my other oh my other switch is right here you got three minutes tell me whether or not you want to see the other island i'll show you i'll show you if you want to hell yeah getting all your tasks done need to see it asap i'll show you it's so it's really just town themed it's not like i'm not making luke's diner or patty's like dance studio or anything like that but it is getting decorated seasonally which is what Stars Hollow does. They decorate really cool, really nicely for the seasons. Um, yeah, so that's the vibes. Also, I'm looking at something really quick. Sorry, such a cute idea. Thank you. Everybody asks, asks if I'm gonna do builds like based on Gilmore Girls, but I don't think I will. Just more of the seasonal vibes. You know what I mean? The seasonal vibes. Hell yeah, get every, everybody get your tasks done. Oh, overwhelmingly yes so far. Overwhelmingly yes so far. Should we just, I cannot, I don't think I can decorate anymore. <laughs> I haven't really been decorating, but I don't think I can do it anymore. <sighs> Lainey, hi Lainey, how's your day going? I hope it's really good, what are you up to? Is it dead is the question. Uh-oh. Oh, hell yeah. I thought it was dead. 99% slay. We love to see it. What is playing Animal Crossing? Animal Crossing? I don't know her. I only know talk to friends, run around on island. Okay, I have to close this one out. Uh, day is good so far. Not a lot going on. Just chilling. Hell yeah. We love that for a Monday vibe. I'm doing good today. Not too bad at all. Not too bad at all. I'm honestly, I feel like we've had a really fun day and stream today, which always makes me or always puts me in a good mood. So happy about that. Ooh, 60% slay. Not too bad. I'm switching out my uh, my switches so I can show you my other island. Oh, Shane, hi Shane. Okay, this switch is hot. Oof, I'm worried that this switch is gonna start bubbling. You know what I'm saying? Where it, where it starts like getting thick. <laughs> okay, put that down there. 
All right, I'll show you my other island. It's still decorated for Christmas though. I need to fix it. Not the 8%, no way. Oh, thank you. Hell yeah. Thanks for work lurking, I appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. I cannot get this on. Here, here we go. Here we go. No, uh, not the 16% sleigh. Favorite Switch controller color is probably my Animal Crossing controllers. I really like the pastel ones that they came out with, but I think these are my faves. Hee <laughs> hee. Only 14, should I check mine? I don't know if I checked mine earlier. Oh my fucking God. Anyways, anyways, um, that's pretty rude. I'll say it. That was pretty rude of Birdabot. Should we start? We could move over to this island and we could start. Um, I wanted to like turn the island into a Valentine's theme. We could start doing like a little bit of a Valentine's theme today. I'm feeling up to it. Oh, it's too bright in game. Hang on. Hang on, that's like having the big light on. It's a no-no. Let me go to a different time of day. Different time of day. Wasn't that rude? So we're moving over to my other island. Wait, what day is it? Okay, I'm gonna go back in time. And we're gonna go to 5 a.m. again. <laughs> your haters are your biggest fans, hell yeah. Christmas takedown shall we we'll take a look we'll take a look guys i'm tired today but i, I don't want to stop streaming here let me uh i need a little powder though i need a little powder what's everybody having for dinner weasel and i had red pasta like tomato pasta last night i don't know what i'm gonna have tonight I don't have, I really need to go to the grocery store. Slay! Hell yeah, Slay. Your shirt, my friend made this for me. Look. My, one of my besties IRL made this for me for my birthday. It's, um, she drew it in pencil and then went over it with, wait, no, she drew it with Sharpie immediately. I don't know. It's drawn with Sharpie. Um, and it says, can you see what it says? Girl, I am so fucking high right now. <laughs> yeah. This is the one my friend made. I love it. She knows me so well. I'm just, I, I'm not, I'm not, to be clear. I'm not. <laughs> to be clear, I'm not right now, but maybe later. <laughs> no, I'm on a break. I'm on a break. I swears. We swears. Okay, this is it. This is the Gilmore Girls Island. Um, it's my forever island. It's not complete, like not at all. But... It'll get there eventually. Sure is a mood, thank you. How can I be struggling and slaying at the same time? That's just life, babes. That's just life. Crispy egg rolls, bad since last night, yum. But we made a pact to only eat out once every other week. Ugh, oh, bestie, I feel you. You ate out on one one, RIP in pieces. You know what I'm saying? RIP in pieces. All right, let's go down here. I'll show you around. It's not anywhere near done, but it is, it's still looking cute even though it's not anywhere near done. We'll just take a slow walk around and maybe start thinking about changing out um, some of the holiday decorations. Oh. oh, excuse me, I didn't mean to do that. And this switch is not spicy, so I have to go to treasure islands and all that good stuff. Let me pick these up. We could always go back to the other island and hunt since I don't know if I can decorate. So this is my little entrance. Isn't it cute? Definitely not filled out. I think we'll go. Hmm. What way do I want to take you first? What way? We'll go this way. 
So if you walk this, oh, this is not supposed to be here either. So if you walk this way, this is like the town vibes, obviously. If you walk this way, there's like a little picnic beach down here. I don't have the picnic set up, but I got the, uh, the background set up for it. And then we've got a little market over here. This is my art market. And then there's a little pastry cafe, dessert cafe over here. And then this is like a book resale kind of thing in the market area next to the library. Drago, hey, what's going on? How's your day? <laughs> yeah, what Straub said. And then, so this like just connects over here. We have this like, it's supposed to just look cute for the season, kind of in front of the plaza. We need to figure out what to do for um, Valentine's Day, if we even do anything. How do you do this? Bestie, I don't even know. I don't even know. And then if you go this way, I've got my little, my little shop is right here. I haven't fixed up this little beach area yet, but I started working on this beach entrance right there. And uh, if you go this way, it'll take you into this little like, I don't know what kind of area. This little cafe community type area. And here's my little food truck right here. And it's right next to the to the shop. But if you go back in here, it, it leads you up to my museum, which I love the way my museum looks. I think it's really cute. Doing good. Your island's pretty. Thank you. This one's my forever island. So uh, I really want it to look nice. And then if you go this way, it's a little plant shop for funsies. And then if you go up this way, there's another little like food shop. It's supposed to be like a like a bread, mostly a bread kind of place. If you go this way, it takes you up into this is supposed to be like a little community garden behind the plaza. Just a space filler. Up here is going to be our um, neighborhood type area. I'll change out the villager houses, of course. And then we've got two of our villagers over here. I need to add some pathing, but I thought their little pond between their house would be cute. And then if you go down this way, I'll show you the other side. If you go through the plaza. I think this side's really cute. This little like filler space right here. Totally adorable. And then you go up this way and it takes you to Able Sisters, which I still need to decorate. It's pretty much all I've got done. It seems like not a lot, but islands take forever to complete. You know what I mean? They just, they take forever to complete. I don't know if I have the mental energy to actually like fix up this area though. I don't know if I have the mental energy to actually fix it up, but that was it. That's the Gilmore Girls Island. Not very much progress, but we'll get there eventually. Just came back from washing the dishes. Island's super cute. Thank you. I love my island. So far, anyway. So far. Um, Let's see here. Excuse me. I've got so much mucus. I can't help it. I mean, we could do... Listen, I could probably stream more if I switch games, but I don't think that I can... I don't think that I can do more Animal Crossing. I don't think I can do it anymore. <laughs> if I switch games, I could probably play games for a little bit longer though. Let me see. Let me do something. Twinning with the backpacks. I love the backpack, the, the butterfly backpack. I just want to put feelers out. You can vote honestly. Vote honestly. I have a poll up for three minutes. Can we switch to Stardew? Would that be okay? Would it be okay if we switch to Stardew for a little bit? So that I can still hang out with you all today? Does anybody not play Stardew and want to get introduced to Stardew also? Because I could introduce you to some... I could introduce you to some Stardew. You can vote honestly. You will not hurt my feelings at all. You will not hurt my feelings at all. Everybody have some water while we're at it. <gasps> you got the 100 walnuts. Delphi, you're slaying. I remember when you first started Stardew. How many months ago was that? That was like months ago. I think when I start next month, I might be heavy on boulders. Yes. 
something similar an animal crossing hell yeah it's nice to switch it up sometimes i switch it up like in the middle of a stream when i'm not vibing with animal crossing anymore because you get to a point where you just like i can't do it anymore always down for stardew hell yeah it was five weeks ago really I thought it was more than that, to be honest. Also, if you're here just hanging out, vibing and thriving. Oh, that, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to click that one. Wait, I can't even delete that message. Ads are not happening right now. Um, if you've been enjoying the stream and you want to hang out with me more, there's the Discord. We are here. Let me go into just chatting while we... Um, I think I'm going to switch over to some Stardew because my brain can't do Animal Crossing anymore. <laughs> I just... I can't do it today, but I, I don't need to get offline just yet. So... I think it would be fun to play a little Stardew. I want to mention, I don't have like a graphic for it or anything, but if you're in the Discord, tomorrow is our first ever Toon Tuesday. So Toon Tuesday is supposed to be like, um, you know, when you watch cartoons when you were a kid before school, it's supposed to kind of be like that. So we're doing um, cartoon watch parties, but I'm trying to share my animated, my favorite animated shows with you all. So um, we're starting with Bee and Puppy Cat tomorrow. In the first 10 episodes, like the season one is 10 episodes, it's only an hour and six minutes for um, being puppy cat. So I think we're going to watch all 10 episodes. We'll do just like an hour watch party um, and we're going to do this every Tuesday. And then I think we'll do season two next week of being puppy cat. And then I'm thinking maybe Hilda, maybe Hilda after that. Oh my God. I love being puppy cat. 07's in chat if you've seen Bee and Puppy Cat. I love, love, love Bee and Puppy Cat. It's so cute. I think I've watched it once or twice through. Mm. I'm glad that at least some of you all have seen it or know of it. It's a very good show. It's so, yeah, it's very comforting. Um, and then we're gonna watch like, so we're gonna watch Hilda, we're gonna watch um, Over the Garden Wall, even though it's not the right season for it, but I think we're gonna do it anyway. A uh, little Over the Garden Wall, what else? What are some of my other favorite animated shows? I can't, my brain can't brain right now, but yeah, some stuff like that. It'll be really fun. Oh, you have a little figurine of them? I need, I want a puppy cat plushie. That's on the list. All right, besties. Should I do star doing my best again? No, I should switch it up. Finishing summer year one. Finishing summer year one. Woo! I don't know if we'll finish it today, but I hope we do. Let's go ahead and switch over. Bonnie Bear, thanks for lurking. It kind of sounded like I said Bonnie Bear, like the musical artist. <laughs> Wait, it didn't change my game category. Stardew, please. I want to go to Stardew. There we go. <laughs> I'm a little slut for cartoons. Me too. <laughs> Me freaking too. Animated shows, like I, I'm, I'm fully invested in animated shows. Like, it's my life. It's my life's work. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> but I do really love animated shows, and that's why I want to share some of my favorites with you all. Okay, I think we're gonna switch over to Stardew now. If you need to grab a little snack, stretch your legs or anything like that, do it now. <laughs> uh, we are going to get ads in about 20 minutes, but I don't think I'm going to take the take a break for the rest of stream. I think I'm going to power through. I don't know how long I'm streaming for, so we'll see how I'm feeling. Uh, but I am going to take the task list down now so that we can see all of Stardew in all of its glory. OK, task list. Say bye 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 task list <laughs> thank you all for thank you all for using the task list i want to do that every monday we usually do it on mondays so uh i'd like to keep that going for us in the future let me get stardew going sorry it takes me a minute because my pc has to load my mods pc's gotta load the mods you know and here is oh my god Oh my god, is that a little JJK emo? I love JJK. Megami, Fushiguro, Megami is my favorite. <laughs> Here are my mods. Oh no, I'm gonna run and get, oh no. I don't know, is that a medicine? Bex, are you all right? No worries at all. 
Take care of yourself, okay? All right. Please open. Stardew, please. So I basically just have quality of life mods. Nothing insane. Oh, special winter one. Ooh. Um, and I also, I do have a visual mod, just one for the barn animals, because I don't think they're very cute. Oh, a berry drink. Oh, okay. Yummy. A yummy little berry drink. Let me also put the spicy software away. It's loading, I promise. It just takes a minute to load. How is everybody doing? What are you having for dinner? Did I already ask that? Y'all know I like to talk about food. Hello? I think I'm going to do, I have this recipe for... Um, I have this recipe. I don't know why I said I think. I have this recipe for harissa chickpeas and feta in a recipe book that I got from my brother-in-law. And I think I'm going to have that for dinner. It's just chickpeas, feta, papers, double concentrate tomato paste, and that's about it. Olive oil, duh. Ooh, chicken and potatoes, yum. I love chicken and potatoes. Like any form of chicken and potatoes, let's be clear. All right, let's move over to Stardew. Yay, thanks for hanging out with me and playing Stardew. I know not everybody plays Stardew who also plays Animal Crossing, but if you have any questions or if you're curious about it, let me know, because I'm happy to answer questions. Okay, let me put my coffee over here. Thank you for the hydrate. Everybody hydrate with me. Ooh, chicken and rice gave us the extras. Yum, that sounds good. Got sucked into playing Heyday with my brother. Oh, wait, I don't know what that word means. Is it good or bad? Good or bad? I'll be transparent. I don't know what the word means. I just don't know. <laughs> okay, here we go. We're finishing summer year one. I'm going to pause our music while we play. We could just do game sounds. We'll do a little bit of game sounds. All right, summer year one. Woo! We've only got six days left. I think we could definitely finish it today. We could start working on fall mobile app farming game called Heyday. Oh, oh my God. Don't tell Weasel about that. Weasel likes... Weasel loves phone games <laughs> and will like not put them down if he gets into one that he likes. All right, it's Stardew time. I don't know how many days I'm gonna do, I have no idea. We're just here for a good time, not for a long time. Okay, you're gonna make my life, gonna make my life difficult, I see. Let me put this away, get this out. Okay, so what am I working on today? Level up Marnie, craft tappers. I need to go to the travel cart. We need fiber, new fishing hole. Okay, perfect. Perfect. Your farm is cute. Do you think it is? I feel like I haven't worked on it like at all. Um, this is the forest farm. I love the forest farm because you get forageables. It's the best part about it. Oh, didn't mean to do that. Didn't mean to do that. So, who in chat plays Stardew? I always ask. Who do you romance? It's very important to me. Wait, Straub, if you're here, I don't know who you romance, but I need to. I can't remember. I'm also trying to finish Community Center year one, which is gonna be, uh, that's gonna be hard. That's gonna be real hard. Playing right now, hell yeah. Hell yes. Sometimes I wanna play offline. I have a long play that I'm working on, but I don't always wanna sit at my computer. So I have another save on my Switch as well. I have so many Switches. I would home wreck Robin's marriage if I could steal her, hell yeah. <laughs> I romance Leah as well. It's either Leah or Sebastian. You made me start playing again? Yes. You just started a new save yesterday, right? Parallel playing Animal Crossing. Enjoy your Animal Crossing. Are you still doing some happy home paradise? I'm marrying Leah too. She's at nine hearts. You're wild. I wanted Robin too. 
Oh, Robin is a queen, let's be honest. Hell yeah, new save yesterday. Yeah, Delph has been putting in work. Putting in the work, okay. I'm gonna keep some of the hot peppers for pepper poppers. That's hard to say. That's hard to say. Sebastian fan club, hell yeah. I am a part of the Sebastian fan club. You heard it here first. Okay, let's go this way. I still need a ton of wood too. Oh, and I'm upgrading my barn. Slay, I forgot we did that yesterday. That took like the whole day. Demetria still needs the melon too. My duck, my duck is here. I need to take a note still of all of our animals names so that I don't duplicate their names. Okay, let's put this away. Ooh, doing some dailies, hell yeah. I'm glad you're enjoying Happy Home Paradise. I really enjoy it too. Sometimes I do Happy Home Paradise challenges where I challenge people to make like builds. I don't think I'm gonna do one again anytime soon, but in the future. Sure. Need a pet, need to milk this one. Tell my husband about uh, Uber code word. It made him laugh, hell yeah. Banana pineapple. You know what, if you said pineapple banana, I would understand what you meant. Named all my animals after food dishes. Hell, <laughs> that you could that you could make with them. <laughs> I was about to say hell yeah, but you know what? We'll leave it at that. <laughs> I oh wait, there was oh wait. I thought I got all the milk. I missed one. Hang on. A tragedy. Oops. A tragedy. I've been doing so. We have pot like types of pastas. Um for the barn animals, and we have cheeses for the coop animals. I love that there is such a, an amazing source of hardwood on this farm too. Same thing, oh my God. I feel like the animals being named after foods is just, it's just a must. It's just a must. I feel like I know so many people who do that. We have to go down and get a fishing rod today, okay? We have to. We have to. I cannot forget. Not allowed to forget. Sister suggested it, now it's a tradition. As you should. I feel like I always do food names, not necessarily like what I could make with them, but like a food name of some kind. Okay, once Robin's done, we'll be able to purchase a pig as well which is 16 gold, I think. So uh, I gotta save up my money after I get a new fishing rod for that. We're gonna go get a new fishing rod right now though, because I still have the training rod. Still. Everyone's thoughts on Coco, the rabbit with no eyes and mouth, just black dots. I think Coco is an interesting character. Um, I know a lot of people love Coco. I will say Coco has pee pee hands. Wait, <laughs> yeah, peen hands. I call them pee pee hands. <laughs> I, can't, I just can't not see the pee pee hands. You know, birthday twin. Listen, that's a sleigh birthday twin. I like her though. I like villagers that have some kind of lore. They're like, like who else? Who else has good lore? Like Audie has good lore. Y'all can, y'all can think of them on your own. I can't think right now. My brain can't brain. Let's do the fiberglass rod. Hell yeah. And I'll do some, you know what, I'm gonna buy a crab pot so I don't have to make one. And then I'll make I'll make more bait later, but just since I'm gonna fish right now, then we'll put the crab pot out because we've almost finished the crab pot bundle, which is awesome. I want Audie to move to my island. Oh, you like Audie? Audie's pretty cute. 
She does have peen hands, right? I can't get over it. Like, I can't unsee that, you know? Oh, this rod is so much better already. Oops. Stay there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Tilapia. I don't need that. But what do I need? I actually don't know what fish I need. I still haven't figured that out. <gasps> Maybe I shouldn't play Stardew for too long today because I never figured out what fish I need for the summer. I'm going to have to do some research if we're going to keep playing Stardew all day. Well, I mean, I just don't know how many days I can without knowing what fish I need for the fishing bundles. Does anybody know what fish for the fishing bundles are summer only? Are there any that are summer only? I'm worried now. I kind of forgot. I think I have a list on my phone somewhere. I'll look in my phone. Rude. Don't give me trash. Don't you dare give me trash ever again. E e uh Hell yeah. Teen hands. Flounder. Do I need the flounder? Flounder. Barely know her. Hardly know her. Whatever. All the same. Oh my god, please. Please. Mother catch. Hell yeah. New achievement unlocked. Mother catch. ET done. Hell yeah. Stoked for you. I hope it went well. Do you have any goals you want to share with the class? No pressure. I would love to hear some goals though. Oh, still lurky? Oh, no worries at all. Yeah, definitely don't text and drive. Never mind. Never mind. Forget everything I said. <laughs> okay, wait. Do I need that red mullet? I need a red mullet in my life. Okay, wait. I need a little red one, but I don't know what it's called. Whoa! Don't do that. Don't do that again. Don't, 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 don't. Oh my god. Oh my god, hello. This is crazy. Oh my god. Please, 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 please. Chill, 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 chill. I don't have a bobber. I can't do it. Ah! Setting goals for upper body and lower body exercise. Amazing. I hope it went well. I hope it went really well. Okay, let me see if I can find this list. Yeah, that sucked. Oh, Star, you're not allowed to watch me. Star is a Stardew professional, okay? You're not allowed to watch. <laughs> Let me see if I can find my list really quick of what, um, what fish I need because I do not want to fuck up and not be able to do the community center year one. If anything, I'm not going to get the red cabbage, but that's like, that's the one thing that, you know what? If I don't get the red cabbage, that's okay. Stardew Valley worksheet, here it is. Here it is. I found it. Hell yeah. Love that for you, Liz. And also love the way that you phrased it. If I happen to lose a little in the process, that's a great way to think about it. Fuck, I don't have, I don't have what season they are though. Summer catfish. Oh my God, I need to get in the secret woods. Shad in the morning. Um, Phoenix, thanks for lurking. <laughs> thanks, Liz. Puffer, red snapper, sturgeon, tilapia, tuna. Okay, let's see. Let's look at my my thing in here. What do I need from that list? I need a I need a notepad. I need a notepad stat. No, it's okay. Lie to me, I love it. <laughs> Literally had everything but the cabbage. Ugh, it's the worst. It's the worst. The cabbage truly is the worst. Okay, I think... When is the shad summer? Shad? And when's the catfish? Catfish is summer too. Catfish. 6 a.m. to midnight. Secret woods rain. 
Largemouth bass. Oh, we can go get the largemouth bass. I've got a little bit of time. Maybe I'm not. Okay. Wait, what did you say? Puffer? I have the puffer. Okay, wait, we need to look. Catfish is in the summer, yeah. What about the shad and the tiger trout? Is that the summer? Walleye, bream, eel. I'm gonna look it up. Summer fish for stardew community center bundles. Oh God. Guide to completing the community center. I wish there was just more of, more of like a, oh wait, Stardew Valley forums might have a good list. Maybe an unpopular opinion, but I feel like Stardew looks stressful to play. I'm already bad at task management in real life. I will say it, it, it can be very overwhelming when you first get into it. Like very overwhelming when you first get into it. Um, any season, spring, summer, here. Sunfish, catfish, shad, sturgeon. Okay, but I can get the sturgeon in the winter as well. Tuna, red snapper, tilapia. Let me look at the beach one. Where's the beach one? Ocean fish bundle. Red snapper. When's the sar sardine? Must be in the fall then. I've already got the other two, so I need the red snapper. Specialty fish is the puffer. I think I already have the puffer. Specialty fish. Puffer. I don't know where I get the wood skip. I can't remember. I already have the tilapia and the tuna. Sturgeon I can get in the winter, which is... I'm going to wait for that. Sunfish, catfish, sa shad. Do I have the sunfish? Sorry, I'm, I'm itching. I'm itching so bad. Sunfish. Wait, where was that? River. River. Okay, so we already have the sunfish. Okay, perfect. We really don't need that many. That's good. That's not bad at all. The wiki has the perfect list. Oh my god. Uh, yeah, it won't let you link. If you want to post it in the Discord, that will be fine too. When you stream, how many devices do you have to use? Obviously the Switch. Um, yeah, I have like, I have a PC tower. Um, and like, for me personally, I have two monitors. I also have my iPad on the side just for like my Discord. Um, that's what I, I keep that open with like a specific chat, but I can, I can use my PC for Discord. It's just Discord and like Google, they, they take up a lot of space on the PC. Okay, let, oh, I was pressing the wrong button. Okay, we need the red snapper stat. Wood skip is secret woods. Do you know what season it is? I don't know what season it is. But I have a bunch of stuff. Like I have, um, obviously I have my, uh, my camera and stuff too, but I also have, I also have like stream decks and I, I have multiple stream decks right now. Last bait already. See, I need to make more bait. Uh, oh, I didn't bring any food. Well, I could eat this. Do I need it? I think I need it. Let's see if I can get a red snapper. Oh, it's any season. Okay, perfect. That'll be easy then. The ones that I need in the summer, shad, catfish, largemouth bass, I think. I think you can get that other seasons too, though. And the red snapper. Okay, why is this so hard for me right now? For no reason. Also, if you're a follower, you're getting ads. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. Willie. What are you doing here, Willie? What's the one that I get? 6 a.m. to midnight. Shad is 9 a.m. to 2 a.m. That won't be bad. That'll be easy. Okay, I'm just gonna go back to my house. I'm going back to my house. Because I have too much stuff in my pockets right now. Maybe we'll see if we can forage on the way a little bit. Speaking of Leah, we were just talking about you, bestie. Excuse me. Burping always.
How long do the gold tools last in Animal Crossing? Oh shit. Who in the chat knows? I know we've got Animal Crossing professionals here. I should be a professional, but I know nothing. I know nothing. <laughs> I'll be honest. I don't need the flounder. Red mullet. No, we needed the red snapper, right? I think I'll get rid of all of these things for now, except for this stuff over here, maybe? We'll do this and this and this. And I'll put this back in here. Okay, I need wood. I need to go, f I could, I mean, I'm gonna run out of time to go fishing, to be honest. Maybe we just go run around and get as much wood as we can. And I should have taken my axe. Hang on, let's do, I need to upgrade axe after today. Tomorrow we have to upgrade the axe. Don't let me forget, okay? Chat, I'm serious. Baby birdies, I'm serious. Don't let me forget, okay? I'm gonna forget. Tomorrow, I need my axe upgraded tomorrow because I have to get the catfish. Actually, did I already don't? No, I didn't donate it. I have to get the catfish from the secret woods in the summer. There may be another season for it, but I wanna do it in the summer if I can. Did anybody know how long the golden tools last for? I actually don't. Bye, Libs. Have a good sleep. Love you, mean it. Take care. <laughs> Thank, <laughs> Thank you for the company and chaos today. Absolutely. Anytime. Hopefully we can continue the chaos soon. Uh, Texan Sam, thanks for lurking. Enjoy your lurk. 200? Okay, perfect. So 200 hits. Hell yeah. Willow Tree, love having you here. So glad you found me. You've got lots of good knowledge. I always ask a lot of questions. <laughs> I ask a lot of questions. Any tips for finding dinosaur eggs? Mines. I would say mines, probably. Riley. Hi, Riley. How's your day going? Look at you in that VIP. I, I think mines is the best way to get dinosaur eggs. I fished one out of like a treasure chest one time. That doesn't normally happen though. Gonna go to sleep too, no worries at all. Get some good rest. Somebody sedate me. <laughs> Isn't that a song? Have a good sleep. Take care of yourself, okay? <gasps> Darth! Ayo, the four months! The four months! Thank you so, so much for those four months. Thank you for being here for four months. I can't believe it! How the heck are you? Are you having a good day today? I hope it's a good start to your week. Thank you for the four freaking months. Let's fucking go. Feeling quite hungover. <laughs> yeah, new badge. Woohoo! Woohoo! I, my brain is empty today, y'all. It's empty. <laughs> Especially after our chaos from earlier. Speaking of hungover, have you all seen that TikTok? It's a TikTok that's like, if you don't really like drinking and you have red wine, pair it with a Dr. Pepper. So they put like a Dr. Pepper in their red wine. Guys, I tried it last night and it was really good. Hi, Kelly. How's your Monday going? Lovely Monday. Also playing Stardew. Hell yes. Enjoy Stardew. If you don't mind me asking, where are you and who are you romancing? Where are you in game? Who are you romancing? I know, guys, I know what you're saying. I, I thought it was going to be disgusting, but I had this really dry wet, red wine and I had been crying. <laughs> I had been crying. So I was like, I'm going to try this thing that I saw online that was put a Dr. Pepper in your red wine. And it was actually so good. Super nasty day here, but loving the gloomy vibes. Oh my God. I'm sorry. It's a nasty day, but I also kind of thrive with the, the gloomy, the gloomy vibes. Red wine and Coke. Maybe I saw red wine and Coke and I thought it was Dr. Pepper. I put a Dr. Pepper in mine and it was really good. You started yesterday, summer nine, you've been grinding. 
I haven't romanced a single soul. You know what? I haven't either. I'm gonna romance Sebastian though. Red wine with Coke. Dr. Pepper sounds better. Yeah, maybe it was Coke. I did Dr. Pepper. It was really good. I'm not a huge drinker, so I like to mix things. I called it a, um, what did I call it? A doc, <laughs> wait, that sounds wrong. I was calling, a doc uh, calling it a Dr. Pepper Sangria, but Weasel came up with a good name for it. Now I can't remember it. Dr. Pepper Sangria, that's what we'll call it. Okay, I need to chop some more trees, but I don't know, oh, here's one. Used to drink doc uh, Dr. Pepper <laughs> and Everclear in college. Holy shit. <laughs> Called it Dr. Feelgood. Oh my god, I love that name. I absolutely love that name. Red wine and Coke is a Spanish drink. No way. Okay. I learn new things every fucking day of my life. You all teach me new stuff every single day. And I love that. I love that. Oh. Trying to fish in the coop. What's it? Okay, how? Kilimoto. Oh, Kilimoto. 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 Am I saying that right? <sighs> the pronunciation gods be with me. Ever clear, I know, right? Put a shot of amaretto in a Corona. It tastes like Dr. Pepper. Really? I love. I love a good amaretto sour. I don't know if I'm saying that right. You can feel feel free to correct me. <laughs> Ooh, I'm gonna have to try that. I actually like Corona, so I think that'll be yummy. Brings back memories. What were we thinking sometimes? I used to, um, I used to drink Jaeger and Cherry Pepsi. Yeah, Jaeger and Cherry Pepsi when I was like younger. <laughs> Not anymore. My dad still drinks a lot of Jaeger though. Hilarious. Who likes Jaeger? All right, let me pet the kitty and then go to bed. Bedtime, bedtime for banjos. Okay. So I wanna do some fishing, but I need to upgrade my ax. Don't let me forget, I have to go upgrade my ax. I have to, have to. Hypnotic? Wait, there's a song that says something about being hypnotic. What song is it? So hypnotic, funky, fresh, work my body, so something. Oh no, Jaeger and bartending. A friend's band was sponsored by Jaeger. No way. Uh, that's honestly insane. Um, Solas, thanks for lurking. Enjoy your lurk. I hope you have a good day. Let's get these. I need the keg recipe so fucking bad. Are you all big? I know we talk, we talk about food and like drinks a lot, but we always have like newer people in the community, so I'm always curious if you're, if you like drinking or not. I'm not a huge drinker, but occasionally I find things that, oh, I threw, I, I didn't mean to do that. Oh well, I just got rid of half of my blueberries. No problem. We need to water. I, I'm not a huge drinker, but on occasion, I'll have a little something. A little wine, a little something. So melodic. This beat rolls right through my chest. Da -na 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 -na. Everybody get on the floor. This beat is we about to... I don't know. <laughs> Rarely drink, only happened once, really. They decided to throw a party for something they were doing with Jaeger, so I made a red velvet cake with, uh, that was a Jaeger bottle? You're insane, I bet it looks so cool. Finished the task, I'm actually done with work for the day, so I'm heading home. Uh, if you're still live when I get back, I'll be back, hell yeah. I don't know how long I'll be live, I might be. I very well might be, get home safe, okay? I don't really drink alcohol. I'm currently drinking Monster Rosa. Wait, what's that? I don't know what that is. I've never had a Monster before. Is that what it is, like the Monster brand? Uh, I do enjoy a bevy or many. I'm a cocktail girly though. Like if we're, if we're going out, I'll have some cocktails. Don't worry. Don't worry. I actually really love soju though. I, 
Went to a bar recently with some friends. I actually posted a picture in Discord. Um, and at that bar, I purchased a uh, a bottle of soju for me and my friend, and we finished it in like 10 minutes. It's dangerous. Soju is dangerous. I really like bourbon and gin, really, but I've honestly been drinking a lot less than I used to. Yeah, I used to drink like a decent amount when I was younger because I was a lot more social. As I've gotten older, I drink less, and I just decided that I don't like it that much. But socially, I still do it, of course. Can't help it. Socially, yeah, more of a green girly, same here. And also, Weasel is like a bourbon whiskey kind of guy, so... We do, and beer also, so we always, we do have like drinks in the house a lot. Um, zero sugar flavor? Oh, really? I, I don't think I've ever had a monster. Well, if I have, it was when I was like a lot younger. I love a good old fashioned with extra cherries. Ooh, I'm that kind of bee. <laughs> Green girly here. <laughs> Hi, Joe, what's going on? How's your day? I hope you're having a good Monday. How are you looking amazing always? Why is everybody giving me compliments today? What changed? What changed today? Why do, what do, what looks different about me? Is it having my hair up? Do you all like when I have my hair up or something? Slay! I drink a lot of Monster, do you? Listen, everybody has their vice, right? Straub, thank you for the slay. Watch a YouTube video for a few minutes of some high school kids in the UK. Uh, trying Popeyes. Oh, wait, do you have Popeyes in the UK? You don't, do you? It's fine, I can drink enough for all of you. Hell yeah, Riley. I'm sorry you're feeling hungover today. That's the worst. Truly is the worst. Um, like a nice sangria though, same. Fresh fruit floating in it, yes, I high key agree. Thought I was the first, <laughs> no. Well, not today, like everybody's been complimenting me today. <laughs> you should get compliments. You're very lovely. Stop. That's so nice. That's so nice. Don't drink a huge amount, but I can't uh, beat a GNT on a summer day. Hell yeah. I'm a margarita girly too. I love margaritas. I can't help it. I love a little tequila drink. I'm a fan. Video of the teens trying biscuits and gravy is hilarious. Is it? I'll have to look this up. Is it? A, wait, is it a, like a YouTube? Is it a TikTok? I deleted TikTok. Even though I don't drink much, going on distillery and brewery tours is a great weekend activity. Hell yes. I actually love going on like brewery tours. It's really fun, especially to go with friends and like, you know, do the damn thing. Love tequila, me too. Me too, it's kind of a bad, kind of a bad combination, me and tequila though. It was on TikTok. Uh, I bet I could find it on, um, on YouTube, I'm sure. Axe. Oh my god, I am gonna forget my axe. Straub, keep me honest. Keep me honest, please. I am gonna forget. I have to go upgrade my axe. I have to. Ooh, I do like a mojito. There's a Cuban restaurant near me. Actually, there are a few Cuban restaurants near me that I really like to go to to have a little mojito. They're so yummy. I'm a big fan of a spritz too. Listen, I say I don't drink that much, but like socially, I drink a lot because I just think it's fun. It's fun to have yummy little cocktails. It's just like a great activity. Screw TikTok, very that. I deleted it because I have TikTok brain rot and I don't want to have it anymore. Remind, <laughs> remind Bird every 60 seconds about Axe. I'm running. I'm running to get my Axe. Moscow Mules, hell yeah. I'm not really a huge fan of stuff with like whiskey or bourbon in it, but... Um, I'll drink it sometimes. Everything else is like mostly fair game. I am. I am in the States. The States? I just do a lot of accents for fun. <laughs> I'm an accent girly. Okay, wait. Did I for- what was I gonna do? Oh my god, I don't even have my axe and I don't even have the stuff to- I don't even have the stuff to upgrade my axe either. Y'all, I need a new chair. I need a new stream chair. It's confirmed. This one sucks. We put this back and we need to get my axe out. My axe. We could go fishing too. Where? Oh, there it is. It's like, where'd my axe go? 
TikTok is only ads now ever since the shop since the shop. Yeah. And I feel like I scroll on there and I don't even see anything that I find interesting. If I do, it's like one video every 20 videos and it's just not worth my time. So I I get in this spiral of like scrolling for far too many hours, not usually at a time. Sometimes I'll scroll for like an hour, but I'll do that like three times a day, you know, and it takes up all of my time. In 2024, we are not doing that, okay? 2024, everybody delete TikTok with me. Now. Now. I'm just kidding. Not really, but I am. If you want to delete it with me. Uh, steal. Hell yeah. I've done it. Hell yeah. And puppy videos. So true. Little sandwich videos. Y'all, I did get on that side of TikTok one time that was like dudes with mustaches and... They're just making sandwiches. Like it's a bunch of different guys. They all look the same, but they're all making uh, they're all making sandwiches with their little mustaches. <laughs> Hell yeah! Thanks, Straub. Never had the Tic Tacs. Hell yeah, Riley. Neither has Weasel. Weasel hasn't had the Tic Tacs either. Food side is great, but the algorithm is like exactly. Um, and also, welcome in. Thanks for the follow. Thank you, thank you. Hey, what am I doing now? Maybe some fishing? <laughs> yeah, I like the delay there. It's shite. I think I'm gonna go up and fish at the top. What else? Okay, level up Marnie, craft tappers, red cabbage. Okay, it's not a traveling cart day. I need fiber, but I didn't bring... Actually, we could probably do that. I'm really not making good use of my time right now. No. Ugh. Okay, wait. I already bought the new fishing pole. Let me let me get that off of here. And we upgraded the axe, so that's going to be ready in two days. Oh. I need more fiber, so I need to go to the mines. So I think I'm going to run back to my house and get stuff for the mine. Oh, shit. I also need salads. Oh my god, there's so much to do. So much. Thanks, Joe. Thanks for the follow. I was too busy chatting with you to say thanks for the follow. <laughs> let's do, let's do 10 of them. But I still need a pig and the pig is 16G, I think, 16,000. Met one of my now closest friends through TikTok Live. No way. Wait, that's nice though. Lil Sandwich is a character based on a child in an influencer family. The video series is so good. Wait, are you kidding? Is that a real thing? Is that a real thing? Okay, let's do... I want to get rid of... Wait, no, I need the fishing... Oh, not that one, though. Oh my god, I need to make bait, too. Let's make some bait. Um, let's do... We'll just do that many for now. We'll equip these. And I need my sword. And I... What else do I need? I need my sword. So we're going fishing before we go in. We're going in to get fiber. That's it. That's the vibes. <laughs> some funny guy or some funny guy to laugh at. You know what? That sounds like something my dad says. He said, eh, what does he say? You're real funny. Funny looking. That's what my dad says to me. <laughs> I go live and talk to people and just laugh at me. Aw, that's nice. I think it's nice. Influencer families, yeah. Can we talk about the tragedy of influencer families? I feel like that's so weird. I don't know, just me, just me. I feel like it's weird. It's real. Caroline, Esom, Esom, interesting. Kardashians. Ugh. We were talking about Kardashians earlier today and how I like, I do not get behind the Kardashian fandom. My neck hurts. Oh, back when TikTok wasn't quite as big. Yeah, totally understand that. It is big now. Oh, okay. Videos are satire though. Oh, okay, I see. Filming kids is weird. I agree. It's such an American thing, I feel like, too. Mostly American. 
Yeah, what Janelle said. That's what I'm saying. It's so weird. Like, even when I, I would worry... Listen, I don't have children, so I don't really have a stake in the game. But... Wasn't that supposed to be harder to get? But, like, even my friends who post their kids or choose to post their kids online, it's a little scary to me. America's a, an interesting little place. Interesting little place. <laughs> okay. Give me the bass. I need the bass. This is a game that I need the bass in. Animal Crossing, don't give me a bass. Here, I'll take a bass. Wait. Bullhead. I don't think I need that one. And by little, I mean not little at all. <laughs> little as in this place is weird. We're in our own little world here. Yeah, Texas. Wait, isn't England the size of... Wait, I actually don't know. What is England the size of in the US? Kimchi and Kat, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome in. I hope y'all are having good days today. Ooh, they're talking about legislation. I haven't seen that. I'll have to, I have, I haven't been avoiding the news because like, it's a privilege to be able to avoid the news, but uh, I haven't been watching as much news and I need to like, I need to re-up my news knowledge stat. Okay, please, please stop moving around. Oh my God, hello, can we just chill? Can we chill? Please, please chill for just a second longer. Oh fuck. Ah! Oh my god, that was, I almost had it. Guys, don't look at me. Nobody watch. This is so frustrating. This has to be a sturgeon, right? This is so frustrating! I need a bobber and I need a bobber right now. My eyes! My eyes, I can't do it anymore. I can't. <laughs> oh my fucking God, that was crazy. I've been to New York, that's about it. I've been a lot of places, but it's cause I'm, you know, I'm here. It's like six Englands for Australia, really? Don't share those photos are a bit better, but I get it. It's hard to balance. Yeah, exactly. And that's why I said like, I don't have a stake in the game cause I don't have a kid, but like, I'm sure you want to share your child, like with your friends and family that you have, um, you know, like uh, a following with, like a social media platform with friends and family. Yeah, I want, I actually really like to watch uh, Hassan on on Twitch because I think he has like a lot of good takes. England is the same size as Oregon. Oh, what? I didn't know that. Thanks, Sam. <laughs> That's giving sturgeon. I usually am not as bad when I have a, do I even have, let's see. Yeah, see, I don't even have the rod that I can put a bobber on at the same time as bait. When you can put a bobber and bait on at the same time, that's when you've really leveled up. I want to share my kid. Uh, kid, I... Wait, look like a troll? No. Aww, Starberry. Uh, never been out of the UK. I'd love to travel the world. Yes. I have done a little bit of world travel, but not like a lot. It's just really expensive. That was longer than I thought. I tried so hard to get that fish. Northeast. Yeah, there are some. I want to go to like upstate New York in the fall. Ooh, you're going to New Zealand this year. Are you going to wait? Isn't that where they have? I don't know if you like Lord of the Rings, but if you like Lord of the Rings, isn't that, that where they have the little like um, like the Bilbo Baggins houses? <laughs> OK, let's see here. I really wanted to catch a bass. That's what I need out of this spot. The Shire, there we go. Oh my God. Come on, come on. Ah, please, please, please. I'm just strung out from that stupid surge, sturgeon. I think I do need the chub for the community center. 
Oh, massive fan? Really? My partner is a massive fan, too. He really loves Lord of the Rings. You met some of the actors? No way. Okay, who'd you meet? How's Stardew? Cozy Metal Moon Bestie. It's good. It's good, except for I just got roasted by a sturgeon. I couldn't catch it. <laughs> I got so close. Please don't give me another. I don't want to. I want to get the sturgeon in the winter. Give me the bass. I just need the bass. Four hobbits last summer? No way. Anubit fishing? Oh, when did you start playing Stardew? Was that recent? Pippin, Gimli? No way. I would die to meet Gimli. Honestly, Pippin too. I love Pippin. I need to do a rewatch with Weasel. He's been asking. He's been asking to watch again, and I'm like, I don't really want to. The movies are so long. I have to watch the movies in parts because I can't sit still long enough. Western US, if you want desert. Yeah, that's that's a great take right there. What Janelle said, I did owe that. Some of my favorite places that I have been are out west. I would say that's a great place to start. Um, unless you wanna go like city vibes, then I would say like, if you wanna see a big city, I think Chicago and New York, in my opinion, are the most fun. Do not go to Atlanta. I lived there, it sucked. <laughs> Here we go. This one's being nice to me. Okay. Going to see three movies over the next three nights at the theater? No way, wait. Actually going to be going to see three movies. Wait, what movies? I met him in a Harry Potter t-shirt. What? No way. Potatoes. Full of mash em, stick em in a stew. Need to get back into Stardew. Currently trying to platinum, wait. Trying to platinum turnip boy commits tax fraud. Oh, uh, turnip boy commits tax evasion. I haven't played that. I've heard it's really good though. Oh, been playing for years. Always stop playing before the second year. I get it. I've been like, I usually stop around the third year. Local Cinemark is running each one. Oh, no way. Uh, that would be so fun. I want to do that. Yeah, Atlanta. I mean, there are some cool things in Atlanta, but most of it, not worth it. I'm telling you. Definitely don't live there. <laughs> I would agree. Beautiful small towns and cities. Mary is in Lost. Best TV show. Oh, I don't know what that is. Not high on my list. Don't go. There are much better cities. There are much better cities. My partner was uh, at Bucky's in Texas in August, and the actors of Marion, uh, the actors Mary and Pippin were there shooting some kind of video. What? That's wild. Yeah, New York is really fun. I have a couple of friends in New York, and every time I visit, it's just like the best time ever. I always have so much fun there. Okay, let's go get some. I need some fiber. Fiber, once again, as per usual. And there's none. Love to see that. Okay, why are there. N Does anybody remember what kind of day it was? I don't remember. I don't remember. Also, I did get the bass that I needed. I wasn't paying attention. Ah. Austin and Boston. Yeah, there's some cool shit in Boston. I will say I haven't been to Boston in a long time and I only spent one day there, but they had this really cool farmer's market that I went to uh, when I was there and that was my favorite part. I tried a nectarine for the first time there. Oh, yes, more fiber. Please, I need fiber. Yes, three. Love to see it. Let's go over here. We're in the mines. Should we get some hype music for the mines? I love nectarines too. They're so good. I'm sorry. When I play Stardew, I miss uh, I miss the chat a little bit. Would you sit at a Times Square for... Oh, no. Absolutely not. I would not go to Times Square in New York for New Year's. Actually, my mother-in-law asked if we would go with her to New York for the holidays next year. And I was like, no, I won't. You can have fun with that. 
And I felt bad because she like really wanted to go, but I'm not, I am not going to New York during the holidays. It's not happening. I'm not doing it. Yeah, people wear diapers, like not everybody, but like some people, I'm not doing that. I am not gonna go stand in a crowd of people that I don't wanna be near. Hi Willow, welcome back. Welcome, welcome. Welcome, welcome. It's me, the welcome wagon. Should we get some hype music? Let's do, let's do star power. A little bit of stardew power, stardew star power. There we go. You know what to do. Hype me up with dancing emotes in the chat, if you will. I, it would have beautiful lights in Christmas though. I will say that. I would like to see that. But maybe I'll go like two weeks before Christmas, not, not at Christmas time. Janelle, that one kills me. Ah, it kills me. Yeah. 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 Oh, ho, ho. I didn't even get hit once. How much do I have? 18? Not enough. Not enough. I need so much more fiber than that. Are you all Harry Potter fans? I'm not a Harry Potter fan. I know some of you all are, you've told me before, but I'm not a massive Harry Potter fan. And I oh, hell yeah. Us talking about Lord of the Rings always makes me think of those like niche things that people really love that I'm just not into. I've never been into it. You are Delphi, I'm so sorry. You're a Hufflepuff. JK can redacted, exactly. I like Star Wars. I actually love Star Wars. I don't know anything about like the lore or anything like that, but I love Star Wars. Used to be, I have a tattoo, but the JK Rowling stuff turned me off to the series hard. I get it. Hate the author of Harry Potter, but it was my childhood. Yeah, exactly. We've talked about that a lot here, how it's like, it's hard because it was a big part of our childhoods, but uh, JK, man, she sucks. Goblet of Fire sucks. Book is amazing. Yeah, I remember hearing some stuff about that. Left Arms Harry Potter themed. Might have bought this. Um, might have brought this up here. I don't know if you have. If you have, I don't remember. So you can tell me about it, uh, about it again. Very important to me growing up. It was my grandfather and I bond, what my grandfather and I bonded over. So heard about JK. I know, right? You want it removed now? I think you should do whatever, whatever you feel. Yeah, I don't, I don't listen to them either, Millie. Same here. I think it is important where you spend your money. Oh wait, I need that one. I do think it's important where you spend your money, but also to each their own. Who's JK? Harry Potter just appeared one day with no author, right? Oh, you guys wanna cover yours? That makes me sad. It also kinda makes me happy that uh, I didn't get into it. <laughs> it kinda makes me happy that I didn't get into it after all. Let's, oops, need to drop these off. Sorry, I'm running out of time. I'm trying to make sure that I don't... I'm trying to make sure that I don't... Um, don't pass out here. Let's... Let's put these in here. Wait, I can go put these up here. Wait, we need... We need wood. I've got fiber. I think I might need wood and stone. I don't want to pass out. I need my seeds, my spring seeds. Like walking around pride events during the summer, right? Maybe cover it for those events if you want. Like, have you tried, have you thought about or tried that? Just out of curiosity. This is probably something you've already thought about. I'm not telling you anything new. Let's do this. Tea saplings, oh hell yeah. 
And wait, that's the wrong side. Let's put these back. Let's go put all this back. Also, I promise I will catch up with you all in chat in just a second. I have Sirius Black as a uh, wolf form, Lion for Gryffindor. Oh, wow. Whoa. Fish worth 25% more resources required to craft crab pots reduced. I mean, definitely this one, probably. Whoa. Attack steal 10% more damage. Critical, critical strike chance increased by 50. What do you all do for combat? Who are you planning on marrying between Elliot and Seb? I'm a Seb girly. Also, Halo, five minutes ago. Thank you for still lurking. I appreciate it. Sorry I missed it. Um, damn, that's a big old sleeve, huh? I put a Gamer Guild sticker on my arm at TwitchCon. Hell yeah. Long stream? Yeah, it is a long stream today. What time is it? It is. I didn't even realize. Um, always do fighter. Yeah, I feel like that's what I normally do. Because I also, I feel like the critical strike is not important to me personally. Fighter? Okay, star says fighter. I say yes. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> All right. Um... Can I call you vain? How's your day going? Welcome in. In year four now, I would marry Seb. So with my new world, I feel like I'm learning, uh, leaning more towards Elliot. You know what? You should definitely like venture out and try something new. I marry Leah sometimes too. Eight thousand. Wait, eight thousand one hundred and seventy-one. Wait, what? What happened? I missed it. Three, three, three. It's four, three, three. Where I am. Dang it. <clears throat> used to always marry sam switch it up hell yeah oh hella gold hell yeah that's the tea sapling method for you tea sapling method is where it's at five three three little extra luck to say to, to say today hell yeah Day is going well. Just played Stardew Valley, uh, but I need to go to sleep early today. Understand that. I feel like I'm always needing to go to sleep early and then I never actually make it happen. Okay, so since you play Stardew, who do you romance? If anybody hasn't shared, I'd love to know. 433 for you too? Hell yeah. I am in Eastern time zone. Need my water in can. Water in can. Me... It's Wednesday the 24th. Okay, let me sell these. I'll keep the rest. I still don't have kegs unlocked yet, which is a tragedy. Let me look at what I do have unlocked. It's good to have the quality sprinkler. I need to be making... I definitely need to be doing some more stuff in the furnace. What else do I have? Not shit. I need the keg. I need the keg so bad. Damn, 1134, we are in different time zones. Shane's Abigail, then Seb. Sh Did I say Shane's? <laughs> I love when Seb works on his little bike. Hell yeah, we love a little emo boy, come on. My girl's name is Yuki and I named uh, the farm Palea. Aww. Um, I'm, so I'm bird in like all the games that I play. And then my farm is named maybe like the nest or something. I can't remember. I can't remember where do I see that west coast baby maybe one day I'll be west coast maybe one day okay uh I actually don't like the favorite stardew valley characters but Linus is actually sweet oh you don't have favorites uh I like Linus too I like his storyline as well nest farm hell yeah I couldn't remember <laughs> could not remember to save my life Okay, wait, we need more. Oh, okay, why don't we go back to the mine again today? Because we need more iron ore for sprinklers for the fall. Because I do not want to do this again. So let's do, I'm going to put this away. Move this back over here. We'll get the farm prepared and then we'll go back to the mines today. Hell yeah. If you click on the, the bag icon, um bag icon oh yeah nest farm <laughs> i feel like i should have known that shouldn't i shouldn't i 
I named my first farm after my grandma. Oh, that's so nice. I named my first, this is not sentimental at all. I named my first farm after, um, you all watch anime. I, I really like the anime Hunter Hunter. And I named my farm after uh, Zoldic Farm. Oh, my phone's ringing again. Hang on, sorry, my phone's ringing. What's up? Bird, did you get your axe upgraded? I did. I promise I did not forget to upgrade my axe. Thank you so much for thinking of me. Okay. All right. We'll talk later. Bye. Liz, thanks for the 200 bits. I did. I did get my axe upgraded. I think I need, uh, not today, but tomorrow it'll be ready. <laughs> thanks, Liz. Straub helped me remember. <laughs> There's a Hunter Hunter game coming out. No way. I didn't know that. After my three cats. Oh. Pidge Ridge. Oh. Sum Sum. After Summer. Morty. So cute. I love those names. Uh, Vane, thanks for the follow. Thanks for hanging out with us today. I appreciate it. Somebody asked me how I made that one time and I was like, bestie, no idea. Because I like literally, it took me so long to get it right. I had to like, I had to do a lot of work. That one I had to put in work for. It took me a million years to get that one right. <gasps> my, my tree farm's already, it's ready for tappers. Wait, I don't even think I have the tappers. I do, wood and copper. I need eight of them. Oh, I don't know. I don't know if I have the resources for this. Wood and copper. Oh, hell yes. You gotta be kidding me. Wait, what? Oh, I'm out of wood. Tap that all on the flow. Tap that, give me some more. <laughs> Isn't that how that song goes? <laughs> I think it is. Willow, thanks for lurking. Thanks for hanging out with me today. Uh, Cat and Stardew is donut. Wait, that's so cute. What was that? That's my bit alert. I have a, a, that's the only TTS you can do in my channel. The 200 bit alert. It's a little phone call. Low phone, wait. Low phone, call that low phone. <laughs> I'm just wandering around my farm currently. I don't know what's happening. I don't know what day it is. I don't know where I am. It's fine. I don't have my ax so I can't get any more wood. So I think we're gonna put these on We'll put them on these for now because this is what I need for kegs eventually. Eventually. Me IRL today. <laughs> I thought it was smack that. I think it is. I think I was making shit up. I was probably making shit up. <laughs> I tend to do that. Me bullshitting? Never. Absolutely never. You know what, I'm not that much of a bullshitter, but like, occasionally. <laughs> occasionally, I'm bullshitting. Wait, that's not what I meant to do. Love your hair, thank you! Wait, that's so nice. Thanks. Everybody's been complimenting my hair today specifically. Do I need to wear it up more often? Hello? Do I? Okay. You can't BS a BS or exactly. Exactly. Oh, baby bow tie. Wait, that's so cute. Baby bow tie. You gotta be kidding me. Who, which one is, which one's, we got ravioli. We got linguine. We got elbow. <laughs> We got, where is it? We got Rotini. Oh! Hey! Hey! What the heck? Lilith Moon! Bestie, you are sugar spice and everything nice. Thank you so much for the gifted sub to our friend Rosie Cheeks. Rosie Cheeks, Bestie. Enjoy your ad free viewing, all access emotes. There you go. There you go. Enjoy it, babes. 
enjoy it thank you again i really appreciate that lilith moon and also did i say willow thanks for ah, willow thanks for lurking thanks for lurking <gasps> blake my beloved blake how have you been i saw you playing hades the other day i was doing a little lurking how is hades i've always wanted to play but i've never gotten into it <laughs> hello <laughs> okay i need to go i need wood but i don't have my axe i don't have my axe it's fine. Okay, let's go sell these. And then we need, we have to go to the mines. We have to go to the mines. I need one, two, three. Wait, one, two, three. <laughs> I've been good, just vibing on YouTube. Hell yes. We love a YouTube day. I haven't been watching that much YouTube recently, but I did a little sit down YouTube watching sesh on. I think it was on Friday or Saturday, and it was so nice. It revived me. Um, I just made a tiny joke in chat and near, wait, nearly got banned? Well, listen, if you nearly got banned, it might be deserved. <laughs> Depends, we got, we got boundaries, baby. Okay, wait, oh, I was thinking I had my ax on me, but I don't, I don't. Not this chat, okay, perfect, well, what I say stands. <laughs> Leaving for work in a few minutes. No worries at all, Starberry. Get home safe, okay? And I'm sure we'll we'll see each other soon, right? YouTube drama rabbit hole? Oh, hell yes. Sometimes you need it. Sometimes you need that. Okay, listen. Where do I need to go? We definitely need some iron. So let's start here. And then I might go back up. Um, love you, mean it, Starberry. Sometimes I forget to say it. Y'all yell at me if I forget. Yeah. No, oh, get away. No, I don't want any. I don't want any. Okay, should we do it again, besties? Um, sipping on some chamomile. Oh my god. I need some tea. I need some tea right about now. Right about now. Besties, you know what time it is. Give me some good energy, some hype energy as we power through these mines. Bane, have a great night. No worries at all. Thank you for hanging out with me while you could. Here we go, hype. Dancing emotes, you all know the vibes. We'll do a different SpongeBob. We'll do a different one. Hi, Halo, welcome back. <laughs> what color? Get out of here, get out of here. I don't want any. Ooh, I need this for Daddy Sebastian. Don't forget, he loves frozen tears. Oh no, I didn't even see it. <laughs> uh, not auto mod, I'll let it, I'll allow it. We'll allow it. Auto mod used to be real bad about like not allowing stuff. We had to change her settings, okay? <laughs> we got a little dance party going on per you that one's so that one's so short-lived what song should i play here it's gonna get muted if y'all are watching the vod so sorry it's gonna get muted for a minute what should i play hmm hmm something in the space yums category for sure here we'll go with the original We'll go with the OG. Please give me a ladder right fucking now. Ah! Give me a ladder. Love your character's purple, thank you. Thank you. Wait, I actually don't know what that one is. I gotta look it up. Sorry, I, I already turned this one on before I realized. Oh my God, there's the ladder. Quiche, my beloved. Hi, Quiche. Yeah, yeah. Thanks for lurking, Quiche. I appreciate it. Oh, ladder, but is there anything in here I need? No. You'll recognize it when it plays? Okay, I gotta check it out. I'm sure I will. 
Hey, you know what? Sometimes I'm just a little no thoughts head empty, you know? <laughs> Sometimes it's not all together up there. <laughs> Especially right now after the chaos we've had today. We've had a chaotic Monday. I'll say it. Oh, it's in this era of music? Okay, I'll definitely know it then. How many iron? We only have 14 iron? No way. Oh, come on. Maybe I should go farther down. Should I go farther? Maybe we'll go to 55. 55 maybe? Oh my god, this is rude. This is really rude of you, Stardew Valley, please. What about 60? Thursday vibes to Monday, literally. Please. How many? 24? Not enough. Ah! Please, leave me alone. No, absolutely fucking lootly not. Absolutely not. Not happening. Bye. Bye. Ellis, thanks for the follow. Welcome in. Okay, what time is it? It's only 5 p.m. Let's go try and get a little bit more fiber and um, the other ore that I need that I can't remember the name of. What the hell? I definitely hit it. Eh. Yeah. Yeah. Please, I just want a ladder down. I'll do anything. One ladder. Give me a ladder. One ladder. Please. Misclick. Yeah. You didn't see it. You didn't see that misclick. Come on, please. Oh my gosh, my neck is hurting. Oh, I missed it. Please. Where? Okay. This is not a horrible level. Not horrible. And we really need to get a pig. So I need, I absolutely need money. Uh, Evie love, thanks for the follow. Welcome in. Okay, let's do this. I run, we run, we move, we grew. I, what am I saying? I don't know. Bullshitting once again, can't help it. No. Here, I'm turning on Rockefeller Stank just for Blake. Rockefeller Stank. Wait, who's it by? That boy Slim? That's the only one I see. Oh yeah, wait, I was singing that earlier. I didn't even realize. <laughs> I was singing that earlier. Love Stardew, one of my favorite games. Hell yes, we love Stardew here. This is a new-ish playthrough. I'm in summer year one. I love this song, actually. <laughs> I grew up on this song, dude. That's crazy. Okay, so since you love Stardew, who are we romancing? <laughs> this is like the third time I've asked it today. Me too, hell yes. One of us. I usually marry Sebastian. Music's quiet. Here, I turn it up just for you. My mic is also super fucking loud. How about that? Is that okay? It's definitely getting muted now. <laughs> I usually go for Elliot, but I like Sebastian too. Hell yes. I just, I can't help it. I like the emo boys. Can't help it. I have a golden retriever IRL. I mean, my my partner. <laughs> my partner IRL is a golden retriever, so I gotta get my emo boy Phil in games. <laughs> okay, please. Uh, I need more oars. More oars. Hard to argue with that. Hell yeah. Uh, yes, please. That'll be great, Blake. I used to have it set up, but I've been having trouble getting it set up again because I've been using desktop audio since I uh, switched my hard drive. Oh, fuck, fuck, I don't have my sword. Um, I had to switch my hard drive and then I lost 
the way I had it set up. I had to like completely do my OBS again, and I can't remember how to do it. I've been too lazy to figure it out again. She's all that, yes. Wait, we love she's all that. I love she's all that. I need to watch that again. No, not overstepping at all. You're totally fine. Bye, Jerry's. Have a good rest of your day. Thanks for hanging out with me for so long. I really appreciate it. Nine something. Do you think I can make it down any more levels? Eh. Okay, wait. I need a little more fiber. A little more ores, too. Wait. Why did I pass the fiber if I need more fi- Okay, no fibers for me, I guess. Give me one. Hell yeah. Any more? Mm, no, but there's more ores. More ores. All right, I'm getting out of here though. It's already 10, 10 p.m. I need to get some, wait, let me buy a pig. We crafted enough tap, not enough tappers, so I'll leave that one on here. Hell yes. Oh, what the, Jerry's way, that's so nice. Wait, that's the nicest thing I've ever heard in my whole life. Hello, thank you so much. That was such a sweet compliment. I'll see you later, take care. I wonder if I know any of their other music. We were also talking about, um, wait, earlier we were talking about, uh, oh my God, what's it called? Limp Biscuit. We were talking about Limp Biscuit earlier. Did you listen to any Limp Biscuit, uh, Blake, if you're still here? Mm, I need to take this out of here. I need to take this out of here. Put these in here. We were specifically talking about break stuff, the song. <laughs> uh, I think I'll put these back. And then why don't I sell the rest of this? Oh my God, so vibey. I'm gonna go listen to this on my speaker after stream. That's what I'm gonna do. You did, hell yes. Another big one, <laughs> hell yeah. Butterfly by Crazy Town, yes. Listen, I grew up on this kind of shit. Break stuff. I was a big like um, Linkin Park girly too back in the day because, oh, I don't know if I have enough wood, hang on. I was a big Linkin Park girly because my family was big into Linkin Park. Okay, this is gonna be 1,500, so that'll be enough to take us over the edge for the pig, the pig that we need. I need to get some stuff started. Let me do, I'm gonna go ahead and switch back to my, I'm gonna go ahead and switch back to my lo-fi. Let me know if it's too loud or soft. Oh, I was too, hell yes, I love, I love Linkin Park. My dad was a DJ? No way, that's sick. My family were, they were not into music other than listening. <laughs> okay, let me grab two of these and I need to do, let's do these guys. Let's do these and then these, and then I need to run into the, these little coops and things. Uh, let me close this. I'm trying to make sure that I set, I'm not gonna finish. <laughs> Gouda's trying to sleep, hell yeah. I actually have some Gouda in my fridge that I need to get rid of. Um, I'm not gonna finish summer today. I think I'm gonna set aside another day this week to go from summer into fall so I can really like prepare for it. I feel like I'm not super prepared for it right now. I still have a little bit of work to do. Also, I am snoozing ads. Y'all are not gonna get ads right now. Snoozing. Okay, and then let me do, let me do this. Perfect, I hear my dog outside freaking out. That's not very Gouda. <laughs> my dad has a huge guitar collection with um, even electric guitars he wrote on his, oh, in his will and it comes to me. 
Whoa. Weasel has a, it's not technically his, his parents bought a baby grand and they're gonna pass it down to him at some point. I'm excited for that. We, my partner Weasel plays piano. He plays a lot of stuff. He's a percussionist. Let me also grab my watering can so we're prepared for the next day. And actually I'm gonna put this away. And we'll grab the scythe because I need that. And then we're gonna go away. Yeah. Yeah. Wearing Jinko jeans and a silver ball and chain necklace. Oh shit. Okay, besties. We are on day, we're about to be on day 25. We're gonna finish later this week. I don't know, um, Valkyrie, uh, Valky, thanks for still lurking. Sorry, I'm tongue tied today. Steel axe is ready. Let me, well, I don't think, maybe it'll stay. Maybe it won't. Pick up axe. In case I forget. All right, y'all. That's the stream, besties. That's it for today. Thank you all so, so much for hanging out with me. If you haven't already and you want to hang out with me some more, give me a little follow. I'm getting really close to 2K. I've been streaming for about 10 months and I feel like it's going real well. I feel like it's going really well and I'm really enjoying myself. Today was so fun. Thank you again for hanging out with me. I had such an awesome time with you all. Um, let me see if there's anybody that I want to raid really quick. Um, it'll be a quick raid for me, an in and out kind of raid. Let me see here. Let me see here who's online. And then I'll say my buys, okay? Here is the Discord for anybody that's not in it already, okay? Please feel free to join 18 plus like this stream. Let me look at something really quick. Sorry, I need to figure out who I wanna raid real quick. My phone is being slow, a little bit slow. <clears throat> or my, my PC, not my phone. Let's see here. Who's online? Who, who is online? Oh my goodness. I'm out of breath after, after a long day of streaming y'all. Oh, I don't have that many besties online. What if we go, um, uh, Anna, and um, I'm gonna call you Anna. Thank you for the follow, welcome in. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, hilarious. I think I want to go raid my friend who I've never raided before. Hopefully I don't stream snipe her. I might. Okay, I've never raided her before. This will be really fun. Let's go raid Mystic Kitten. I've never raided Mystic Kitten before. Maggie, uh, if you all don't know her, she is a sweetie pie. And you'll love her. I think she's in just chatting right now, but she'll be playing Mass Effect later probably. She's playing Mass Effect right now. I'm gonna go ahead and start the raid. Here are our raid messages. Copy and paste, give big love. She's a big streamer, so we gotta make a big impact. You know what I mean? So uh, if you could grab those raid messages, that would be awesome. Let me say my buys. I'll be back on Wednesday at, what time? I'll be back on Wednesday at 11 a.m. this week, okay? Grab those raid messages for me, okay? Um, Phoenix, have a good rest of your day. Bye, Liz. bye, Valky. Bye, Kiropi, bye, Mads. Bye, Rosie. Bye, Darth. Bye, Butterfly. Bye, Wixie. Bye, Jenny. Bye, Star. Bye, Straub. Bye, Lilith Moon. Bye, Only Bees. Bye, Soph. Did I say bye, Rosie? Bye, Rosie. Bye, Evie. All right, y'all. Bye, Janelle. Bye, Shane. Copy those raid messages for me. For me. For me. <laughs> I'll see you over there. See you on Wednesday at 11 a.m. Bye.